Lovely jewellery makers, we have an amazing show planned for you this coming Friday. Your deal of the day is the ultra rare and the utterly beautiful Blue John Fluorite. Make sure you tune in for that entire sellout opportunity. Also, we've got the finest quality, naturally coloured, perfectly spherical pearl. It's a pendant, it comes along with your white topaz and it is a staggering 11 millimeters in size. We're gonna guarantee you the most amazing deal. That's 11 a.m. on the nose and 10 o'clock as your deal of the day for Blue John Fluorite. Make sure you don't miss out. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. That was a bit of a frenzy. Good morning, how are we all? Are you ready? Hang on a second. There you go. Oh, it's too low now. <laughs> how are we all? Sorry, I had problems with my talk back, so literally it was all a bit of a frenzy oh, yeah. last minute. <laughs> Never seen you looking so lovely as you do today. Christmassy red. You look beautiful. <laughs> Christmas in, in July. Absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Well, she always does, doesn't she? Um, yeah, I've got <laughs> cheek to cheek. I've got it all being sung to me now, and you are not to me. To our lovely Susie. Oh, what a Friday show! I know it's, it's going to be good. It's, it's going to be, be good. So, so, so good. Let me just kind of try and sort myself out. I'm th I've been throwing things on the floor. <sighs> Get comfortable for the hour, yes, shall we? Exactly. Always the way, isn't it? You're super organised, then you step into the studio and there's that frantic handover. Mm. Yeah. And this decides not to work. work. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Should we tell you what's uh, what's coming up on today's show? Because it is going to be absolutely still Krista Burr going on in my ear. <laughs> um, absolutely incredible. Now, I'm gonna start by discussing your deal of the day if I can. Mm. Because <clears throat> ultra ultra rare in fact pretty much mined out blue john fluorite 
is coming up as your deal of the day. Now, when uh, Carol brought Blue John Fluorite, the last parcel that we managed to acquire, mm. every single strand sold, sold out. Sold out, I know. Sold out. Um, to, to be able to get hold of it, and I'll be, I'll be really honest, I was obviously prepping for today's show, and it was, uh, I've never had the opportunity to prep for Blue John Fluorite because... This, yeah, this is the first time this mm. we've ever actually brought it to air, um, as in as in this shift side, by the way. Um, it comes from, well, your home turf from Derbyshire, just up the road from the studios here. Um, and like I said, the mine location is rumoured to be completely mined out. It is now really just a tourist mm. attraction um, for those who want to go and obviously see where this gemstone, this historic gemstone, because literally 2,000 years... Yes. Um, this was a gem that was, 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 was hailed and celebrated by the Romans themselves. Mm. Um, like I said, and, and we don't have many gems on our own shores. No. Um, you, know, that, you know, that we can sort of t not take credit for. Mother Nature takes credit for it. But, you know, that we can say is our own. Is our own, absolutely. Well, it's happening today at 10 o'clock and we've got it in a total of eight strands. Mm. Because originally it was meant to be five. Wow. But I had an email, Ross and I had an email last mm. night from our managing director, Scott, who said, look, it was, we were planning on holding some of the Blue John fluorite back for later on in the year. Let's bring it all to air today. Yay. So we've actually got a further three strands which aren't physically here in the studio. Because oh, wow. like I said, it was emailed <clears throat> only last night. So a total of eight strands. That's it. I, I, to, to say, can we get it again? Never say never. However, like I said, it is rumoured to be completely and utterly mined out. So that's happening at, at, at 10 o'clock today. You've also got the most magnificent, naturally coloured, perfectly spherical pearl pendant. Now, it comes in two parts. If I just show Callan here, um, you get also the most beautiful, beautiful bale, which is encrusted. I don't let me turn it that way so you can see it. Um, encrusted with genuine topaz. So all you need to do is literally put a little bit of your hypo cement glue and you're making high-end jewellery. Look at mm. the quality. I know it's, it's got the shadow there from the blackboard, but let me do this. Beautiful. Hang on. There we go. Can we see that there better? Yeah, there we are. Like there we are. Perfect. Perfectly round. And again, totally natural. The nacre is flawless. Mm. The colour is not bleached and dyed. That's coming up. Roscoe, what time do you want to do this pearl? 11 o'clock on the wow. dot. Right, there we go. So um, not a minute before or not a minute after. We have got a staggering quantity of those available. And I'm going to say something quite unconventional. I know it is Christmas in July, so not, technically not that unconventional. But don't just think about today's opportunity. Yeah, think no. about the, the future year. You know, if you're looking for special ideas. gifts. Yeah, absolutely. Today's is the show for gifts. Oh, my word. It's um, unbelievable. So, Blue John Fluorite, that perfect round, naturally coloured pearl. We've also got some lovely little mini make kits. We've got beautiful stands which are coming up within yeah. this hour. You've probably clocked those already on the desk. I haven't seen necklace stands mm. like this. And at the back, in fact, let me grab this one just so I can show you. These are coming up within this hour. So if you do things like your craft fairs and your artisanal markets, etc., you can't just you're not just going to display one. You can actually display multiples um, because look, there's those there's where you hook them onto, and then they'll obviously come over the mm. front. So you can so, uh, even your longer line necklaces. Absolutely, it's a double, hook. double hook. Oh yeah, all Absolutely. the way around. Fantastic. So we've got those in both the colours, in black and in white, and then we also have a lovely bracelet or another necklace version, whichever mm. you wish, in a slightly smaller size. Now, just to give you all a heads up, there are a hundred, I believe. Yeah, there's a hundred just under of each of these stands. Wow, and they are in incredibly affordable in terms of the actual pricing so that's coming up within this hour you haven't got too long to wait for that Susie you've got the most unbelievable kit. oh the 12 o'clock hour kit is like going to a high street store I can't take any of the credit the only thing I did was choose which pearl went where that is it oh, they're amazing I so, love those earrings love the earrings the I rings. love the rings and they oh. are um, adjustable so one size fits all absolutely Close. perfect yeah of course because you can literally uh, yeah, sort of if you can encourage see. them together but so high end <clears throat> so what time are those kits coming up 12 o'clock they're at 12 o'clock as your yep. master class and then your nine o'clock kits more lovely sterling silver, silver. um 
We've got a beautiful Lovely. chunky Belcher style bracelet, yep. which you can wear on its own oh. if you wanted to, or you could, of course, uh, turn them into your charm, charm bracelets. bracelets. Exactly. Love it. Fantastic. Absolutely love it. Little mini makes like this as well, which I ran and Sue uploaded onto. Fantastic. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely Everything lovely. here is included in your kit. And wow. that is coming up at what time? Midday. Oh, midday as well. Is it midday as well? That's the Anne and Sue make. When are we doing That's that the one? bubble pearls. <coughs> All those lovely shell pearls. And, and it's um, a chain. Beautiful chain. We'll figure it out. It's coming up. It's coming it's up. It's lovely, it's though. <laughs> okay. Um, in this, I Ooh. thought it was. I thought Ooh. it was in this hour. There we go. So that's, uh, that's coming up within this hour. So again, you haven't got too long to wait for that one. Now we've got more, more of your Christmas in July uh, competitions going on as well. Now I understand you've been able to download some of these um, on uh, online. If you haven't done that, don't worry, not a problem. I can talk you through it as well. So today we're going to be paying festive bingo to win £25 credited to your account. Enjoy a game of bingo with, your season, with a seasonal spin. Stay Stay tuned um, throughout the show and see if you can spot the items on your bingo card to be in with a chance of winning. The winner selected at random and announced on air during the last show um, on Friday the 22nd. So wait, wait, wait. This is the last show. We'll be announcing the winner. Yes. This is the last Christmas in July show. No. Oh, Sunday. Sunday. Uh, uh, here is the card. Right. Have you got your phone? Take a photograph because I think colours make a difference as well. Have a little look on the Facebook Share Your Makes page and you'll also see, uh, see that image. So this is what you need to be looking out for during the course of today's show. So you've got a cute little penguin, you've got some mittens, you've got a little Santa. Um, <clears throat> and one person will be selected at random when you shout bingo. So when you spotted them all, you message into the studio. Um, make sure you include your customer number. That is really, really important. Um, and we'll announce the winner at the, uh, at the end of today's show. So um, to have £25 credited to your account. How amazing is that? Right then. Now, shall we get cracking? Shall I start with the one week offer? It's, it's literally this week and this week only. Um, so... An essential, absolutely, if you want to get people uh, involved in, uh, in jewellery making along with you, mm. perhaps. Or it is maybe something that you need to replenish in your own stash. Now, after Sunday, which is the last of your, just, uh, your Christmas in July shows, um, this will go back to the original price, which is already absolutely amazing. I don't think any of us can deny for a full toolkit. Yeah. It's not just one plier. £12.99. Look at that. Look at all of those. You've got your snips, you've got your tweezers, two sets of tweezers, you've got a reamer, you've got uh, your, uh, your square nose, your chain nose. Um, it's all in there and also your, your cutters. So £12.99 was already an amazing deal. But one week off a price point for you today. £9.99 is pretty amazing. I've seen pliers, single pliers, Susie, for more than that. Absolutely. If you're just new to jewellery making this is absolutely perfect because this is all you will need to make jewellery um, and it's always good yeah. I mean anybody that is um, has been doing jewellery making for years will know that you have sets galore I've got probably 10 sets I've yeah set for coming to the studio I have a set in the office I have a spare set so you can never have too many tools never never that's not even our price. Wow, that's fantastic. It's, you, do, you, do need, you do need duplicates, don't you? Just Absolutely. in case. Because they grow legs, don't they? And they, they start do. walking around the place, your tools. Not literally, but they do. But this is a lovely handbag size. So you, if, if you're travelling or if you're uh, sort of, uh, going on a long trip and you want to, or you're going on an aeroplane, you could do that on the plane. Keep it all tidy. Wonderful. You might need to take your snips out. I don't think they'll let you take snips Oh, yeah, the they might not. <laughs> But other tools, I think they might, you'd be all right. Six pounds and 99 pence, only one week offer. Yeah. After Sunday, these will go back to 12 pounds 99, um, which is still an absolutely incredible deal. Let's, there's no denying that. I mean, you'd be hard pushed to get at the actual case itself for 6.99 yeah, in most fantastic. places. Um, but each of those tools are included. Have you ever bought a 
pair of tweezers. They're more than that price. They're bag. so expensive tweezers. Yeah. And again, they're something that you just need all the time, all especially the time. if you're doing your high uh, gem settings, you know, with, with the lovely yeah. gems that we have, uh, to pick them up so much easier with a. Well, I always, Dan will tell you, uh, Dan, our lovely floor manager, um, he keeps me well organised, don't you, Dan? Every morning, I'm always like, where are the diamond tweezers? I always mm. want the diamond yeah. tweezers, which is basically this set here. Yeah. Um, they've got a really precise tweeze, whatever you call it, mm. the little, that bit. Um, yeah, so um, I prefer to hold the gemstones within those. Six pounds, I'd pay 6 99 for the tweezers on their own. Make sure you check out again, like I said, it's available until Sunday only. Um, after that time, then they will go back to 12 99 Good mm. morning, everyone. Oh my goodness, have you got a Friday show today? Yeah. It is incredible. Well done. Make sure you do check out those baskets now. Ooh. Ooh, I'm excited. One of the biggest auctions of our careers. Yeah, I agree. Uh, there are five of these available. And I'll, I said it then, and I'll say it now. These are some of the best tourmalines I've ever seen. Ooh, if you disagree, good. that's fine. Good. What do you think, though? There are only five. <clears throat> Morning, Ellen. Susie. Hello, Jeannie. Uh, please, could you tell me the number to text in? Yes, my darling, of course I can. So it's 78070. Make sure you start your text with JM Studio, uh, Jeannie. So 78070. Start your text with JM Studio. Then obviously when it comes to it, shout bingo and make sure you put your customer number on there as well, darling. That's really important. So good luck. Good luck, Jeannie. Uh, again, I said it then. I'll say it. I stand by that statement. These are some of the best tourmalines I've ever seen. Mm. They are incredible quality. Look, you've got to consider that tourmaline is a type 3 gemstone. What that basically means is we should expect inclusions. We're under magnification here. Callan's, Callan's camera is under what, 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 what would you say? What's the multiple times of magnification? About 40 times. Mm -hmm. 40 times magnification. Can you find flaws? That's why, I, why Ross and I both say that this is one of the best auctions that we've done in our entire career. 12.99. I can see, I can see beautiful Paraba colors. I can see chrome tourmalines in there. They've gone, well done, no, well done, well. And how many did we have originally then, Roscoe? Over 500. Again, that speaks volumes. From 500, we had the last five. That speaks volumes. Well done, everyone. Um, okay, let's do... Oh, there are 30 of these available. Now, I know you can rosary link. Most, most of our viewers can do rosary linking. Mm, yeah, very easy to do. But I don't think you need to. It no, takes time. It does take time. 50 centimetres of natural... Burmese sapphire rosary linked with wow. sterling silver 26 carats of natural Burmese sapphire again I know you can do this but think of the time yeah think of the how much you're going to pay for the sterling silver wire think about how much you would pay for that quality of Burmese sapphire mm. there were originally 400 mm. And you're going to waste so much silver because yeah, you're going you, to you, slip bits. Exactly. And, and the time. Yeah, you know, exactly. How much time you put into it. We've got how many left? 38 left from the 400 that, 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 again, we launched not so long ago. Two weeks ago. To be. So, wait, it was never two months. No. Where does, have, have I just missed, have I just missed two months of my life thing? Because it only feels like yesterday. I had a really good sleep. <laughs> really good sleep. Yes, the waste that you will, uh, I mean, it's a what, a 0 0.4 wire? Yeah. Yeah. The waste that you would, uh, you'll literally be cutting away. You've got to factor that in. Then you've got to buy the sterling silver mm. wire and you've got to buy the strand of natural Burmese mm. sapphire and then factor in, you know, your hourly rate, if you, especially mm. if you obviously sell your jewellery. 99.99 is an incredible deal would we all agree mm. from 400 of these we've got the final 38 we've got people on those phone lines literally i know i did this when i launched it susie if i just take if i just take um a clasp of choice absolutely that's all you have to do jump ring either side add your clasp you're done so that's a two minute necklace and how beautiful is that it's lovely isn't make it? a lovely stacker bracelet with that yeah you could make gorgeous. a multiple stranded bracelet 
Well, 49.99 is not even your price tag. Yes, that is 925 sterling silver and it is genuine natural Burmese sapphire. Can you imagine giving that as a present? Yeah. At Christmas, a sapphire oh. necklace or a sapphire bracelet. Morning, oh. Rachel. Morning, lovelies. Looking forward to a fab show. Merry Christmas in July. Yay! Yay. I have to say, and I was saying to the team earlier on, I was so confused this morning. You know, I woke up, and, and because in the summer months, even though my alarm goes off before five o'clock in the morning, it's been light. It has been yes. light. Whereas I got up this morning, it was completely dark. Yeah. It threw me. You know, when you're yeah. like thinking, Am I up too early? No. Am I up too early? <laughs> it did almost feel a little bit wintry, Rachel, um, because it was so dark and we had rain up here. Yeah, I know. Rain. Yeah, it didn't have rain when I left, but I drove into rain. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. No, definite <laughs> rain up here, which, to be fair, my garden was ever so grateful for. Um, you do know, Ross, that there's a clock ticking away on our screens, don't you? You do know there's a... There's a oh, <gasps> you could price already. That's because it's going under 20. Right, I'll say it again. How much would a, a strand of natural Burmese sapphire cost you? And how much would metres of 0.4 sterling silver wire cost you? Because those are the two components that you'd have to buy to start making this. Oh. It's not worth your while, is it? It's not worthwhile making it yourself. You might as well physically, I'll physically buy it. purchase it. If I could buy um, ready-made strands... I would. I wouldn't go to the. It's sometimes it's nice and therapeutic, yes, yeah. but that's going to take me an hour and a half. Yeah. Easily. Either. Easily. And I'm being, you know, and that's because I, I do it quite a lot. If you're new to it, it could take you a lot longer. No, just imagine. A yeah, absolutely. So much you can do with it. Beautiful. Just Simple suspending job. them from some sterling silver that's and maybe cool. a big pearl at the bottom. Oh, that'd be lovely. Oh yeah. Even Twenty pounds. Beautiful tassel. Lovely tassels, amazing tassels. What about the? Do you wear sun? Do you wear? Uh, so I was going to say sunglasses. Can we use sunglasses? Do you wear spectacles? Because then it could be like the spectacle yeah. chain, couldn't it? That would be very nice. Imagine a Burmese yeah. sapphire spectacle chain. Woo! I think you've uh, you, you're in a very elite club if if you if you wear if you suspend your uh, your spectacle glasses from Burmese sapphire. sapphire. Twenty pounds only. Good morning, Irene, London, Janice, Eva. Hello to you, new customer, Berkshire. Hello to you, uh, Virginia, Midlothian. Janice Carmel, nice to be with you all this morning. Don't be shy, come and say hello to us. We'd love to hear from you. Carolo in Oxfordshire, nice to see you. Remember, we are relaunching Blue John Fluorite, which I'm super excited about at 10 a.m. today. Um, it was an entire sellout. Um, previously, we have got another amazing parcel for you all. But early bird deals coming at you thick and fast this morning. Um, and, and opportunities that will literally go alongside one mm. another so gloriously. You know, all the pearls that we've got coming up today you know this would be lovely with uh, like an Ashley Clark mm. tennis style bracelet would be would be stunning 50 centimeters that you're getting well over a gram and a half of sterling silver and look at the quality of that uh, of that sapphire um the fact that you actually have got beautiful clarity we know that sapphire it can be quite an included gemstone can't it almost to the level of a, a complete opacity not the case here um that beautiful recording there just one light source um on uh, on your uh, rosary linking showcasing the clarity well done it is looking very 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 limited jewelry makers stella fiona nice to see you this morning if you want the multiples that i can see in some of your baskets i would encourage checking out sooner rather than later because we only had 38 and that was from original 400 quantity um, again an indication only two weeks ago no two months ago as Ross has corrected me I can't I still I don't believe you Ross this was never two months ago 12th of May when did oh uh, okay yeah when did we play it no I don't believe you <laughs> I do believe you I do believe you, it's just me. I just feel, I know, I, I know. I do believe, I do actually believe you, but it just feels like it was only a couple of weeks ago. I, it's true, time goes quicker, doesn't it, as you, go, as you get older? Yeah, it really does. Oh. Uh, what, what was two months ago feels like literally a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Debbie, well done. Adri, well done to you, I can see you there. I'm gonna move yes. on. Beautiful. Should we do some heart-shaped jump rings? Ooh. Ooh, this sweet. I'm thinking Ooh. about uh, Claire McDonald's demo the other day when she was doing some lovely soldering. Yeah. You could literally just solder those onto a shank, couldn't you? Very easily to do that. Yeah, make lovely shapes with that. You could make a beautiful sort of just 
like a cough bracelet if you oh, soldered them all gorgeous. together. Well, actually, as you say that... Or just, just add little jump rings. Little and jump rings like this. They're lovely. So we've got smaller jump rings. Yeah. So That's imagine nice. heart, jump ring, heart, jump ring, heart, jump ring. Lovely, lovely that, chain. That would beautiful. Be beautiful. Look lovely how much you're getting. You can do with that. They are 925 sterling silver and you're getting a full pack of uh, 30. Wow. Um, we've got what, sorry? You get 80? Oh, wait, so they come with it. Oh, there you go. Come on, Al. Come on, Al, earrings. wake up. I feel like I'm a little bit daisy this morning. Well... I think that's amazing because, thank you, gifts. What we're, we're talking about today is the show of giving gifts. Lovely pair of earrings. Oh, they'll be beautiful. Beautiful. Especially the meaning of your heart. Heart, exactly. That's How all lovely. You need. All that sterling silver, 80 jump rings, so you're getting 50 of um, the, the round ones. And then you're getting 30 of those 8 millimeter heart jump rings. Um, eight mil. So, like I said, they're a big. They, they could be a little charm in their own yeah. individual right, couldn't they? Maybe you could nest a little gemstone inside. That's working out at a pound per sterling silver jump ring. But we're no way near your jewellery maker saving. Oh, it's called Cupid. How sweet. Oh. How sweet. Draw back your bow and let your arrow flow straight to my lover's heart. For me, oh, I tell oh. you what, Ross, we should duet. <laughs> you couldn't hear him, you just had my voice, so I'm ever so sorry about that. But really, I could hear our Ross in the background, and who knew he was such a singer? He's a man of many talents. Man of mystery, indeed. Did you like that then, That Susan? was really good. I had both. I had both of you singing. <laughs> We're not even stopping at 79 dollars <laughs> Oh, I tell you what. That's, your, your lovely girlfriend, Ross, you need to be singing that to her. <laughs> <laughs> Single. Uh, wow. A pound per carrot. A pound per carrot, uh, per carrot, what am I talking about? Per uh -huh. jump ring. And we're not even stopping there. You know, you do stand-up comedy, you should also be singer. 19.99. Well. That's amazing, isn't well, it? You, all that gram weight. You could make, if you can solder, you could just get a piece of wire, one mil wire, and make a lovely ring. I mean, oh. sort of thing Claire makes. Yeah, literally Beautiful. solder either side, side of the heart. How lovely. 30 rings there. 30 sterlings. That's a really good point. Yeah. That would be so beautiful, wouldn't it? Nice little stack of style oh, rings. Brief. You could even use the hearts as some kind of, um, like, a, uh, like a bezel, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah, and you could make them adjustable because you, could make, you could make them adjustable because you could <gasps> make the wire. So you've got two hearts and the then... Cupid, that's, yeah. that, that's, we were yeah. talking earlier on, Susie and I, about the, uh, um, about the Gemini design, you yeah. know, where basically you have two stones that meet in the middle. Yeah. Um, you could almost do that with two hearts. Heart, yeah. Two Different hearts. Heart. I'm not going to sing. Just one. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Top I'm of the box. I've got the Friday feeling and I'm off this weekend, so you're not, you haven't got me this weekend. Um, uh, did you not know that, Adam? No, no me this weekend. Um, hello, Norma. Morning, Team Jim. Looking for, uh, looking gorgeous, ladies. Oh, bless your heart. Uh, settled in with a cuppa for the show today. Susie, my finger is poised. Ooh, love oh, love it. Love and light. Hi, Norma. Just yeah, want to say hello. Um, yeah, you've got such a lineup today, Norma. It's really, really, really beautiful today. So, yeah, jam packed, jam packed. 19 pounds and 99 pence. I love the idea of that Gemini heart. Yes. How sweet, sweet is that? that? And you could make those and so that they would fit everybody. Yeah. You wouldn't have to One worry. Size fits all. Yeah. Love that. So um, big gram weight that you're looking at, obviously. Uh, and I didn't realise you do get both of the jump rings. So you're getting the little three mil internal yeah. diameters um, to go alongside your clothes. And I should mention that these are actually closed hearts. Um, mm. So you never, you know, if you, if you do use them as a jump ring, if you like, then mm. the thread's not going to work its way out. Excellent. On the end of necklaces, you know, sometimes you have that extender chain. Yeah. Put a oh, little nice love little, heart on that. That could be a signature. A little je ne sais quoi. Yeah. How pretty is that? Yeah, well, like Tiffany's do yeah. hearts, don't they? Or you could put, you know, we have the lovely fine chains. You wouldn't even need the jump ring. You just thread the heart onto it. 
Oh, use the heart yeah. like a lariat. Yes. That would yes. be quite nice, wouldn't it? Lo so you're you loving this. Yeah, there is. And we, how often do we see heart jump rings? How oh, often do we right. actually see them? In fact, I don't know. This might well be the only heart jump ring I've seen. <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure, but you could literally. I like the idea of using them like like a like a lariat design. Yeah. Very Tiffany's and Co. Yeah. Uh, Rachel, Trevor, Bridget, hello to you, new customer Kim, Elaine, Neil, and Linda, Eva, yeah. Suzanne, Sheila, uh, Brenda. Sh I can see you on the phone lines. I know it's busy already this morning. You are up and at them this morning. Well done. Well done. Well done. Um, I'll move on just purely because there's a lot to squeeze in today. Should we do some what? Oh. Oh, oh, I have these. You have these. I have. I have Do I have pearls. this? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't live with I you. <laughs> well, you should. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, we'd have so oh. much fun making jewellery, pearls. Oh, pearls, 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 pearls. Look at these. Beautiful, aren't they? They remind me of, you know, I've certainly shown in the past that uh, the GIA, and I'm going to be talking, showing the GIA um, website a bit later on in the show. The I haven't got time to go too much into this, but you've got the five virtues when it comes to pearls. That's the equivalent to mm. the four C's of your diamonds, which equates to, firstly, size. Mm. Well, these are huge. huge. They are Absolutely huge. huge. Um, then we start talking about shape. Mm. A perfect sphere is still the most difficult to achieve. Absolutely. In terms of its shape and therefore usually commands the highest price mm. point. Then we start talking about Colour. Now, we all know you can dye pearls. Oh, my foot mm. fell off the table then. Um, these are not dyed. These are naturally purple pink. Then we start talking about uh, your nacre, so, which, is, which is like our skin, effectively, mm. how smooth that nacre surface is. And, of course, the orientation stroke luster, how reflective the pearl mm. is. These are completely and utterly natural. And Susie, I can totally see why you bought them. I absolutely love them. Now, they, these are in my, what I call my top drawer, but actually my top drawer is in my bottom drawer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so they're I have special to, ones. They're my very special ones. And um, these are, these go for about 1,500 pounds for the, if I was to hop, use the whole strand. And the reason at the moment, I'm separating all of mine. I'm not actually making whole strands. I'm trying to sort of make them go further. Because I think a fifteen hundred pounds with a sterling silver clasp is still a really good price. It for them. totally is. And you know, and I would feel that in six months' time, when I tried to get another one, I'd be thinking, why did I sell it so cheap? Uh, well, you, that's already been confirmed, to be honest, Susie, with our suppliers. Um, they've actually said, look, it's it's not impossible to con mm. to bring strands like this. However, here we go in the current climate. Mm. It is very expensive. Strands of this grade are likely to retail for around ten thousand US dollars. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's because lots of the big designers, the big names, want naturally spherical mm. pearls. Um, so yeah, we know. Yeah, you'll probably be able to. You will be able to get them, but um, they will be incredibly expensive mm. moving forward. So you're right. Even if they were to, if we were to retail them right now at fifteen hundred pounds or one thousand four hundred ninety nine. That's actually not a bad deal. It's actually a really good deal. Remember, a trade. So I was at Tucson. Um, I took this very photograph. Um, and the reason why I took the photograph, not, not was because it was so expensive. Mm. I actually took the photograph because it was too cheap. Yeah. It was actually too cheap. Yeah, that was a covert photograph. Um, and look, they're selling it at trade at $1,200. About, what, $1 mm. That's a very good price yeah. at trade. What they're going to be at retail, probably, I don't know, uh, four or five times that price tag at the very least. We've taken wow. £1,000 off that price tag. There are six of these available. And we are no way near, no way near near where we're closing. Wow. Where are we closing, Ross? <gasps> no way. That, oh. Wow. Oh, I'm sitting here. And what did you say? You'd knock them with sterling silver and sell Just, them for... Oh, £1,500 minimum. Absolutely minimum. For a pair of earrings, uh, would be £200 for two. Definitely. There'd be £100 each for the um, pearls because... The colour, the fact they are natural. This colour at the moment has pink with pink diamonds, pink and lavenders 
are just so on trend massively, at the moment. Massively, massively so. And this colour pearl is by far the most favourite because it's so unusual and I can charge more for this colour than I would um, a white strand. Of course, yeah, of course. That's absolutely incredible. If these don't go, then I'm buying them. Mm. I'm buying them. And they're perfect. The final four. Adri, I can see you there. Brenda, London and Barbara, you need to check out your yeah. baskets. I mean, just take a little look at this. I've shown it before. Mm. Um, this is Yoko of London. It, I know it's a completely different design. However, look at the pearl. Look at the pearl mm. collar um, in uh, the Novus necklace. There we go. Price on request. I think most of you know what the price is, actually. Um, 22 and a half thousand pounds, pounds for that necklace. Um, again, I say it every single time where's the rarity is mm. the rarity in the 18 karat rose gold or is, is the rarity in the pearls yeah I, I can tell you it is the latter um, um, just amazing that we can bring you that mm. level of quality at a fraction of the cost now I've got two left well done to you Shalini well done to you Gabrielle well done to you Brenda I've also got Joe Sally Manchester Brenda London and Barbara who's gonna take that final one literally not it yeah. and <clears throat> put a put a class of choice and please, 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 if you sell your jewellery, don't undervalue it. No, please, with pearls. Now, you could replicate that design that we just showed you for £22,500 because it's exactly the same amount of pearls. And all you would do there is you would not, and I would put either, because we do, so, um, we do the sort of saucer shape uh, mini gemstones, little gemstones, like yeah. Labradorite. I'm using Labradorite at the moment, uh, but you could do tourmaline. We sell them here, space them out, sell it for, take a naught off that, sell it for 2,250 and say, okay. You That's know, a good deal. It, it's still, it's a tenth of the price. It's sold out. <clears throat> Not surprised. Fantastic. Well done. They are I've got one more pearls. strand. <clears throat> Please tell me that these have metallic in the title. <clears throat> oh. Should say metallic. They should say metallic because that's the first thing that struck me. Well. I have six available. Now, as, as with most gemstones, there are always variations. When it comes to pearls, you can get different colours, you can get different shapes, you can get, as I said, metallic pearls as well. These are called ripple pearls mm. and they are still very much unknown. <clears throat> However, when they, oh my goodness me, look at that. When they do um, um, become known, in fact, in fact, they are commanding already, aren't they? Yeah. Massive, massive price points. The beauty of ripple pearls is immediately you know and recognise that that is a genuine pearl Absolutely. because it has those uh, lovely um, sort of anomalies, I suppose, or characteristics. Also, they massively highlight iridescence. So because mm. you have those sort of uh, those ripples, those areas, mm. those textures across the surface of the nacre um, it enhances our ability to appreciate the iridescence i mean can you see the pistachio greens can you see those sashes mm. of purples those beautiful papayas and golden colors this is all completely natural and they are hugely in demand absolutely i was going to say this is the sort of, these are the pearls that i'm selling at the moment um, and i have to educate people I, mm -hmm. most people don't know beyond white sort of seven yeah. to eight mil pearls so i educate people these at the moment are the highest in demand and i will show them yep. um, photographs f and and ripple pearls there's a brand name called yasumi mm -hmm. which absolutely fetch astronomical prices and what yasumi pearls they are ripple pearls and what that means is that the nacre has got lovely little folds and little individual sort of um accents on them and that makes them absolutely individual and they're baroque they are not round so i always tell my clients you will never get a perfect round. if you want a perfectly round then i'll make this for you but if you want what i see as being so on trend and beautiful that no one else will have and it will be a showstopper then pick your ripple pearls because you've got that lovely um, individual shape, you've got that lovely ripple effect. Look up Yasumi pearls, please. I ask all of you when, when you come on, look up Yasumi pearls and ripple pearls, and you'll, you'll, you, you know, it's me telling you, but 
research for yourself. Well, I so mean, the price goes up with these again. Of course it does. Yeah, I mean you only have to see the variations of the colours. I, I, I personally think we've made a huge error not including mm. metallic because we know the rarity of metallic pearls. How, and we have six, did you say, Ross? There are six of these. Um, available. The last, the previous <coughs> strand, they were the spherical pearls. These yeah. are your Baroque ripple pearls. Um, so it's all down to what which you prefer. If you want that perfect round, then absolutely it was the previous strand. Ripple pearls are amazing. They Aren't are, they, Kayla? I, I agree. absolutely and love they're, them. They're, they're one of those uh, those types of pearls that will absolutely, um, you'll be asked about them for sure. Yeah. When you're wearing them, um, you'll be asked about them. Hello, Sally. Ladies, what is the best thread to, uh, to use to knot your pearls with, please? Wow, wow, pearls are great. Aren't they just? Yeah. No, silk, I always think. I always, for me, if you're going to use this quality of pearls, you use your silk yeah. thread, which we sell and it's absolutely perfect. It's inexpensive. It, yeah, um, absolutely. People would expect this quality to be with silk. silk. Absolutely. Um, they should be silk, I think, personally, because again, it's a natural product, it's a natural fibre, it's not going to damage the pearls. So something like tiger tail might yeah. damage the pearls. So definitely silk. And for this colour, I probably would use nude, yeah, um, nice. which is sort of like a, a very dusky pink. And I would say, always get the sizes um, in all the sizes, but I would try and use the one that is the most difficult to go through. It will go through because when you knot, that knot is going to stay there and, and be on show. Don't put um, a thread through, um, like say a size two, because they come in all sizes. And that the... the the sizes mean the thickness of the thread itself. It doesn't mean, oh, size two for small pearls and size 10 goes up to size 10 is for the larger pearls. It is entirely upon the drill hole. Now, I'm not sure what these are. I think these are about, um, I would use a four or a six thread. I think I have actually used these, but I've put them on head pins. Um, because I haven't, oh. I haven't, I've separated mine, so they're all individual. I, Susie, I we've only got six of these. Oh. We're going to have to move. Um, Can we show some of the um, 60 metallic? seconds, yeah, well, yeah, 60 seconds is ticking away. Um, if you want these, you oh, need no. to check them out as soon as you possibly can. Look at those blush pinks. Oh, Talk yeah. overtones and undertones when we're yeah. talk, discussing your pearl. We're going yeah, even that. lower. There are only six of these available. I'm already happy. I'm more than content at £199. Marry and Brenda and Teresa, don't wow. rest. Don't wait. Debbie, I can see you. Hazel, you're there as well. Sit. Oh, Denise, if everybody checks out... Oh, wow. If, it's, if we oh, sell out before the clock, we will still take it lower. Don't you worry. We're over allocated. We are over allocated on this opportunity. From a harvest, remember this, from a harvest of 10,000 pearls, less than 10 will be naturally metallic. And yet you, here you have an entire strand of natural metallics. Oh, no. We've got one left and we're still taking it lower as promised. First come, first serve. We can't see any fairer than that. They're absolutely beautiful. They're be it, oh, right to the end of the strand. I'm yeah. looking where your hand is. Beautiful. And you'll get colours that are from an apricot oh, wow. right through to a deep pistachio green and do, purple. Do you know, we could have sold this probably about 100 times over. Oh, my goodness. The, the rarity of the pearls literally doesn't quantify that, uh, that, that, you know, that many in our vault, sadly. Well done to the collectors who, who saw the deal, pounced on it, didn't wait, it sold out. I'm oh. so sorry to those of you that oh missed out on that word. opportunity, but don't worry if you want some amazing pearls when you, you've tuned into just the right show. OK, shall we do a close-out deal on pearls? I do oh, have yes. the bangle. I love this. I actually have this at home, and it's one of the, the, the quickest makes. Okay. The quickest makes. Um, I did, I, I, I did, oh, confession time, almost give this to Willow's teacher as a thank you Ooh. gift yesterday. No. <laughs> almost. Yes. No. I yes. did it in the end. I was like, oh, I love it too, too much. Too expensive. Yeah. Um, now, that's a 925 sterling silver, beautiful, flexible, uh, talk at uh, bracelet. Look at the texturing of the sterling silver. You've got this really beautiful fine twist um, And then just at the top there you can see there's the um, there's the, uh, the The actual points for you to put your half drill pearls now every time let me scooch that back so you can see it There we go This this is always <laughs> always super popular when we bring it to air. I Mean look at that. That's fine jewelry 
a top end, isn't it? It's, it's that's that's Bond Street jewelry. Today we've got jewelry that you could put in the sort of yeah Bond Street jeweler shop window, and totally. it would look absolutely in place. Uh, you got your half drill pearl. I mean, obviously this is not glued, but yeah, that's, that's basically it. it. Look how perfect that cultured pearl is. Yeah. Perfectly, yeah, cradled within the sterling Beautiful. silver. I mean, if I just turn it around, here we go. Can you find any flaws? No. Any imperfections? That is, uh, do you know, I always ha I'm always wary of saying flawless when it comes to mm. a pearl. It's an organic gemstone. Yeah. But that is as close to flawless as you could possibly wish And as wish close for. to round as well. Yeah, we're not even stopping at 99.99. For all that sterling silver, um, the flexibility of your beautiful talk break, uh, bangle and two genuine ca uh, cultured pearls. What? Really? Oh, wow. So when I bought it, did I pay this price? I can't remember. Yes. I mean, listen, I'm more than mm. happy at £25. That's amazing. But we're going to do a closeout deal for the final how many? 50. Oh, I mean, Christmas gifts, christening gifts, birthday gifts. Yes, absolutely. If you receive that well, it's, it's, in it's a, a box, a triple figure piece. absolutely. You think, wow. No way would anybody assume that this was under £20. No. Which is what we are going to, by the way. There are 50 of these that are available. If you've tuned in for the first time and you've never made a single piece of jewellery in your entire life, well, basically you need a variety of glue. Not the glue that's super. Pills don't really like that. So use like a hypo cement glue or an E6000 glue. Um, yeah. We often bring that to air. You literally put a little dab on the, on the actual uh, um, the, the drill point. There we go, Susie, that's exactly what Susie carries, the glue yeah. that I've just mentioned, E6000 hypo cement. There we go. You'd put a tiny dab of glue on the, on the, little, uh, the little drill and then literally secure your pearl into place. Leave it overnight, let gravity do its thing and you've just made fine luxury jewellery. Um, it's happening, it's under £20. Mm. Well, if there's any of these left, I am stocking up my stashes. Yeah, absolutely. No. How many? Four grams of sterling silver. We had an email. I'm going to let you into a little bit of a, uh, um, inside information. So Caroline emailed Ross and I over the last couple of days and said, you have permission to do some major closeout deals. Major closeout deals mm. in this hour. This absolutely is one of those. Because you shouldn't buy four grams of sterling silver at less than what we're about to take this to without those perfectly flawless spherical pearls. Can I just say, those pearls, what are they, about an 8 mil? Yeah, put, probably If they bigger. were on a, yeah, put them on a pair of earrings, go and see, you know, how much would you be paying for those? 60, 70, 80 pounds in a normal high street shop for those. But you're also getting four grams of lovely sterling silver eight as well. Mil. Oh, Susie, you won't believe what we're doing today. I can't believe it. And you put it on a bangle and you charge less. Yeah. And you've got more silver. I know. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. But close out deals. Yes, we had an email. Um, didn't we, Roscoe? What, was it yesterday or the day before? I'm not hmm? entirely... Yesterday. Caroline's... You've got permission, guys, to do some major close out deals. Um, make the most of these opportunities because never in a million years that... If they were phobic Pearls, like plastic yeah and that was a base metal yeah I'd get 15 pounds mm, yeah I would totally get it but they're not faux pearls and they're not they're not base metal this is 925 sterling silver the phone lines on the web has gone, gone mad. crazy 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 you've got to check them out there was only 50 Victoria's got two Brenda's got two Chris has got four Wendy's got three Samantha's got two Janet's got two Maker's got three Essex has got three you get the general gist why wouldn't you multiply absolutely and you made a really good point if I saw this in a shop at 14 99 and you'd they think said it was base base metal and simulated pearls yeah and you think yeah still nice that makes sense that makes sense and that's a good price for sort of costume jewelry but this is sterling silver and perfectly round pearls perfectly uh, round pearls in a pair of earrings are through the roof and that and I, i'm quoting 80 pounds and i sort of thought well they're for about six or seven mil yes yeah, probably talking more eight mil but if they, you they look, look huge in here imagine this presented in a really lovely velvet box something like that you know if you were uh, uh, i don't know going to someone like ernest mm. jones or beaver brooks or one of those mm. jewelry uh, jewelry shops 
It's never in a million years going to be a double figure price tag. No. It's not. It, uh, you know, it's going to be three figures and then some. I think you all know that. That's why it is so busy. Well done, Janet. New customer, Christine Zara. Again, oh if you don't check out, you absolutely are going to miss out on this opportunity because yeah. they will be sell out it will be a sell out um maker has just got five essex has got two cardiff has got two charmaine's got two barbara's got two uh michelle's got two another maker's got two glamorgan's got two diane's got two brenda's got two you get the idea yeah. that it, that's when well 50 does not everyone. hang around um well done check out check out check out if you want the deals we've got them for you this morning including Oh, now we have permission to do close out deals on some pearls. I'm not sure we had permission to do this, did we, Ross? Oh, is that Laramore by chance? Now, Jade. check this out gold plated 925 sterling silver. Mm -hmm. 925 sterling silver, yes. Oh, and well. a carrot of oh. Larimar in each drop. Wow. I, I remember do it, launching this. <clears throat> and I remember saying, hang on a minute, 2017, we launched the very first slider bracelet here at Jewelry Maker. 2017, it was round about, uh, <clears throat> let me see, it was about October 2017. Um, <clears throat> and that was a, a classic popcorn sterling silver slider bracelet. No gemstones. No. No gemstones. Mm. We launched that at £24.95. Do you want to know why I remember it so vividly? Because Colin was on air with me. You kind of remember when the MD's alongside you. Mm. You do, because you're just nervous. Like you get really nervous. So I remember that. This is not £24.95. It's not even £19.95. Even though you have a one locational gemstone, one square mile. That's the mining capacity of Larimar in the mm. entire world. And yet here we are bringing you all that beautiful, beautiful gold plating and 925 sterling silver and a carrot in each drop on your Larimar for 12 99 I launched these, I was flabbergasted then at how amazing the saving was. Equally so, we have the last remaining quantity, which I know isn't many, Ross, is it? Because these were absolutely flew, didn't they? 14, there we go. I knew there wasn't many. We have got it in the rose gold as well. Wow. Um, <clears throat> so they're just waiting for some of your beautiful pearls, maybe, or some of your blue John. John. Uh, hello, Avon said, I purchased a few of these. They're beautiful gemstones, aren't oh. they? The quality is amazing. I mean, look how fluid that wonderful sterling silver slider bracelet is. A slider bracelet, again, super, super easy to make high-end jewellery. Absolutely. You could just put that on a chain and with, with the attachment mm -hmm. um, and then wear it as a sort of a necklace and have that as your, your necklace piece. <coughs> that's exactly, that's on the verge of selling out. Well done. Yeah. That's exactly what I would do, actually, Yeah, because Susie. it's so beautiful. And that'd make a lovely, like a pendant, wouldn't it? My hair's being unruly today. Look at that. How pretty is that? So delicate. Yeah, and just have the, have the beads maybe at the back. Yeah. Literally over the top yeah. of the head. It doesn't have to be, you know. No, the, absolutely. The posing, even though it has got that ability. Ah, oh, I love rose gold with Larimar. Mm. You don't see it very often. No. Beautiful. It's those wonderful, warm blush tones um, complementing, of course, your natural Larimar. One locational gemstone. Um, the popularity of rose gold is still at an all-time high. We've matched it, goodness me, 12 99 Do you remember, not that long ago, we had, in a little white box, we had a Larimar, I think it was either Marquise or a drop shape, but it was only tiny. It was a really, really small size, say, like 20 points or something like that. That was £8. Eight ninety nine, mm -hmm. I think, or seven ninety nine, something like that, just for the stone. And yet here you are getting two carats of Larimar mm. and the sterling silver for twelve ninety nine. Um, what a deal it is! How many do we have left of these then, Roscoe? Seventeen originally, but uh, well done, Janice, Ayrshire, Michelle, Margaret, Jean, uh, Wiltshire, Jacks, Nicola. Good morning, everyone. And again, there's people with multiples in uh, in their baskets. Uh, they also make stunning drop earrings. Oh, yes, I like that. Good idea. So, would you take the slider out and then just have one? I wonder. Yeah, you, you, I think that'd be lovely. You could, and then use the slider again. 
for something else. You know what we're like. Lovely kind of jewelry well makers. Done, Avon. Um, love that. Sorry, what was that, Roscoe? Still in silver spacer beads in the hearts. You had the jump rings earlier on. Ah, oh, these are super sweet. And we touched on it. Um, you know, if oh, you go yeah. to, if you look at Tiffany and Co's, um, never mind all their big gemstone pieces, but have a little look at their sterling silver collection, which is very successful for them because, you know, it's like a, it's a brand that many people want to own, mm. isn't it? Uh, you want to own that little, little duck egg blue box. Um, but in their sterling silver collections, it's all about hearts. Not every single piece, but the majority of them will have maybe it started off, I think, with like a padlock yeah. and they had Tiffany's and Co, you know, and have found it in so da, 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 all that information, 925 sterling silver. Uh, and because of that popularity, um, they've never really, never really kind of uh, deviated away from that. So in their sterling silver, it's all very much about hearts. Well, uh, hearts. And we've said it before, hearts are massively poignant in jewellery. Absolutely. They've got every, it's a universal language, isn't it? Everybody it is. knows what That's a heart is. That's a nice is. way of wording it, yeah. You know, we talk about, oh, this gemstone for that, this gemstone for that means this. But when you give somebody a heart, we all know what that means. So it's a beautiful symbol. And it doesn't have to be a romantic heart. No. Because it can be like a um, I've given friendship. these. Friendship. I've put threaded these on to fine sterling silver and made a very delicate oh, necklace. Lovely. Just as a thank you. You know, if you're going out to dinner or if you, you're meeting people, oh. um, I always like to give a present. And these are perfect because you just put it on a chain and... How nice is that? But it's, but it's something you can wear every day. <laughs> Absolutely every day. We're going even lower. I'm going to turn this towards you so you can see. Look at the size of the drill hole. So these will also go on to your gauges of elastic if you want to yeah. include them in your, in your stretchies. We're going lower than 9 99 Oh, my goodness me. Um, yeah, even if these were just your sort of standard spherical yeah. beads, which I absolutely love, that would be amazing. But they're not. You've got that really beautiful... It's like a, a plump heart. You yeah. know one of those hearts you want to go, ooh. Like a nice little little peachy heart. Perfect on a little stretchy yes. as well. Yes. Little space beads. Three mil space beads. That one is stretchy. Beautiful. Really sweet. Another beautiful gift idea. And you get 10 of them as well. Yeah. The 925 sterling silver. What a closeout deal that is. Um, I'm hoping we've got quantity available. 32. Now we've got nine. So there's the simple answer. Um, well done. Check out those baskets. Okay, let's do... Let's do what? Oh, this! <laughs> Did I look completely like... Was I pulling this face? I'm looking yeah. for... I'm looking as well for you, trying to help you out. Thinking, where's the shell put? Where's the shell put of this? Yeah. Now, lovely Anne and Sue made this. Isn't it beautiful? Gorgeous ladies. Oh, look, you just, look, you've just got to give it that, haven't you? Beautiful. Oh, I, I love... I love jewellery like that, the tessellate. Me too. You get everything. So this is eff effectively a kit. Yeah. It's effectively a kit. So including, um, I think it was Mark that actually, what's that? I think it was Mark that actually launched launched this chain. Is beautiful? Um, which could either be like sort of like a W or a Chevron or even an M if you wanted it to. And it kind of concertinas mm. together as well. Can you see that? Let me show you. Kind of concertinas together. So you can separate those if you wanted to. Um, so you get that lovely length of W chain, which is a, you, a meter. You get a meter in total, which is the rose gold. Oh, here it all is. Um, <laughs> look at all that. Wow. Gosh, it's loads look. more than I was actually expecting. So there's the W chain. Oh, you okay. could wear this just like so. Yeah. That'd be can a nice it? strap for a back. For a I back was just well. going to say, handbag, Great beautiful. Minds think alike. <laughs> look at that. So I remember Mark launching this, um, and obviously what areas for you to bead onto, a belt, yeah, be lovely as a belt, mm. so you could uh, certainly use it in things like your upcycling. So you get a metre of your W chain, um, then also you get your shell pearls. Let's go through the shell pearls. So from your, uh, your 10 mils, love it. I don't know why, but this is making me think of Super Mario, yeah. Yeah, with the, the M. I was thinking that, yeah, yeah a little M. <clears throat> Were you saying that as well, Adam? Yeah. I was, it's such an addictive game, isn't it? But look at this. A metre. Oh, a metre of six mil oh, wow. shell pearls. Still not done. You have your oh, bead caps. Oh, I love bead caps. 
So how many do we have of those, the little bee caps? 50. They're like little lotus flowers, if you, if you can look closely. Still not done. You're, I would be getting this. I tell you what, you're about to see one of the best deals ever. Um, you've got 66 pieces of your head pins. Again, rose gold colour. How often do we see rose gold coloured head pins? Rare. Very Beautiful. rarely. And you've got your jump rings just here. Wow. Now, our lovely upstairs team have said... You know, like I said, there was an email come from Caroline, our head buyer, who said, look, you've got permission. I'm still not done. Look, you also get these. Oh, little bicones. Oh, beautiful little Swarovski bicones. Got a beer which you can't this. get hold of anymore. Um, uh, oh, I beg I'll, your pardon, they're right, separate. Take them away. <laughs> okay, take them away. Sorry to confuse. Um, we'll play them, play them immediately afterwards, so I'll just scooch them to one side. I'll do that. I'll Thank do it for you. you. Now, never been lower than the price that's on your screen. On launch, over 100 of these absolutely flew out the door. Um, but, like I said, the team upstairs have said, you've got permission to take this to an absolute close-out deal. Um, how many do we have available, then? 50. 50 of these available. And it's going today under £20. I'm happy for the metre and... Uh, sorry, 138 centimetres of beautiful shell pearl, I'm happy. Mm. Um, if it's going under under twenty pounds, but you're not just getting that. You're getting all of your lovely finings. You get your bead caps, your jump rings, your head pins, and you meet a long length of your W chain. Um, yeah, and I've given that price promise. Look at all the components that you're getting. Nineteen ninety nine. Needless to say, it's obviously a brand new low. Obviously a brand new low. Uh, you have to check out, there are so many people on the phone lines. Um, I told you it was going to be a fabulous Friday. An absolutely amazing Friday morning. So, I mean, a metre long length of those lovely dusky pink yeah. pearls. Um, or it's more like a powder pink, isn't it, it's really? It's a beautiful like, blush, isn't it? Yeah, so pretty. Really pretty. pretty. That at 19 Fantastic. Is amazing. And what, look at all of this. But what's clever, I've, I've just been looking how Sue um, and, and Anne, whoever made it, have made it. And they've made the chain. Um, yeah out of the jump rings, which is really clever. So they've made, used jump rings to make little chains and then bubbled onto those chains with the head pins. So everything to make that is in the kit. Look, there's yeah. those little bee caps, that little little finishing touch. Which is so pretty. That's beautiful, isn't it? Little floral detail. If you don't want to use all the components together, you don't have, have to. to. You don't have to. No. It's a fabulous deal on the shell pearl. It's a fabulous deal on the W chain. And it's a fabulous deal for all those lovely findings. Half the stock has gone well done. Lots of multi buyers getting involved on this opportunity. I know that um, this did uh, um, create quite a, a you know quite a reaction on social media. Mm. Over a hundred sold at twenty nine ninety nine. Wow. Maybe you're one of those people that got involved on the original launch, and that is still an amazing price point. But special permission today, close out deal. Go on, um, take it to to. to to as low a price point as we physically possibly can. That is exactly what's happening uh, today. We are making only friends. Yeah. Only okay. friends with this opportunity. Helen, hello to you. Janice, new customers. Audrey, Nancy, Suzanne, Angela, Sarah, Gabrielle, Amazing. Neil and Linda, Wrexham, Eva, Tyne and Ware, Heather, Marcia, uh, West Midlands, Wendy, Pam, well done. Let's do the bicones. Gosh, has that got, where's that hour gone? Wow. Oh, when you get right. spoilt with goodies like this. Hang on. <laughs> oh, that is in there. You get spoilt with beautiful goodies like this. Time flies by, doesn't it? Okay. Okay. Your early bird is coming up. Sorry. Coming up straight after um, a very short break. Here it is. Right now for the bicones. What's that? Seriously, what's that? Look. What's that? Price I mean, a pound, What's for goodness that? sake. I, I, I'm, I'm Jen, I don't know what to say. A pound. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jeannie. Brilliant price. Um, I bought this kit when it was twenty nine ninety nine. The chain's so amazing, yeah. it's so fluid. It is, isn't it? It's a beautiful kit. Fluid. Lovely. Of course, they yeah, sold a pound. Yeah, not surprised. A pound. Well well a lovely colour. Well done. Now, these are coming up like immediately these. after the break. We've got it in both colours, both the black and also the white. And we've got it in the smaller size as well, maybe for your bracelets or shorter chains. You can shop ahead. Heads up, there are a hundred of each of these, so they will sell out. It's the most 
robust yeah. uh, uh, display stand I think we've ever done. Yeah. Ever, ever done. Really like the most, it. Uh, the most professional. Um, I'd also have one of these on my dressing table. I was just going to say, you'd have that at home. Yeah. It just keeps everything neat. It does. Well, it's coming up, jewellery makers, um, just after the break. Also, don't forget your festive bingo. Um, you can play along with us, of course, uh, in it with a chance of winning £25 credit to your account, which will be drawn at random at the top of the show. You need to be looking out... This is the last time we're going to show you the bingo card. So if, the, if you've just tuned in uh, this Friday morning, take a little photo on your phone or you can pop along to the Jewelry Maker Share Your Makes page and you'll see that image there as well. So these are, these are what you need to be looking out for throughout the course of this Friday morning show. When you see them all, you text us into the studio, 78070. Make sure you start your text with JM Studios. Bingo! And your customer number. Don't forget that. We'll be back. Your early bird is happening after this. Lovely jewellery makers, we have an amazing show planned for you this coming Friday. Your deal of the day is the ultra rare and the utterly beautiful Blue John Fluorite. Make sure you tune in for that entire sellout opportunity. Also, we've got the finest quality, naturally colored, perfectly spherical pearl. It's a pendant, it comes along with your white topaz, and it is a staggering 11 millimeters in size. We're gonna guarantee you the most amazing deal. That's 11 a.m. on the nose, and 10 o'clock as your deal of the day for Blue John Fluorite. Make sure you don't miss out. To know what's going on in the next show then head over to our website click on the TV guide this will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us along with what's going on in each hour if you ever miss a show you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show you can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy catch up on jewelry maker Hi guys, I'm sending out this invitation to all of our collectors across all of our platforms. We are promoting this extremely heavily because this is a one-time event. The opportunity that we have, which I'm calling the window of opportunity for Jedi, is unprecedented. Never before has a generation existed in the West that has had unfettered access to Type A Jedi the way we have. Unfortunately, after speaking to the five vendors, the five Jadeite houses that we deal with exclusively with our Jadeite, we are told that with the reopening, the, 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 the resuming of the markets in China, we are quite simply priced out, which is something that we are used to. I know you guys will be used to. We haven't been able to bring you Jadeite like this before 2020. So knowing that this window of opportunity is closing, knowing that it's about to slam shut, we reached out to these vendors and we said, let's do one incredible final offering. But this time, let's do something different. Let's do master carvings. Some of these pieces that you will see across this week-long event have taken days to produce, each one. It is the highest uh, um, kind of creation of art in the Far East. We are talking about true masterpieces. There are one of a kinds this week. Some of them have just 10, some of them have 20, and then we have some bigger um, incredible offerings as well. I'll be joining you almost daily for the duration of this week. And while that might seem saturated, while that might seem like overkill, there's going to be a complete lull after this event where we're not going to be able to get our hands on pieces like this. You might own strands, you might own cabochons, you might have created wonderful jewellery with a jade that we've bought you before. 
This week is about one thing and one thing only, masterpieces. Join us for this Jadeite Window of Opportunity event. you're going to love this early bird but we've made a boo-boo uh oh hang on a minute by the way uh, <laughs> that's a really good find hang on a minute <laughs> I've just, I've just got. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we won't mention it. Yeah, we just clocked yeah. a, 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 you know, a, a pretty big flaw in this game. But don't worry, you can all play together. Back to your early bird. Back to your early bird. I just said in the break a, a few moments ago, as you know, um, Susie obviously has a very successful business. Um, before I came here to Jewelry Maker, I had my own business with, uh, um, with, with a very small operation. You know, I just wanted to do something a little bit mm. on my own at the um, at that period, and I used to spend absolute fortunes on displays. Yeah, it used to be one of my biggest outgoings. Mm, yeah, and unfortunately. I used to buy them wholesale, and I actually had to physically change my car for the displays. Wow! Yeah, because they're because they take up so much space. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, and unfortunately, they never lasted. They never ever lasted. Mm. They'd get I don't know they get a little bit tired. Say the leatherette would come away, or they'd completely end up Burned wobbling up, around, yeah. and it just you, you know you want your stands to look as professional as you, don't they? they, they I personally believe that how you display is as important as the jewellery that you create. Mm. I mean, obviously, I'm talking right now from a business stance. If you yes. don't sell your jewellery, then look at it in a different way. I don't sell my jewellery anymore. I want these for home. Yeah. <laughs> I want one of these for, for... I've got some little shelves with the side of my dressing table that would be absolutely be perfect, perfect but alongside. The They're never going to not. No, exactly. The, Which you do with, yes. with chains. The amount of times I've got out... End uh, up in a little ball of, or they yeah. get attached to one another. and It's infuriating. Now, we've just literally grabbed a few from around the studio. Now, we noticed how many were going on pre-order. We checked the website... And then Ross clocked that they've been set at the wrong price. It happens a lot. It does. Listen, I'm not going to say otherwise. It does happen mm. a lot. We are, we are only human. So they were meant to close at the prices that you are seeing right now. But that never really works for us on a live shopping channel. So we will give you an extra bit of discount, although they were meant to close at 18 99 So, yeah. Well, I tell you what, let's do it. Now, this is the large. We've never done a stand like this before. It almost looks like a really uh, sort of large chalkboard from that yeah. record, uh, recording. It's not. You've actually got this really beautiful wipeable clean um, leatherette. You've got a solid wood stand, if I just show you all the way around as well. So beautiful solid wood stand. And let me show you all the way around, because the reason why I wanted some uh, some necklaces was to show you that you can actually accommodate different lengths. So from your shorter 18 stroke, 20 inches, right the way up to, say, maybe even your 30. Yeah. Um, for a 30 inch plus um, or, or more actually because you can loop them loop over it can't you so even more what's that you could yes. lay it the other way if you want to. yeah that's Never. a really good point yeah doesn't it so actually more like I'll use the white so you could lay it like that yeah. That's a great idea. So lots of different ways that you can actually display your lovely jewellery. Maybe you'd like uh, lay it that way for your bracelets mm. to match, uh, to go alongside. We're bringing you the white in a few moments. Just so you know, there are a hundred, or there were, 60 have already gone. We were meant to close here at 18.99. I used to spend fortunes on busts and stands. They never lasted. The fact that this is a solid wood bust, and it's not just one either. Yeah. You can actually fit on here, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Actually, probably more than that, because I don't know about you, yeah. you could actually go put one here and then you could put the longer one and hook it onto that one alongside. It's mm. all about positioning. We will go lower, though, purely because it was our mistake. We actually uploaded them to the website at what our closing price should have been. A hundred of these were available. Definitely, definitely not anymore. Under £15. And it's not, instead of having, if you imagine it for a second, I love a bus like this. Nothing yeah. wrong with a bus like this. It's very traditional, but, but that holds one necklace. One necklace. One simple, uh, you know, one single necklace. Yeah. Look at the difference in space. Yeah, OK, this is marginally bigger, but it's also holding more than one necklace. Um, and uh, necklaces in particular look so much better once they are hanging. Yeah. Um, personally, again, I am a, a big advocate of how you display your jewellery, but it shows that you care for it if you are actually displaying it yeah. on stands just like this. And it shows how they're going to sit on the neckline Absolutely. as well, instead of just being laid flat on a trestle table. You can shop ahead as well on the white. Um, that's available. Uh, and also the slightly smaller sizes, which I think, again, it's nice to have that. Look, don't these all look beautiful together? There's your craft stand straight away. If you've yeah. got all four of those, that's it. That's all you need. Make your jewellery. You can put some rings and earrings and things like that mm. about there. But there's your craft stand. But you can display so many of your necklaces rather than this, which would take up so much room. If you were to uh, display the amount of necklaces we have there in that very sort of small space with these, this would take up the whole table. And they're not going anywhere. Can no. I also po point yeah. out that if you do do your markets and things like that, and maybe it's a horrible thing to bring up, but yeah. theft, yeah. you know, you've got a hook just here, so maybe you could secure it at the back that a little bit more. You need to be aware. Clever. Very um, clever. So they're not going to be taken. Um, so, you, yeah, you'd be surprised. I'm sure many of you have learned the hard way, as did I, that, that things do go, go walkies, unfortunately. So these are going to be very, very secure. Mm. But again, to bring it back to people that maybe don't sell their jewellery, um, I, I don't anymore, but I've still got jewellery mm. that I want to look, out, uh, look after and I want to have displayed. So how nice would this be on a dressing table beautiful absolutely beautiful amazing Absol just keeps it neat and you've got your jewelry on display like this morning i'm getting ready and i'm ruffling through the drawers and i'm trying to keep quiet and mine are all in little sort of bags and i'm opening the bag and i know and I, you notice i don't wear the chains because i don't have time to flap and get the knot out in the yeah. way i'm thinking no i just need something i can throw on quickly totally um, we're going to bring you the white now because that's very limited. Lots of you have shopped ahead on the white as well. Both Susie and I were, 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 were yeah, we should have been closing at eighteen ninety nine. Both Susie and I were like, oh, I want the white one. Yeah, <laughs> I want that one. Isn't it beautiful? Look how oh, it's so clean. I'm going to borrow yeah. some of your lovely necklaces because again, certain gemstones look amazing on uh, different colours. So, yeah, exactly. um, I personally like pearls on black, on white yeah. rather. Um, it's not trying to overcomplicate. No um, the actual, yeah. especially naturally coloured pills. So it's all about which gemstones yeah. that you're actually showcasing. Um, I know that's something our directors are very, uh, very clued up on, aren't you, uh, aren't you guys? You know which gemstone to work with. Yeah. Um, um, for example, maybe abalone you might put on black. Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah. Um, if you're displaying chains. If you've got a lot of pendants then it's quite nice on the black because it really shows that the sort of... Sterling silver? Chains. Yeah. Yeah, it's maybe you put, your, you put your chains, chains on, the, on the black. And then the white is... Well, yeah, yeah. again, you'll see. You'll see which one looks better. Mm. Um, £14.99 pence should have been eighteen ninety nine. We had just under 100 of, uh, of these. Um, personally, again, don't they look beautiful together? Yeah. So for £30, I've got some stands there that I don't think I'll ever need to replace. No. Because they are solid solid wood mm. yeah i can't tell you how much money i've wasted in the t in, mm. over the years buying cheap stands mm. basically i was trying to cut, cut you know cut costs yeah. but they never last but never all, ever last but also with that particular design say you are going to use it for your craft fairs and you could be displaying the show um, necklace and then somebody wants to buy it and say, oh, no, I've got one. Ready. I've already got one behind, behind you. And yeah. it's hidden behind yeah, there. Yeah, so it's all behind you. Um, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm really, I'm very aware that these would be great so that nothing gets stolen from yeah, them no, as well. Because good. you've got those little hooks um, behind. They're going to be far less difficult. Um, do you know one of my claim to fames? What is Do that? you know my claim to fame? What is that? 
I've been on Crime Watch three times. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> what? Mugshot. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I've been on Crime Watch three times. Oh, wow. Um, when I was working in that jewellers. Oh, right, OK. Uh, always chasing. I was the one chasing. <laughs> Honestly, the amount of times <laughs> the L like this. Chasing someone, I did oh, wow. get told off for it though, because they were like, "Stop it! You shouldn't chase them. Just let them go." Yeah, that's very true, actually. Very One in true. particular, a guy came in and he was—he stole some diamonds from. Uh, literally, I was carrying diamonds. I was only young, <laughs> literally oh, sobbing no. my heart. They watched the CCTV back, uh, CCTV back, and you just see Al because he pushed me, and I was like, eh. "Oh no!" Pass the CCTV. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you can um, laugh at it now. You no, laugh it's scary. Now. It was scary. It was scary. Yeah. So I like saying that. I've been on Crime Watch three times. Do you know that's why I'm I'd the never, good guy though. That's why I'd never work in a bank because I thought I'd be the person <laughs> that they'd rob. Yeah, it is. It is scary. Oh, you wow. soon get a six cents for it as well. Oh my you goodness! Yeah, cents. no wonder they sort of bolt the doors now. Yeah. Um, okay. Anyway, right. Let's digress. move on. We did digress. That's my fault. I need to pass those to you because yes. these are your lovely, some of the, your lovely yes. jewellery. Right. Now, we hang them. I love these. They're so stylish. Should we do the black first? Because you've got this really beautiful curve. Um, I don't know about you, but I think these would be nice for, not just for necklaces, but also for bracelets. So I don't know if you can see. Let me, get, let me grab. I've just said, let me do grab one of Susie's chains again. I've got a bracelet here. <laughs> so look, it fits chains. Do you want a bracelet? You can put a bracelet on too. Is that straight? Here we go. There you go. You can put a bracelet on. Bracelets on as well. And I'm going to open this up. Oh no, it's the wrong one. You can pop that one on there. There you go. So I mean, and also maybe things like your earrings. I can't believe how good these prices are on display back, uh, stands, honestly. Something like this with a solid wood base, the quality, um, the quality that you're actually getting for these prices. Again, should have closed. We should be closing at £13.99, right? Yeah, is that where we're closing? You're going to take it a bit lower? Okay. Ross doesn't like it if we bring it onto the website and then doesn't move at all. It doesn't feel like he's he's giving you a deal. He, okay, TV savings. TV savings, twelve ninety nine. These are slightly smaller, so again, it's about it's about levels, isn't it? You know, if you just um, and I, and I actually depth and dimension mm. you've got to create interest you know for example if you want to uh, you, we're easily confused mm. if you like with our eyesight so if everything's just on the same le uh, level and mm. um, then you can't actually sort of concentrate mm. on mm. any one item but by creating those levels and those depths um you make it far easier for your customers to actually appreciate all of mm. your beautiful makes so and again i know i'm talking very much on a business stance but um at the same time you know i, I I would have these at home. Yeah, for definitely. sure. This is a slightly smaller version, so maybe you don't have that much space. Mm. You know, um, uh, you know, if you've got maybe on your bedside table, or if you put your jewellery maybe in a cupboard or in a drawer or somewhere else, and you don't want it to, you don't want a massive stand. Mm. Maybe you want something a little bit smaller. Then this is perfect. You are gonna, you've got one, two, three, because you don't have to do it that way. You could also do it this way. Yeah. You don't have to take up two, if that makes sense. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve little grooves at Fantastic. the top there. Um, so again, just if you did your sterling silver chains on there. I know. Fantastic. I love them. I love the, the, the bow the of it as well, the curve. It is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. We had a hundred. They're absolutely flying out the door. What an early bird this is. What an early bird. And again, getting the two different colours, you might think it a minor detail, but actually it's quite important because um, you, if ever you saw behind the scenes here in the studio, if I pick up the wrong colour bust um, and say Adam doesn't like that, uh, that colour with the gemstone, my director, he'll literally, yeah, they'll pass me another one. So, yeah, because it doesn't work with gemstones. They complement them better. And you want to showcase the quality of your creations as well. Um, so, for example, you wouldn't put black spinel on a black bust, would you? No. Because you're not going to see it. You're not going to see it. Twelve ninety nine only. We've got only how many? We had 100. 
Less than 20 wow. remaining. They're on the verge of selling out. We're yeah. about to step into the lovely white. Half the stock has gone on the white, proving to be very, very popular. Yeah. I always think you one. need both, you know, because as you say, you have some gemstones that just suit a black background and some that suit a white background. So I love I think, pearls on white. Yeah, so I just think maybe get both. How beautiful that is, Susie. Is this not, I have to say, these, these displays are better than some of the displays I've seen in high-end Yeah, universe. absolutely. I love them. Re and as you say, really robust. Do you know our sister channel will probably want these? Mm. You imagine as well, on the wood, you could put your, um, if you're running a logo. business, your logo on the bottom. It's a good how, idea. How lovely is that? Or prices. Prices, yeah. You could, you could literally stick your prices. You could put here natural pearls, whatever. Yeah. That's a great yeah. idea. See on the bottom. Great idea. What's that? You could, with your Dremel, you could Dremel onto there, yeah? Absolutely. Things like, uh, um, I don't know. Your logo, you could put in there. Uh, uh, genuine gemstones, you could put your your branding, yeah. whatever it is. Stamp on top. Great idea. Twelve ninety nine yeah. only. Wow. That's amazing. I, 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 and do you know what it's made me think of? Well, we have a lot of busts behind the scenes. Never mind uh, sort of throwing uh, throwing stones at our sister channel, who probably could do with replenishing their busts as well, but. Um, Dan, could we do with replenishing our busts here in our studio? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, he says, yeah. <laughs> and these are nice and wipeable and clean. Yeah. Look, they look professional. It, uh, it really does make a difference how you mm. display them. So here we go. Prime example. Take a look. Lovely necklace coming up in the kits within this hour in a few moments' time. So look how lovely that is. So if, if, you, if you are buying, that shows that you care for the piece yeah. of jewellery, doesn't it? Or what about this? Hang on. Which looks better. Yeah, exactly. Which looks better. But also at home, if you keep it on there, one, that the silver is less likely to tarnish than if you leave it in a drawer. And also, if you want to wear that, you can just take it off and you're ready to oh, go. Away you go. Not yeah. like me, finding it in a bag and <sighs> tied up and knotted. Oh, mine too. I've got one, to of my, spend... one of my pearl necklaces that got stuck to another yeah. pendant and I can't get it out because yeah. it's gone in. Oh, it's a nightmare. Is it? I'm probably going to have to deconstruct the necklace. Yeah. Um, we've got less than 20 of those remaining now, so good luck. Check out your baskets. It is going to be a, a massively, massively over-allocated on this one. Well done, everybody. Congratulations yeah, to well each done. and every single one of you. They are beautiful, aren't they? Um, amazing. Right then, let's move on because we've got some stunning kits. Stunning, stunning Thank kits. You. But before we do... Ooh, that looks rather delicious, doesn't it? Is that like a, hang on a minute, hang on, is that a Christmas pudding cupcake? Yes. A Chris, oh, a Christmas cake cupcake. Because is that a thing? Have you ever a had? A muffin, a Christmas cake muffin? <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, I've never seen a Christmas muffin. muffin. <laughs> it's new to jewelry maker. <gasps> ah, amazing, I know, I'm sure it's delicious. Do you know what I tried for the first time the other day? It's very naughty. What's that? A duffin. What's a duffin? A donut muffin? Yeah. What are they like? Oh my good lord, it's amazing. Where do you get those from? Oh, it's I've awesome. got such a sweet tooth. Have you? Mm. Try your duffins. Duffin, right. Duffins, yeah. I'm on it. Um, okay. Now, in half an hour, very, very, very exciting opportunity because I have the incredible honour wow. of bringing to air none other than Blue John Fluorite. Wow. Now, um, we're obviously going to sort of dive into the history of this gemstone, uh, you know, basically the why it's as globally, uh, globally uh, um, recognised and so incredibly sought after. The mine is rumoured to be completely closed wow. in terms of its actual production. So we're very fortunate um, to have an opportunity to purchase this. It's one, fluorite forms all around the world. However, Blue John is immediately recognised for its quality. Mm. Um, but also, it's a little bit like, for example, it's... Uh, um, why have I gone blank now all of a sudden? Diamonds, diamonds, the mine, the mine that's just closed. 
Argyle. Argyle, thank you. It's like Argyle to, uh, to, to yeah. the diamonds. Blue John is to fluorite. And it is literally, uh, or it was, mined in Derbyshire, just up the road from us. We've got eight strands. It was an entire sellout when we brought it to air. It's coming up as your deal of the day. So all of these, all of these beautiful cuts. Amazing. Um, incredibly inexpensive for what you're getting, which is just amazing. Um, but first, really, really lovely kits. Yes. I like this idea. Now, I'm not going to tell you this is the most complicated kit, because it's no. not. It's not, is it? And I only got half of it. <laughs> you did only get half of it as well, which we were, we were both we were sat there this morning going, hmm. So it's, you got sent what? A, a bracelet, basically. Yeah, I thought this is good. Uh, right, it's a wonderful kit, and it's the most exquisite. And gorgeous, the bracelet. Bracelet. Rolo, is it called? A belcher, I would a say. A belcher, yeah, mm -hmm. belcher, which is beautiful. Look on. at that. Just simple, just like that with nothing on it. So I thought, oh, I don't have to demonstrate a lot with it. Yeah. Well, you know, even if you don't do anything to it, Susie. You can wear it just like that. But it I... is a charm bracelet. So how lovely is that? Look how gorgeous. So all that 925 sterling silver gram weight. With a, oh, I love a belcher, very Gucci. Gucci uh, um, have got mm. um, got these within there. Uh, well, I say that, say mm. not just Gucci, all of the big brands really. But look at the investment of 925 Absolutely. sterling silver. Um, it's a big lobster class. So you saw just quickly then, I'm useless at putting bracelets on. No, and you did you that really well. Because I've got quite long nails yeah. as well. Um, but this did went on really quickly. And it's substantial, isn't it? It's it beautiful. is, it's solid. Um, but we're going to bring you a little, a little mini make kit. So, for example, what can I do in terms of techniques with this one? We've also got the perfect charms to bring you in a few moments, but yeah. um, we'll put everything available on pre-order. But do you want to just show us what you made with yours? Yeah, what I made with mine, if we got the overhead camera mm -hmm. well, there, I did a traditional charm bracelet. charm bracelet, and this is perfect for that. Oh, look at Susie. So I've come from my own stash, yeah. and I've put on all of my lovely, um, ex with the exception of one, they're all jewellery maker. Just Amazing. with the exception of one, which was a little evil eye. But look, how pretty is that? And how easy is that to make? And I shall drape it right. A very on trend at the moment as well, which is why I thought, oh, that's why they want me to um, show it finished. Um, really pretty look. Oh, look. And, and with the <coughs> belcher chain, it is just such a lovely... Well, it's substantial enough to carry yeah. the heavy, uh, yeah, heavy exactly. precious metal charm weight. Now, if you shop ahead, you can get involved with some of your um, some of our charms already. Um, my goodness, look at where we're actually... We have done it again. Is this 21 99 What's the gram weight? Because it seems... Wow, that is heavy. Very, it's, it's brand very new. Heavy. Yeah, that five is a... grams of sterling silver. Yeah, that's weighty. Can we just have a little check that? <laughs> I'd chop ahead on the pre-order. Let's just do it. The point out because Ross is just checking something. The price, basically. Good stuff. Twenty-one ninety-nine. Mm. In the meantime, by the way, in the meantime, um, yeah, half an hour, we are bringing you blue, oop, let me move my mug out of the way, blue John fluorite mined um, in Derbyshire, just up the road. It is the best fluorite in the world. I can say that without hesitation. Everybody regards blue John as the best, uh, best in the world. It is yeah, it's like Argyle to a diamond, exactly. Mm. Um, now, it was an entire sellout when Carol brought it to you a few months ago. Um, and we were only originally meant to be bringing you five different lines. However, um, Scott has allowed us the entire quantity. So it is potentially today or never because mm. we can't guarantee that we'll be able to bring you this gemstone moving forward. OK, shall, have, you, have, you, have you dotted the I's and crossed the T's? Oh, there's nobody oh, yeah. in the building to ask. Okay. Right. No, we no, can't. Let's just let's just do it, it anyway. Oh, wow. Do it anyway. Useful. It's very heavy. It is. For, it's, well, five it's, grams. Normally, you get a bracelet that's quite light. This is solid. Solid. 
Yeah, and because you've got those really beautiful, technically, uh, it, it is it is a belcher chain because yeah. they're spherical links as opposed to a roller chain. But let's not let's not dwell on the on the fine uh, finer points. It is a premier opportunity. You get five grams of sterling silver, and it's when you're talking charm bracelets, you can't mm. have a, you know a, 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 a charm bracelet to have a an insignificant gram weight yeah. because literally it'll break under the weight of your charms yeah, you need true. it to actually have that substantial quality you need to have confidence because it's it's the foundation isn't it it's Absolutely. the foundation to that piece of jewelry but if you go into any of those charm shops and i shan't name names but i think we all know the, the the brands that i'm talking about but if you go in there um and maybe you want to start a collection or you're gifting someone to start their collection the the investment is in the charm bracelet right yeah yes that's where the bulk of the money is going to be spent. Clearly not with us today. Clearly not. Five grams of sterling silver. Again, shop ahead. Think about Christmas, gifts, just because presents, christenings. Because you can easily move that, by the way, to a smaller size. If you know somebody yeah. that's got a particularly petite wrist. My best friend, for example, she's only five foot. She's only five foot tall and she's really dainty. Uh, really, really small and dainty. So uh, she would probably have to move this around. around. Yeah, but easy enough to do. But it's a contemporary twist. I've made a, a traditional charm bracelet, but it looks contemporary because it's not got the big sort of, you know, the very big links they used to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Look how lovely that is. Oh, Susie, that's so beautiful. And with the exception of your all seeing eye, they're all jewellery maker charms. They're all jewellery maker charms, yeah. Well, on the website, you've been shopping ahead. Twenty-one pounds and ninety-nine pence. And as you say, that's the main component to start your <laughs> your sort of bracelet of memories. That's what a charm bracelet is, isn't it? Ah, uh, it's one of the most you know, amazing pieces. Absolutely lovely. You get them handed down, so it'd be something you would start and then hand it down to your daughters yeah. um, to keep. And and it really is memories of your journey through life because special occasions. You might get a new job, so you you'll get a. a charm for that you'll get a present from somebody has special meaning your children might give you a charm because they know that you um have a charm bracelet the most beautiful thing it, to have it's it, it yeah you're making mm. life a lot easier for people if you uh if you wear a charm bracelet because they know what to buy you yeah exactly <laughs> 21 pounds and 99 pence we locked it on the website at the wrong price tag but again we like to give you a little uh, tv deal we went lower Ooh. on the stands we're going to do exactly same on the bracelet as well um so it is solid 925 sterling silver again literally just attach your charms yeah to it. i can Charles. show you how to attach one in a minute it's so. very simple it's not it's not difficult no but look at the end result mm. are you ready how many do we have roscoe <gasps> that's not many is it not at 19.99 gosh you'd be paying probably three figures mm. for that in many places i think you'd be 100 pounds i wouldn't be surprised in the slightest just for the just for the charm bracelet on its own 20 pounds 19.99 and yes that is five grams of 925 sterling silver i love it it's modern whilst not being too out there i suppose um and I it really it works in terms very of on trend, especially with the younger generation as well because it's a whole new generation that are getting to know uh, the charm so absolutely beautiful well this is the thing you know and you've got and it's going to space them out perfectly because absolutely. you've got those uh, um coordinating links as opposed to having maybe uh, uh, dual sizes you know sometimes yeah. some charm bracelets might have one large link then one small one large and they're nice too yeah. but you know th these will space Perfect. it out perfectly for you and make them sit beautifully as well why have it why oh we've got 120 okay right. wow 50 wow. have gone and again christmas present idea how oh, wonderful nice. is this Yes. Buy this and maybe one charm to get everyone going. You said it earlier on, Susie, right? When you see people, maybe you're out to dinner yeah. or you haven't seen someone in a while or uh, you like to give a little gift. Yeah. I do as well. Yeah. It doesn't have to break the bank. Exactly. It's it not to break the bank. It doesn't have to break the bank, but it's a nice little gesture. Yeah, isn't it? and a keepsake for yes. them. Yes. Like, you know, for example, one of my friends is going through a particularly difficult time at the moment. Oh, it'd just be lovely to send her something. Yeah. Instead of her flowers exactly. or anything like that, which probably will cost me three times the price yeah. that's on your screens right now, a nice sterling silver bracelet that she's going to have forever. Absolutely. And this is what I love about Jewelry Maker, and, and especially today's show, because we've got all of those sort of gifts. When I go out with friends, I'm always given flowers, yeah. which are lovely, but in 
five, six, seven days, they're dead and I'm throwing them away. And I'll, I take a photo to say, well, I've got a memory of that, but they're gone. But wouldn't it be lovely if, you know, that's, that's why I give it uh, always jewellery. I've got another idea. How about putting? Oh, yes. And you could. That on that. Exactly. Imagine that this pearl, which is coming up at 11 o'clock, imagine that suspended from this bracelet. Because we're going to give you a price so good that you could. £16.99 pence only. Fantastic. Fantastic. Do you know what the, the boys in the gallery, Paul, uh, Paul and Ross, were just saying? Um, oh, men don't do that. They don't just buy. Don't they? Why? Why not? You should. <laughs> you, you just have to break the bank, but just nice little token gifts. My husband does. He does, yeah. Yeah, you got yeah. He bought his he bought his best mate a pair of trainers the other um, a few weeks ago. Yeah. Oh wow. Does he want a new mate? You, oh, yeah. I can totally hook you up. Um, it's nice though, isn't it? It is nice. I mean, I'm granted. I wouldn't get by my friend's trainers. Jewelry. Yeah. Definitely Absolutely. jewelry. Sixteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. Um, hello to you, Shalini. Put children and grandchildren birthstones as child. Yeah, absolutely. Lovely idea. Beautiful idea. Or maybe you know when they're born, when children are born. Yeah, are they absolutely. Uh, good morning. Three Christmas presents sorted. Thank you, jewelry maker June. I'm loving how organised you are, my darling. I mean, I, I try and be the same. I do try and buy presents throughout the course of the year, and then it doesn't sting at Christmas time, does it? Uh, Irene, uh, I was not going to buy today, but mm, yeah, I know, Irene. I, I say that every day. It never works out. It never works out. I always ask the question and get asked it all the time. Do you actually get take any money from your wages? Very little is the answer. Mm. Very little. Um, we had a hundred of these. Well done. Sixteen pounds and ninety nine pence. I like the fact that you've got a really nice, um, a, a nice size lobster claw. Yeah. So yeah. super easy to put on. Super. You easy. saw how you put it on. It was very simple. Yeah. Didn't take. I wasn't sort of. And you've got nails as well. Was I? Yeah. Yeah. I've got quite long fingernails, so it can sometimes be a bit tricky, but not today. Valerie, Marge, Janice, Helen, Lynn, uh, Julie, Alison, Christine, Suzanne, Gillian, Eileen. Well done to you. Angela, Penny, Carol, June, Samantha, Nicola, Susan, Tracy, Nancy, Anita. Again, uh, well done. This pearl's coming up at eleven o'clock today. Don't forget, you're twenty minutes away from Blue John Fluorite, which is super exciting. Um, let's do the garnets now because. Yes. Um, I mean, whether you're a January baby or not, oh my goodness me, this, these garnets are incredible. Dan, can I borrow, um, you wouldn't happen to have um, a white piece of paper, would you? Just because I don't want these to get lost on the wood board. Oh, they've got different mounts. So you've got different yeah, settings. This... The perfect garnet to go alongside the perfect, oh wait, you get all four. Now, this is an amazing deal. Thank you, my lovely. Gorgeous Dan, everyone. Uh, smouldering eyes, gorgeous Dan. Uh, look at these. Oh, my word. There's like a classic Tiffany mount. Can you see that? And then wait. Beautiful. Then you've got what I always describe as what we, a rubbed over setting. Can you see that? Which are really easy to set. You just pop it in. All of them, you just pop them in. There's the calibrated garnet to go alongside. Look at the quality of that garnet. Then, I'm still not done. You have another slightly different. So that one's got a gallery. Can you see that? You've got those exposed areas just here. That one is a full gallery so there's no areas um taken away if you like and there's there's your garnet one more wow oh you know when you underestimate an auction then you've got this they're that's just, they're lovely they're just you literally snapped. just pinch together yeah just pop it in where can i put that let's put it there yeah and then there is the perfect calibrated garnet. Wow, I underestimated this little this, this little oh, bundle. It's beautiful. 
They are absolutely incredible. You don't have to worry and shop around for, okay, I need a mount for this size. No. I, I, I need to buy a stone for that size mount. You've got it literally all at times four. So if you've got multiples of those bracelets, yeah. I would only put one. Absolutely, that's on all that you bracelet. need. That all you need. All you or need. on sterling silver chains, because yeah. they've got a lovely bale Make that you can use, uh, use them as individual pendants. Really pretty, delicate jewellery. Just as a necklace, as a pendant. Yeah. Again, every day uh, has meaning. Beautiful. It doesn't, they don't, I know we've put them as charms, but they could easily be pendants. Hi, Liz. Uh, these are lovely for weddings. Um, I put the birthstone of the bridal party oh, on them. Yeah. A lovely reminder of a happy day. What a gorgeous idea. Now, we went lower on the bracelet. Should we go lower on these? That's already working out at £5 per genuine garnet sterling silver yeah. pendant. Uh, personally, I'm going to, I look at these as more of a, a pendant than I do a charm, personally, but you could very easily accommodate them to mm. the bracelet. You know, just imagine. Today, we're going even lower. Wow. 14... Absolutely amazing. Uh, so what's that? £3.75. Each three pounds seventy five. Do you know what I like about those as well? Is you've got the, the, the same gemstone, but they will all look different because they're all in different, yeah, different settings. You've got your Tiffany's These, mount, you've got a, 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 an open, uh, what I call rubbed over just here. Yeah. Then you've got the closed rubbed over. Can you see the difference between those two? Then you've got that almost embrace. It's like, like a cuddle all it, the way yeah. around. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. We've Beautiful. got what two uh, three pounds seventy five per genuine garnet and sterling silver pendant stroke charm. We have got more to bring you as well. But um, yeah, we must never assume, Susie, that everybody knows how to attach charms. No, exactly. So I think have we got I've got some charms with me. Because, as I say, I just got the... Um, Do you want to borrow these? No, I can... Uh, I can borrow... Yes, let's borrow those, but I, I've got charms here. So okay. I'll just show you what an array of charms look like. Mm -hmm. Can you see on the overhead? Oh, so nice. So these are what... I, jewelry maker charms that you've collected over the years. These are all jewellery maker charms that I've collected over the years. And as you can see, the, lots of them have significance. There's a lovely enamel one there. That's the only one that I've... Um, got that's for mine I love an evil eye charms are really really easy to put on with this one because it's a sort of a do it you say <coughs> yourself make if you just want to add one which is something just absolutely beautiful simple thing is start in the middle and the easiest thing here is just to hold the two ends together and, and I'm talking really for uh, you beginners, you, you may just buy jewellery and uh, you've been watching our sort of jewellery channel and then you've found out and think, oh, I can make my own jewellery, I didn't know that. And it's always nice to personalise a gift. I always think, you know, if you're giving a gift and you say, I've made it so much nicer, they think, oh, you've actually taken time. And I'm just going to put my glasses on even for this. So to find the centre, you literally just put the two ends together and you hold it up and you can see, can you see there, that you'll get one, exactly, that's it there. Mm -hmm. Right at the end, if we can go down, that's it, and it's just there. So that is our centre. So all we do, and all you'll need is some just pliers, um, and that's it, that's the only tools you'll need, and you just need a jump ring. And you will just open up your jump ring, like so. Like that, so I've opened it. You'll put your charm, let me choose this one, which I always think is a lovely charm. It's sort of a feather, which is hope. It can be any charm you like. And you lift that up and you literally pop it on to your belt chap. There we go. And we close it up. And it's as simple as that. If you wanted to solder that on, you that's could. pretty simple as well. Absolutely, but that's how you start. And then what you do is, as you get your charms, can you see as I've laid it out, and it really is just a lesson in using this, you've got little open ones that lie on the bottom or on the top. And as you can see here, my one is, the one I've put it on because it's in the middle, is the one that's looking at the top 
I don't know if we can scooch in a bit more. Yeah. And so what you want to do is remember that they're the ones you want to put your charms on. Don't be swapping them for one here, say. Use the one that, as these are on the top, you would go to that one. Don't use that one. What that means is you will get a beautiful hang to your charm when, when you've done it. You see, they'll all hang in the right place. If you don't do that, what will happen is they'll all hang awkwardly. So, and I would say, as you get your charm, start with the middle and then go to one side. And I normally miss one and then go to the next one. So it's one, two, three, yeah. four. From that Otherwise one, they bunch, don't they? Yeah, and then you get a nice spacing. So the next one would be there. And then when you get another one, you go to the other side. So you build it up from the middle outwards. Um, and if you wanted to, I mean, some, you know, you could, if you've only got three and, you, and that's all you want, you then just space them out and just put one there and maybe one here. And sometimes that's all you want. You know, some people don't want to have lots of charms. They might just have three. You might want to give it as a present. Um, it might be for one of your daughters or your, you know, or for a friend and, and it's a friendship bracelet. And you might um, have memories of when you first met, your journey together. And so you just want a few. And so that's how you'd measure them out. And it's as simple as that and or you can fill them up so and that's it really but sometimes jewelry isn't about complicated sort of soldering or knowing how to do lots and lots of techniques sometimes it's as simple as mm -hmm. opening and closing a jump ring and you can make stunning jewelry with it totally agree totally 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 agree and actually that tends to be the most commercial yeah exactly the most commercial exactly jewelry. well on that basis we've only got a handful of the bracelets remaining now so um, and i'm not really surprised at 16 pounds and 99 pence for five grams of beautiful sterling silver um i love it it was it june that said earlier on that's three presents ticked off the christmas list amazing i do exactly the same june i do exactly the same um i try and purchase throughout the course of the year and then come december a, you haven't got to worry about it. B, it's not going to cost a fortune when really all I want to be buying in December is, um, is, is, is food. Food and wine. That's what I want to buy in December. Um, there's how many left, did you say? From a quantity of? Uh, okay, we are down to the, uh, about 31 we've got left of the bracelets. We're way over allocated, way over allocated. Now, I've got another beautiful, beautiful uh, little opportunity. So and I've actually positioned these on the board um, in different ways, just so you can see, A, they are stamped 925 sterling silver. B, you've got that really beautiful, um, well, it is a rubbed over setting effectively. That doesn't just uh, come in your um, in your rounds. You can also get some really gorgeous shapes like your marquee. So you get all three of them. Um, they are cubic zirconias in the center. I've flipped that over now, haven't I? Here we go. Cubic zirconias um, in the center. You said earlier on, oh my goodness, about literally finishing. You know, we have all those reels of chain. chain absolutely, what yeah. A nice little, little, little je ne sais quoi at the back. On the end of, um, now if you bought enough of them, they, they look beautiful on uh, tassels. Oh, I was going to say, please say tassels. And oh. I think there was one that you were showing where you had a, a beautiful sort of panther head and then you had like yeah. rubies and then they had little. Oh, it was a parrot. As a parrot. It was a Cartier parrot, parrot. Head, yeah, and then they had rubies going down. Yeah. How amazing. And put those on the end. They look like evil eyes as well, so a oh. lovely little symbolic. Do you know what? They're, I mean, they're, they're, they're petite. They're not they're huge, so if they're... I put my finger behind. They're yeah. not massive. Should yeah. we do them for a pound each? Oh, wow. Even though they're sterling silver? I mean, I love it. I would definitely, definitely be shopping and stocking up on these. I'd be getting the multiples yeah. that I can see so many of you doing. I love that idea, Susie, on tassels. Wouldn't that look, oh. so extra little tessellation? And also, again, perfect on the end of extender chains. Love it. Absolutely love it. Many of your Roberto coin, for example, um, fine Italian jeweller, always includes a ruby in every single piece wow. of jewellery. Yeah. Cartier, in all of their timepieces, a sapphire. Yeah. So, oh, I mean, wow. you don't have to use those gemstones yeah. of course this could be this could literally be your signature and it's attention to detail instead of literally a chain just coming to an yeah. end having a beautiful marquise um cubic zirconia 2.99 how many did we have them 110 wow. oh mm. 40 left 
Lance has just got five. Cardiff's got two. Wessex has mm. got four. Dawn's got two. Sorry's got two. Uh, sorry, four. Um, okay, I've got. Oh, what? Sorry. Bear with a sec. Bear with. Make sure you check out your baskets on this one. There was only 110. Um, only 110 opportunities. Now, remember, you've got seven minutes. Seven minutes until we bring you Premier Blue John Fluorite. I, this is the first time I've ever had the chance to talk about Blue John Fluorite, so I'm very, very excited. Um, from Derbyshire, just up the road, it is... Yeah, basically uh, the best you could ever... Well, it's known in its own individual, right? Yes, it's a variety of fluorite, but Blue John is only ever really described as Blue John mm. um, because of its quality. That's coming up in just six minutes now. Um, now, let's bring you... Speaking of spools... <laughs> yeah, wow. Hang on. Have, have we got... I know it comes like this, so to protect your silver, but uh, your chain, rather, but let me um, take it off so you can see the quality of it. Here we go. So you're not just get which one, or do I get both? You get both. It really comes with. <clears throat> so it actually comes, and the charms. Love this chain. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely stunning. It's such on. a delicate chain. I'm opening it up <clears throat> just because we need to see it, don't we? Bear with me. Bear with. There, there we, we are. Go. Oh, what a lovely colour that rose gold is. Oh, and you're getting your lovely... There's your, there's your jump rings. You've got some really lovely... In fact, they're more like ovals or bales. Can you see that if I actually hold them up for you? So you get a selection of those. They're all linked together, wow. but obviously you can separate them out. Um, so you've got six of those. You've also got... Oh, my fave. No your fave. rose gold Buddha heads. And I will hold the silver colour one up so you can see the detail. Um, so this is one big bundle. Um, in terms of the actual chain on the reel, it's five metres in each of the colours, so it's a total wow. of <clears throat> ten metres. They are silver plated base metal and rose gold plated base metal, so there are definite pluses to, uh, to your base metals. I know mm. we bring you your sterling silver, of course, but if you are looking to cut the costs and you know, mm. um, work to a budget, mm. then yeah, there's nothing wrong with using base metals, especially when they are precious metal plated. Mm. Um, now, this entire kit, we're going to do it in one amazing price point. So that's four Buddha charms. That's the, um, as you can see, the um, jump rings. And 10 metres of your silver plated and rose gold plated chain. 12.99. That's fantastic. 10 metres of delicate chain. 12.99. Wow. And with this chain, if you're all wondering, gosh, I can't get to, um, a head to pin through that. Isn't because it? it's so easy, you can put actually get this through, because I've used yeah. this before, through a crimp tube and you just crimp it. So you just use that because it's metal. You um, can get featherweights through these, though. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, you can get featherweight chains oh through this chain. Well, this is even better. Yeah. Then you just make a rosary link with it and yeah. um, just do a little rosary link. So you link one end and then I put a little gemstone. That could be your feature. And then use the other end and then put your... Yeah, you'll get featherweights or your 0.4 wire will go through there as well, just to do a little wrap loop if you wanted yeah, to attach, um, a, attach a clasp of choice. Twelve ninety nine. Goodness me, I'm stunned. I'm absolutely stunned. I thought this would absolutely fly out the door. For whatever reason, it hasn't done. That's wow. a massive deal. Um, okay, leave it with you. We cannot go a single penny lower for 10 metres of your of precious metal plated base metal uh, chain and all of those charms and jump rings. Now, we are running out of time within this hour. Um, make sure you check out your baskets and do not go anywhere because we have coming up immediately after the break yeah. a brand new opportunity for Blue John Fluorite. Don't go anywhere. Join us after this. And it does go through a head pin. Jewellery Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewellery Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Lovely jewellery makers, we have an amazing show planned for you this coming Friday. Your deal of the day is the ultra rare and the utterly beautiful 
Blue John Fluorite. Make sure you tune in for that entire sellout opportunity. Also, we've got the finest quality, naturally colored, perfectly spherical pearl. It's a pendant, it comes along with your white topaz, and it is a staggering 11 millimeters in size. We're gonna guarantee you the most amazing deal. That's 11 a.m. on the nose and 10 o'clock as your deal of the day for Blue John Fluorite. Make sure you don't miss out. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide, this will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. I was told that this British weather that's constantly raining was actually really good for rock formation and is a key ingredient in the colours that we see in Blue John. Now behind me you can see all these stalactites which are essentially the water that's filtering through the rocks that are above us, picking up iron and other minerals as they go and then as they drip through the, the walls of the cavern over millions of years, these stalactites will be forming. But it's this very same process that happens with the Blue Jean Fluorite. And what's happening there is the water, which has picked up those iron minerals, is then depositing them in the fluorite crystal over a, a process that takes literally millions of years. And they bring these beautiful chocolate uh, and, and cognac tones. They add them in to the wonderful color palette that is Blue Jean Fluorite. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. What an exciting opportunity. And you uh, saw, of course, Jake Thompson, our um, amazing gem investor, at the Blue John Mine. And it's, you don't have to travel too far. You haven't even got to board a plane because Blue John is famously from, of course, Derbyshire, the county of Derbyshire, in one of the most beautiful uh, countryside, rolling hill, hills, stereotypically British. And it is really the only gemstone that we here in the, the United Kingdom um, can actually say. And that's, and that's not strictly true. There are other gemstones, mind you, of course. But really, this is probably our biggest. But sadly, the mine 
is deplete. Every so often they find the occasional uh, the occasional seam. For a while they were chasing, um, we actually lost the seam of Blue John, I'm talking literally uh, uh, hundreds of years ago. Um, but unfortunately the quality, like what you are about to potentially get the opportunity to purchase, is all but gone. But what is Blue John? And this is the first time I have ever had the opportunity to discuss this amazing uh, gemstone. I've never, ever presented uh, Blue John before. I know it has been on your screens once and once only. Um, not, none of these, by the way. These are all premiere opportunities. As part of our birthday celebration back in May, every single one of those strands that Carol brought to air completely and utterly sold out. Now, we actually have a larger quantity of variety that in term eight lines basically but there are about 50 of each it's never going to have masses because of the rarity of the gemstone but from one one of the most beautiful locations we can take a little look at this one of the most beautiful locations um, rolling hills, gorgeous countryside is where Blue John actually is born. A beautiful variety, very rare variety of natural fluorite. Famed, hailed, celebrated all around the world um, and throughout history. Discovered over 2,000 years ago. Do you know what? The first sentence that I read, I was like, really? I didn't realize it was that, you know, it, it was that steeped in history. You know, we talk about, you know, thousands of years and usually associate it to gemstones like jadeite, for example, um, or, or, I don't know, free dive pearls. But Blue John, 2,000 years ago, the only known deposit of this rare and be beautiful natural gemstone occurs in the hillsides to the west of Castleton, Hope Valley, Derbyshire, England, opposite the mountain known as Mam Tor, often described as the Shivering Mountain. Blue John has only ever been found within the Blue John Cavern and uh, uh, Treak Cliff Cavern in Castleton in Derbyshire. So, uh, like I said earlier on, like Argyle is to a diamond, like Columbia is to an emerald, Derbyshire is to Blue John fluorite. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Mm. The origin of the name Blue John, because I wondered that straight away. Well, why is it called this? Is this, a, is this the person that maybe discovered it? Um, but no, uh, it's believed to have come from the French uh, Blue et Jean, meaning blue and yellow, uh, which was uh, uh, the, sorry, which was later abbreviated to Blue John. Steeped in rich history, Blue John has been displayed in stately homes throughout the country uh, for century. Made world famous by craftsmanship of Matthew Bolton in the late 18th, 18th century. The story goes that Blue John was exported to France uh, where it was used um, in the reign of King Louis. However, there are no archival records of any Blue John being exported to France. For many of the early ornaments incorporating Blue John were in fact manufactured by Matthew Bolton in Birmingham in 1760. So this is a gemstone that literally dates back. And by the way, there was paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs about sort of the history of it and the fact, you know, stately homes. Um, but I kind of like cropped it down just a little bit so we're not reading for absolutely hours on end and really you're getting hold of your gemstones. But what I did find really important was origination of the name, you know, how the name actually uh, came about, um, but also the fact that the Romans um, included this, uh, you know, celebrated this gemstone. Blue John is Britain's rarest mineral. I think that's by far. First discovered in Castleton, Derbyshire by the Romans almost 2,000 years ago. The Romans settled just three miles from the area um, in the village of, I don't know how to pronounce that, Bro, 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 Broth maybe, uh, and it's likely that they were prospecting for deposits of lead ore uh, when they struck upon Blue John fl uh, floor spar. 
purely by chance. It's often the way when it comes to gemstone discovery. Being keen mineralogists, they would instantly have recognized the outstanding beauty of their find. During this period, the Romans developed skills along with the machinery to enable them to turn and polish the stone to transform the raw material into beautiful Blue John ornaments and artifacts. During the excavation of Pompeii, two vases of Blue John stone were supposedly unearthed. Evidence, therefore, that the Romans not only discovered the stone, but also prized the stone for its ornamental value i love that i absolutely love that we know that the romans adored their gemstones we know that really they were incredible crafters um and i guess to work with a gemstone that's as challenging as blue john fluorite of course they would have succeeded so a little bit a, a snippet of the history of this gemstone which like i said earlier on i could have gone on for probably the entire hour i'm not going to do that of course so we'll read on Throughout the 19th century and Regency period, the Blue John mineral became in very high demand, frequently used for ornamental purposes to produce exquisite vases, columns, tables, and even windows in many of our finest houses in Britain, most notably Buckingham Palace and Chatsworth House in Derbyshire, the home of the Duke and Duchess of Devonshire. So the, you will find Blue John fluorite, I, be, I guess by no surprise, within um, some of our most historic buildings. Geology and mineral, uh, mineralogy. Blue John uh, is also known as Derbyshire floor spar, which is a semi-precious stone. We don't use that term anymore. No gemstone is semi-precious um, in accordance to the GIA. You couldn't say that Blue John is semi-anything. It's almost mined out, so it's incredibly precious and rare. A unique form of fluorite with distinctive bands of purple, blue, and yellow colorings found only in the Blue John and Tree Cliff Caverns in Castleton, as I said a earlier on. Blue John is is a heavily crystallized formation and occasionally surface marks can be seen. Um, this is not detrimental to the stone and in fact enhances its individuality. It has been seen uh, that certain specimens of Blue John show signs of fluorescence on exposure to ultraviolet light, uh, but this is the exception rather than the rule. I think we know that about all different varieties of your uh, of, of fluorite, fluorite, fluoresce. It's literally where the name actually came from. Um, but the reason why I included that, that, that sort of paragraph was because we should expect to have that patterning areas of opacity this is not something like like diamonds where you're looking for completely eye clean clarity the gemstone is highly prized differing um, from any other variation of floor spa due to its unique crystal structure so it is very different to any other variety of fluorite out there and banded veins of color which run through the stone during the 18th and 19th century blue john was mined for ornamental value producing exquisite bowls eggs and goblets splendid unique specimens of blue john stone can be found in collections throughout the world the mines are sadly now largely extinct However, small veins and nodules of fine quality blue John stone um, of sufficient size for jewelry can still be found. So really, we talk about tanzanite. We talk about Burmese ruby. We talk about Laramar. We talk about lots of different gemstones, which may be, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 years away in terms of mining. This is pretty much there, minuscule amounts come from the mine and if you're imagining when I picture a mine you know I've I've been lucky enough to experience some mines in my career normally they are either sort of vertical uh, vertical shafts or you're going into these big vast caverns I thought oh how perfectly British that our our most legendary gemstone mine looks like this how perfectly British. You've got this really beautiful little quite quaint cottage that literally is perched, literally perched in the, in the nooks and crannies of the Derbyshire Hills. That is actually the Blue John Mine entrance. You almost wouldn't imagine that it was there. If I, if I was traveling to it, I'd probably even drive past it. Um, but there it is, that's the entrance. And of course, you can't show the Derbyshire Hills without showing them capped with snow. There they are, look how beautiful. 
Um, you can see the British flag in the background, of course, celebrating that this is our one of our wonderful, wonderful treasures. And inside, as I said, it's no longer really in, uh, in commercial mining. This is really largely open now to tourists. You can actually go to the Blue John Mine. You can actually walk um, through uh, many of the actual uh, uh, tunnels that have been carved within. I think I've got a photograph of that that I can show you. Um, it's all, again, perfectly. Uh, you, can, you can see very different to how some mines would be in certain countries. We've even paved it for you. Um, so you can literally walk through. Um, but this is a gemstone, as I said. You can purchase it, but it tends to be in very fine jewellery um, and it tends to be very, very expensive. Just cast your mind back just a few moments to where I said earlier on with Blue John Fluorite, you sh it's a heavily crystallised gemstone. So you should expect there to be formations and patterns like this, areas of different colour zoning within. That's what the gemstone is actually all about. So I've got a couple of photographs here of just finished pieces of jewellery to show you the quality. Um, this is all fine quality blue john look at the price as well one th uh, 159 pounds for one single stone in sterling silver there's another one very few but there we are uh, again it's quite brown that one i have to say but a hundred pounds for a single charm for a single charm blue john is not an inexpensive gemstone you'll very quickly realize that i've got another piece i think i can show you there we go 129 pounds for one single cabochon but you see those areas that heavy crystallization you can see also the different uh, areas of color within now think how many pieces that you could make out of your strands because you are basically going to be getting entire parcels of this now extinct gemstone yes minute amounts are coming from that location, minuscule. So the chances are each and every single one of these strands will have come out of the, of the ground possibly decades ago. We have no other Blue John in our vault, none. And the reality is we can get many gemstones, we can get pretty much all gemstones out there the exception would probably be your grand digerite because that's not in production. How many gemstones do you know at this present moment in time, not in the future, how many gemstones at this exact moment do you know aren't unearthing? Grand digerite, Paraba, Argyle diamonds, closed, Sleeping Beauty, Mahenge Spinel. What prices do each of those carry? Astronomical. Get yourself ready. Here is our gem investor walking us and talking us through this exciting home ground gemstone that as lovers of gemstones and collectors, we need to make the most of this opportunity today because it may not arise again. I was told that this British weather that's constantly raining was actually really good for rock formation and is a key ingredient in the colours that we see in Blue John. Now behind me you can see all these stalactites which are essentially the water that's filtering through the rocks that are above us, picking up iron and other minerals as they go and then as they drip through the, the walls of the cavern over millions of years, these stalactites will be forming. But it's this very same process that happens with the Blue Jean Fluorite. And what's happening there is the water, which has picked up those iron minerals, is then depositing them in the fluorite crystal over a, a process that takes literally millions of years. And they bring these beautiful chocolate uh, and, and cognac tones. They add them in to the wonderful color palette that is Blue Jean Fluorite. Everything in this opportunity, nine, aha, that's one more than I actually thought, nine strands are available. You can shop ahead and we are super, super busy today. In fact, have a little look back at all the W's at jewelrymaker.com and you'll see how many items have already sold out this morning. Sold out.
sold out, sold out. Now add to the equation that we have the rarest mineral of our country, one of the most sought after minerals across the entire globe, steeped in history. Do you think they're gonna sell out? Because I definitely do. There are just 50 of each Blue John strand. We wanted to put them all available though because there's different cuts. So you can shop ahead. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a heads up. We spoke about how expensive Blue John is. And it is, because listen, Paraba, Grand Digirite, Mahenge Spinel, uh, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, the prices of each of those gemstones, you can't get a hold of it. And it's human nature to want what we can't get, isn't it? But not only that, this is the best variety of fluorite that you could, oh my word, they're incredible. The best variety of fluorite that you could ever, ever, ever get your hands on. Different shapes, sizes, and carat weights. They're all on the website. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a, um, a, a little bit of a heads up. They're very exclusive, very limited, 50 of each. That's it. They're all going to be quite afford, uh, affordable. In fact, every single one, people have already shopped ahead and confirmed on. Well done. I'm going to start with some beautiful faceted cubes. Oh, oh, really important. Get your certificate. You need to get your certificate because you wouldn't buy an Argyle diamond without the certificate, would you? You would want that certificate of authenticity. You absolutely should get that piece of paper for your Blue John. Now I'm going to start with the cubes. Look at this quality. Blue John should have a presence, a glow, a luminosity. It should have all the wonderful palettes. And my goodness me, you've got some really, really rare, beautiful colors. Hello, Jeannie. I visited the Blue John Caverns. Um, it's a fascinating place to visit. Uh, and you can visit the shop. The jewelry is obviously quite expensive. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be, isn't it? It's absolutely going to be. Um, hello to you, Vera. I went to the Blue John Mine. It is a amazing the shop shows a few antique pieces sadly i could not afford any of the uh, any of the jewelry absolutely it, uh, and to be honest to be honest vera most of us will be in that exact same situation because you only need we're the exception to the rule really aren't we we're bringing you a gemstone which is unobtainable right now and we're not just bringing you one individual solitaire we're bringing you an entire parcel um and i'm saying to you it's going to be inexpensive so we are the exception you only have to look out Swear, there's only a handful of retailers that will actually sell Blue John um, and the ones that I showed you were what 129 per cabochon that's like half of one of these effectively look at how blue those colors are let's make a comparison on quality right now take a look at this take a look at this I like a little bit of the caramel, but not complete caramel. Now look at yours. This is lovely. That's lovely. £159 though for one individual piece. Again, these are beautiful, lovely formations, very dense, remember crystal, dense crystal formations. But I would much prefer this colour the blues, the purples, the greens, the pinks. Are you ready, jewelry makers? It will be an absolute entire sellout. I've got 50 of these available. That's it. Um, I, and if I were, and Wayne's on holiday at the moment, our gemstone buyer, but I know, I know if I picked up the phone and said to him, Wayne, can you get some more blue John? He'd be like, no, well, of course I can't. This is a gemstone, which is no longer in production commercially. What is really out there is out there. There's tiny, tiny minuscule amounts that occasionally pop up, um, within the mine itself. It's unobtainable. And this is the rarest of all our own home turf minerals. Are you ready? Because it is happening. In three, in two, in one. Nine different cuts. And they're all very different cuts. Oh, you've got to be quick on this one. You've got to be quick. There are so many collectors getting involved. 
immediately. Let's beat that. The, the ring, I really like that. And the quality is lovely. It is lovely. It's not as good as yours, but it is lovely. 159, let's beat that price point. That's for one single cabochon. You're getting an entire strand of genuine Blue John fluorite. Are they? Look, I mean, that's all natural quality. Even if, and it is a big if, we were to stop here, that would be incredible. It would be incredible. You're not just getting one stone, you're getting an entire parcel. But that's not your price. Let's take a third off that price again. And then when we reach our closing price, I'm going to give you a little bit of a nudge and say, let that be a little bit of a, um, a, a I don't know, a, a clue to how awesome all of your strands are going to be in terms of affordability. Hello to you, Margaret. Good morning. I went on a school trip to the Blue John Mine. Loved it 50 years ago now. Oh, it was probably in production. Was it in production then, Margaret, possibly? It's not anymore, is it? Nobody is paying 99.99. Out of the 50 that I had available, 29 have gone and there's so many of you with it in your basket, 61 of you to be exact. Nicolette Penny, uh, Elaine, Patricia, Maurice, Joy, Liz, Isla White's got three, Linda, Ka uh, Carol, Jennifer, Jax, Devonshire, Janice and Fiona, well done to you. Are you ready? Today. Natural, genuine Blue John fluorite from Derbyshire, your rarest gemstone on our own home ground at under £50. I'm super excited. This is a career first for me ever though. Firstly, that I've ever been in the presence of Blue John. I've only ever seen it in a museum. But secondly, that I've been able to bring it to wear. Thirdly, the fact that I can actually physically afford it. This is an expensive gemstone. All around the world are getting involved. There are varieties of fluorite. Blue John is that pinnacle it's the decolorless flawless diamond it's the pinnacle of quality around the globe there are 18 of these remaining um, but be mindful we've got people multi-buying across these so first come first serve we can't see any fairer than that every single one of the strands is different so i'm bringing you faster cubes and i've got briolette drops i've got marquees i've got uh, top jewel drops i've got ovals and rondelles uh, lots of different varieties hello to you sue jay i also went to the mine around 1967 with my school and can still remember it so well such a pretty it is so pretty I agree with you it's a you can see why you know if we were to look at an argyle diamond you know why an argyle diamond is 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 so uh so recognized we know why a Colombian emerald is so it is so expensive we know why um Sleeping Beauty Turquoise commands one of the highest prices because they are exceptional varieties. Blue John, very unique in terms of its actual uh, uh, mineralogy, of course. I've got one left of these, sorry. Here's me waffling on. Um, yeah, Liz, I know. I knew, you'd be, I knew you'd be absolutely amazed by that price point. One of these left. You can shop ahead on all the different... It's gone. It, you can shop ahead on all the different cuts and varieties of your Blue John. Now, oh, like these are briolettes and I, I, so the Romans stumbled across this gemstone in, 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 in what, 2000 years ago. The Romans were not only very keen mineralogists and gemologists, they were also amazing at carving and cutting gemstones. I can't even comprehend how difficult it must be to, to cut what is effectively a briolette into Blue John fluorite. Oh my word, look at this. These are beautiful. You've got every single palette of colour. You know, if you favour the purples, if you favour the blues, if you favour the greens, you've got it all. Look at this. Can I hold you? Look at them individually. Because let's be honest, look at that quality. Yeah, on its own. Because it's Blue John. People know it's Blue John. Oh, Blue John Floor, right? Right. Yeah, thank you. I'll expect a high price tag. They do. Such is the rarity. I love this strand. 
First one sold out. I have 50 of your briolettes. Look at that quality. Remember, remember, it's all about that dense crystallization, that wonderful formation. We're right up close here. We couldn't get any closer to the stones. The graphics will appear. I've got 50. That's it. That is it. Hello, Laura. The first piece of jewellery Dad bought Mum was over 45 years ago was Blue John, uh, a Blue John ring. Such a romantic stone. I love that. Do you know what, Laura? It reminds me of almost like uh, chapters within a poem. It is, I agree, very romantic. We're going to open this auction opportunity in three, two, one. It has beautiful caramels, peachy colours, really dense formation. Remember this beautiful gemstone. It is about those lovely patterns. But at the same time, you don't want it to be um, completely and utterly opaque because then you wouldn't see these wonderful stories within or chapters within a book itself. All red. You saw how quickly the first auction sold out. This is the only briolette drop. I've got flat drops, but this is the only briolette drop strand that we have. It's my personal favourite. Um, I'm imagining this maybe just two. I would choose two and I'd literally be suspending them maybe from some nice drop earrings. And I would absolutely be reading detailing them at uh, probably the price that we're going to take the entire strand for. Can I just for a second count how many you're getting? Because they are individual solitaires. Even if we were to stop here, that's amazing. We've shown one single cabochon encased in sterling silver for what, £150? £129? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-five 10, 11, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25 solitaires. Do you want to know what it is per solitaire? There's 25 on here, yeah. Any of you that's been to the Blue John mine, did you ever see Blue John, a solitaire available at the mine for two pounds? Because that is what you are paying today. 50 available today, all accessible today. And I'm going to say today only probably because they're not going to hang around. Goodness me, literally just do a little briolette wrap. Look at that. Can you imagine an entire necklace with blue John fluorite? Uh, yes, I know it's in entirely decadent. You know, most, many of the gemstones we can replace. Many opportunities we can purchase more of. Blue John fluorite is not one of those. In fact, it must be one of the, um, the, the, the biggest Achilles heels to any of our gemstone buyers. Even though it is only a stone throw away from the studios here, it's what, about an hour and a half drive from the studios? We can't get hold of it because it is no longer in production. You are getting, that's two pound per stone for Blue John fluorite. You've seen our lovely viewers, some of which who've been lucky enough. I haven't, I haven't been lucky enough to go to the Blue John mine. Um, were they able to purchase this for or were they able to purchase directly there at two pounds we should go that would be nice mm. not just any mine a deplete mine 20 out of 50 have gone but we are going to go lower we don't want these to be within our vault one of those, you said it earlier on, Susie, one on a sterling silver chain. Absolutely, £60. Just and it would sell it would. on the name. But beautiful as a pendant. That's yeah, I agree. Don't need anything fussy with these. No, it's beautiful. all about the blue jar. Yeah. We are already at two pounds per stone, but we will take this lower. Um, only be if we, oh my goodness, if we can, we will. How have we managed to negotiate such an opportunity? It's, yeah, look at those. Almost, they're almost perfect. They're perfect pair, aren't they? Yeah. Look how perfectly matched yeah. those two are, crying out to be maybe the most beautiful pair of Blue John uh, earrings. Janice, Kevin, Carol, Jenny, Janet, Lynn, Gabrielle, Lancashire, Mary, Laura, uh, Berkshire, Isle of Wight, new customer, new customer, new customer, Cardiff, Amory, another new customer on the website. Nobody is paying two pounds. That's ridiculous per stone, isn't it? Actually ridiculous. At £39.99 pence only, you can get an enormous parcel of this beautiful, look at that, 
I, I'd, I'd separate it with some of your fine. Imagine these with your lavender lilac pearls. Oh my oh. God, beautiful. And again, just that would be the centerpiece, wouldn't it? Yeah, Absolutely it would. It would, it's, it would overtake okay. them. In fact, yeah. they'd be rarer. Yeah. They would be rarer. Such a lovely history with this stone. It is. Should we, should we recap that whilst you're all uh, uh, making your confirmations? So, uh, Blue John is the rarest mineral first discovered, uh, discovered in Castleton, Derbyshire by the Romans almost 2,000 years ago. The Romans settled just three miles from the area, um, and it's likely that they were uh, prospecting for deposits of lead, uh, lead ore when they struck upon Blue John for, uh, Fleur Spa purely by chance. Being keen mineralogists, they would instantly have recognised the outstanding beauty of their find. And during this period, Romans developed skills along with machinery to enable them to turn and polish the stone to transform the raw material. Um, during the excavation of Pompeii, two vases of Blue John stone were supposedly unearthed. Um, so this, we know that this is a gemstone that was absolutely hailed by the Romans 2,000 years ago. However, sadly today, it is no longer in production. So to get hold of an opportunity, uh, as some of you actually are managing today, is really, really quite exciting. Well done. On the verge of selling out as well. We've only got a handful of those, literally a couple. Ah, oh, this strand. I think this strand's going to be one of the fastest sellers. We describe them as rice, and I think that's quite in, un, unjust. Can I call them a three-dimensional marquise? Rondells are coming up next, and lots of you are shopping ahead on the Rondells. Look at this strand. Oh, yeah. Oh, they start from the end. Should we work our way down? Because look at each of these. Sorry, look at, look at the body language here, but the, qual the quality of these. Each and every single one. I'm trying to show you the entire, look at that. The entire, oh, look at this one. And they look even more amazing in person. The clarity of these, which is so, oh, so rare to get in Blue John Fluorite. Look at that. See the dark bottle greens? Just amazing, aren't they? Do I have 50 of these as well? 50 of every single strand. That is literally all we could get. I love this cut. Yeah, I would use those separately. Just you make it like a bracelet, just have another gemstone oh. and just that as a centerpiece. So, yeah, it's a big carrot weight. So Beautiful. they could be standalone solitaires. I believe this is going to be the fastest selling. This, uh, and, well, and the Rondells, you're right, because they're already been uh, purchased on pre-order. Nobody is paying $149.99. I don't know a single other supplier that can offer you the quality that I'm seeing right now at the prices, even if we were to stop just here. We're not stopping here, though. Um, there's 50. It, it might sound like loads. It really isn't um, a, a big quantity. I'm just going to borrow my... Um, pieces of paper just because then I don't think the table is doing it any favors in terms of actually showing you the clarity of the stones there we go there you go look at that look how it pops immediately against a white background we had 50 and half the stock is gone over half the stock is gone today Frida Janice new customer Dorothy well done you're now the custodians of certified Blue John. Very few people on this planet will actually own this gemstone. Furthermore, you have one of the most complex gemstones to, uh, to actually uh, uh, articulate and cut and facet in what I'm describing as like a three-dimensional uh, marquise, tapering down, showcasing the elegance and the sophistication of this stone. Look at the quantity, though. You need to have your wits about you in this opportunity. It won't happen every single day. Never say never in the world of gemstones because Mother Nature 
likes to throw curveballs at us when we start being quite, uh, so certain. However, it is unlikely that we're going to be able to repeat a, a parcel just like this, even, even though it is only an hour and a half up the road. Um, in terms of commercial mining, that is all but gone. Nine of these left, Penny, Nicolette, Pat, Jenny, Vivian, Irene, Carol, Lorraine, Dorothy, Frida, Denise, Janice, new customer, another Dorothy, Georgina, you've got yours as well. Um, think about the collection of stones that you have. I bet there's some pretty amazing gemstones. How many people do you know own Blue John? I don't know anybody that owns Blue John. Unless, of course, no. uh, excluding jewellery maker, possibly. Yeah. I don't know anybody no. that owns Blue, Blue John. Is this rarer than um, the many gemstones that you see on our screens? Yes. In fact, it's deplete. And you can get it for £50 today. Elaine, good luck. Lynn, good luck. Lancashire, good luck. Anne, good luck. Oxfordshire, good luck. Wisconsin, good luck. Katie, good luck. Janice, good luck. Uh, West Midlands, good luck. London. I know that I have got fully fledged jewellers getting involved right now. Why do you think that is? Why do you think jewellery establishments are sourcing from us right now? That's beyond wholesale, and they know immediately it'll sell. The gemstone will sell at a profit very quickly, purely on the fact that it is Blue John. Well done. Okay. Almost half the stock of the rondelles has already gone. It's the only rondelles that we have. We had 50, that's it. I'd use this sparingly. So would I. I'd use them all sparingly, one off. So you saw the jewellery they make, they just have one piece. One stone. And that's all you need. Yeah, one single stone. stone. So you've got a business here if you get these. Yes. This is, I mean, that, yeah, you're right. This is a whole website yeah. of, uh, of Blue John. Look at this colour, though. I want to hold it out so you can really see the quality of the colour. Look at that. It's the only Ron. Do you want to see it under magnification? Oh, that's unbelievable. The only rondelles that we actually have. 2,000 years we have been celebrating the beauty of Blue John. Sadly, it is no more. If you've just tuned in, Blue John is like. A D flawless diamond to fluorite. It is the best in the world. It is the, the rarest of all minerals that are, that are on our home turf. And it is unobtainable ordinarily at affordable prices. We have the entire parcel that we were able to secure available to you today and today only. And I th I, I'm amazed, not just by the fact that we're bringing you this gemstone, but by the fact we're bringing it to you affordably. Yeah. It's incredibly inexpensive. But as you say, get your authenticity. Definitely. Card. Certify it. Photocopy it if, yeah. you, if you sell your jewellery. Yeah. Um, because if I was purchasing this stone, I absolutely would want to have the documentation to go alongside it. Already half the stock on the rondelles is gone. Already. Now imagine being really indulgent and using it alongside Blue John fluorite irregular cuts like this. Or maybe wow. being really indulgent and using it alongside oh, wow. these beautiful... These are big oh, stones. Mm. all coming up as part of this amazing showcase. The reason why I drape these over the back of my hand is because you're going to need your rondelles, aren't you, really, to sort of tessellate the other strands that you might have, sort of position, if you like, where they might be. I've got, these are just a couple um, of the cuts that we actually come in, uh, have on your screens. There are literally just nine, nine different opportunities of your Blue John fluorite. Already half the stock has gone. Jenny, Vivian, Devon snapped up three, Nottinghamshire, Linda, Frida, Hilary, Anne-Marie, Phil, Kim, Janice, the only rondelles we have. Wow. And we're still not at your price point. We are going lower. We may well sell out before we drop that price, but we will still honour that price point, I, I assure you of that. Don't leave it in your baskets. No. Uh, baskets. Because if you know what, you know, I've done this before. You go to bed and you go, oh, no, I didn't check out my basket. No. Do you think it's still going to be there come the end of the day? No, because 
I, I, I might not get thanked. I might not get... I, I'll say it as it is, though. Once the show is done and dusted, there's a lot of collectors here mm. in the Gemporia partnership that will make the most of this opportunity. I'm saying it as it is. The staff can get hold of it then. That's fair. Mm. That's completely fair. Does our sister channel have Blue John currently? I don't think so. 49.99. Oh my word, it's on the verge of selling out. Well done, Janice, Teresa, Carol, Elaine, and Irene. Uh, I've got Pat, Mary, Fiona, Lynn, Diane, and Tim, Cheryl, uh, Yi May, Andrea, Helen, and Penny. The final two opportunities of Blue John in your ron uh, in your rondelles. It's the only rondelle strand that we have. Final one. Who's going to grab it? Who's going to grab it? Literally, so it's about an hour and a half away from the studio, around about the middle of the country. This beautiful gemstone um, is born. One for the collectors and the connoisseurs. Okay, so I am about halfway through the showcase. We're about to bring you, let me just, the only ovals. I've got ovals, I've got those waves, I've got the irregular cuts, we've got um, the marquise, and then we've got a drop. These are... We're going through a di completely different um, barrier, milestone here, in terms of carrot weight. Before, before I show this to you, can we just reference, there's a, there's, on one of the slides, Ross, it talks about how it's almost mined out completely. Um, is it that one? No. One previously? Here we go. Is that it? Blue John, which is also known as Derbyshire Floor Spars, it's not semi-precious, is a precious gemstone. Um, a unique form of fluorite with distinctive bands of purple, blue and yellowish colouring. Found only in the Blue John and Treak Cliff Caverns in Castleton, Derbyshire. Blue John is a heavily crystallised formation and occasionally surface marks can be seen. This is not detrimental to the stone and in fact enhances its individuality. It has been seen that certain specimens of Blue John show signs of fluorescence on exposure. I think we know that about your fluorite. Let's see. Now let's read forward. Um, the gemstone is the most highly prized for ornamental varieties of fluor spar, uh, differing from any other variation of fluor spar due to its unique crystal structure and banded veins of colour which run through the stone. During the 18th and 19th century, Blue John was mined for its ornamental value, producing exquisite bowls, eggs, and goblets. Splendid, unique specimens of Blue John stones can be found in collections throughout the world. The mines are sadly now largely extinct. Small veins and nodules of fine quality Blue John stones of uh, sufficient size uh, for jewelry can still be found. So we are talking about minuscule amounts that come from that mine now. To get a parcel is quite something, right? I've got no hesitation in saying that if you've purchased over a hundred carats, which is what this strand is, you have a parcel of Blue John. These are huge individual stones. You could absolutely treat these as individual solitaires. Literally, just take it off the strand, maybe use things like your, uh, your bezel strip or your gallery wire, frame it um, with some of your lovely sterling silver, showcase all of those beautiful layers, those chapters within that poem or storybook, totally and utterly natural. You're getting 12 enormous solitaires. So wait a second, what's the average carat weight per blue? John then on this strand eight carats in each zone I don't know if it said it I don't know if it said the carrot weights on any of the other blue John pieces that I showed you it did no it didn't so that might cut, turn up on your doorstep and be tiny you don't know that's a, yeah the char that's odd isn't it why didn't they show car charm uh, carrot weights the quality of the oh, quality of that is amazing. It's so much nicer. Yeah, it is. Let's do it. Get your certificate. Mm. It's so important. Like I said earlier on, you wouldn't buy a decolourless diamond mm. without the certificate of authenticity. 
with it, it's the first strand that has gone over a hundred carats. Even if we were stopping here, that would be amazing, but we're not. And we're not even stopping at 99.99. 79 pounds and 99 pence. These are big carat weights. Remember, the reason why I wanted to read that last article to you was because basically it talks about small amounts being available for jewellery, small pieces. Well, these go up to 16 by 12 millimetres in their size. There's nothing small about these, and you're not just getting the one. Chantal, Janice, Alice, Maker, Kerry, Annette, Joan, Michelle, Carola, another Janice, Penny, Wisconsin, Lancashire. Even though this is the biggest carrot weight that we have brought you thus far, I knew it. I knew it, Ross. He tries to trick us, doesn't he? But I think most of us... He says, he's a, you're not a rotter. Definitely not a rotter. Not when you're bringing deals like this. Mm. The biggest carrot weight that we have brought you so far. And yeah, I think we know what he's going to do. Judith, Kerry, Joan, they're happy. They are happy. Don't worry, everybody pays that final low price tag. Let's revisit it. Talk about gemstone mines that are gone. So, Pareba Tourmaline. Mm. Sleeping Beauty. Mahenge Spinel, Argyle Diamonds, mm. Blue John. Because this beautiful, quaint mine location nestled within the Derbyshire Hills, snow-capped, absolutely. That's not, a, that's not, you know, those cars that you see outside, they're not the miners. That's probably visitors, mm. tourists, who are visiting that mine. This is not in production anymore. Even though that we have brought you, we're bringing you a higher carat weight, we're still matching that price point. The quality of your Blue John fluorite really is remarkable. The fact that you are getting, uh, 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 sadly, they said, sadly, the deposits are all but gone. Sometimes they can actually unearth small quantities for individual jewelry pieces. Um, you're getting an entire parcel. These are massive, massive sizes on average. We worked out the average carat weight across each of these ovals. Um, over eight carats on each of those solitaires. Remember, this is a heavily crystallized stone, um, so you want it to have, you, that's the thing, you want it to have those beautiful patterns and formations. Um, you want it to have those wonderful color zones. That's really what we embrace about it. Even though this is the biggest carat weight, 20 have gone. You're not, are you, Ross? Oh. I thought I knew it. I kind of knew for the opera, for, for the scale and the exclusivity of this opportunity. I knew I'd have company in the gallery. This is exciting. I mean, half the stock has gone, but we are, in some strange reason, we are reactive. We don't need to be reactive. Blue John is impossible to get hold of. Even though these are bigger, even though they are bigger solitaires, you've been a bit slower on the uptake with this one, so I tell you what, we can be reactive, and this is how we do it. Everybody will pay that final low price tag if you are hesitating. Don't hesitate any longer. There are literally 50 opportunities on each of these different cuts. 39 pounds wow. and 99 pence. Yeah, they're not hanging around now. Janice, Chris and Jean, Nicolette, Wiltshire, John, Kathleen, Essex, Anne, Isle of Wight, Carola, Alice, Judith, Kerry, Joan, Chantal, Lancashire, Janice, you're there. The phone lines have absolutely lit oh, up. Man. There's about 45 seconds wait on the phone line. If you have been told that you've been unsuccessful, there is always an opportunity, a second chance saloon, if you like. Um, add it to your wish list. Our call centre will give you a call if so, if any should happen to... Uh, fall back into stock. We've only got eight remaining. My goodness me. We've broken a milestone that I never imagined we would be able to break when it comes to uh, Blue John Fluoride. Would you purchase, would you purchase Nargal Diamond now, knowing that it's closed, at under 50 pounds? No. 
And you can get diamonds elsewhere as well, same as you can flora. You can get flora elsewhere, but it's argyle that you want because that's the best. Same as Blue John. There are four of those left. Well done. Well done. 51 of you with it still in your basket for the final four. Now, oh, these are going to, how quick? I think we could time this one. I think this could sell out in. Hmm. I'm going to say probably less than two minutes. These are the biggest individual stones. These are stunners. They are, aren't they? they? Absolutely stunning. Oh my, look at this. I'm going to show you one at a time because look how beautiful that is. Look at that. Look at how beautiful each and every single one. You've got that really beautiful wave. They're the larger size um, of individual sites. Let me turn it around as well because the... Do you know, it, it, it is, you're, it's really hard in the studio to actually show you, um, the, the, you know, the clarity, the formation, the colours as well. Um, because uh, it, it, they almost become dark, maybe because there's too many, uh, it sounds weird, but slight, uh, too many uh, um, floodlights. I've got five on here. These are the bigger stones. On average, we are looking at 23 carats. Remember, heavily crystallised stone. Remember what Jake said as well, uh, how over millions upon millions of years, water that has literally filtered through the rocks into the Blue John uh, cavern created those stalactites. That's the exact same process that would have created this beautiful rare gemstone. Then you start appreciating how exciting each and every single one of these formations, you know, those, the, you know, the, I don't know, the area of colour extinction, the areas of complete ultraviolets, the beautiful spearmint greens, the larger size that we have. I mean, very, I, I, I've never seen a piece of Blue John fluorite of this scale. I'm talking individually. Beautiful. It's like holding a piece of history of Britain, isn't art. it, in your hand? Yeah, beautiful. It is. It's British art. It is, isn't it? You know, Mother Nature in Great Britain. We're going to do this in one price crash. I think this is going to sell out super, super, super fast. They are enormous. Look at the sizes, 30 millimetres. Remember that tiny charm that we showed you a few moments yeah. ago? It doesn't mention the carrot weight, does it? I don't know why. That's really confused me, and I've only just clocked it. But, um, what, £99? It's a little bit, I mean, I like the caramel colours, don't get me wrong, but it was a little bit too mm. brown. What about this, a single solitaire? It's not going to be anywhere near the size of each yeah. of these that you're getting. £129. This is not an inexpensive stone. And it's not a gemstone that you get of enormous sizes. Five huge, natural, certified blue johns for four, t goodness me, that's £10 each. Can't believe it. Ten pounds <coughs> for twenty carats. Excuse me. Twenty carats of natural certified blue John fluorite. The mine is closed. Again, I've got to say it. Uh, um, like Columbia is to an emerald, blue John is to fluorite. Like uh, argyle is to a diamond, blue John is to fluorite. Like uh, uh, Burma is to ruby, blue John is to fluorite. You are getting the best in the world. Loads of multi buyers want to get hold of oh, the biggest right. stones they possibly can. This is the largest carat weight that we have in solitaires. Out of the 50 that we once had, that's how many remain. Laura's got two. Janet, Judith, Mary, well done to you, Bristol, Carol, Janice. There is a bit of a queue on the phone lines. Um, if you have and you, or you can shop with us via the web or the app, there are never any queues there. Um, you can check out straight away and you're guaranteeing your success. If you haven't got access to the internet or the web, don't worry, our call centre are pretty amazing. Stay where you are and they will get you as soon as they possibly can. If you're told that you're unsuccessful, you can always wish list it but another thing you're in the right place for the next auction yeah win-win scenario isn't it yeah just one of those should not be at the price that's on your screen not one of them but you are getting all five over 20 carats on each of those beautiful solitaires 
Look, look at the, it, it always reminds me, you know, I love a good book. I, you don't get the chance very often, you know, in the busy world that we live in. But when I look at gemstones like Blue John, I almost see the chapters, the pages. Um, it is, it is poetry, isn't it? Um, in Mother Nature, in its natural form. I know I keep saying it, but please do get your certificate of authenticity. You can download it for free off the website or it's at 25 pence if you speak to our call center. That is worthwhile. You know, if you were to buy... If you were to buy, uh, if you buy gemstones from, uh, you know, the finest examples of maybe your emeralds, your rubies, your diamonds, you'll want the certificate, wouldn't you? The same should apply when it comes to your blue John fluorite. Um, have it in black and white, especially if you sell it, especially if you are thinking about legacy jewellery. Um, do you know, I've just, uh, it, I'm a bit late to the party on this one, but I don't own blue John. I And I purchase it not just for my own collection, but I purchase it for my girls because... They're not going to be able to get hold of this gemstone, unlikely anyway, on a first-hand basis. It's probably going to be as uh, on the secondary market, and heaven knows what price it will command then. Three of these are left. I'll leave it with you. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Now, um, three strands left. Three strands. Top drill drops that make the most fabulous earrings. You know, can I just slightly sidetrack for a second? One of the huge perks of being a jewellery maker is that, I mean, £129 for a single cabochon, which is basically like all of these strands cut in half, effectively. And then, you know, they're not selling it. It's, it's not necessarily, they don't even mention the carrot weight. They just talk about the fact that it's Blue John. But one of the benefits of being a jewellery maker is that you can be all together indulgent can't you you can really really go ultra decadent there is no cut more decadent than a marquise cut oh it's going up to the neckline this imagine these with your natural lavender pearls just literally dotted in between Beautiful. we've got a natural lavender pearl coming up look at those and then when people ask you, oh, I love your necklace, which they do, don't they? You're the best advertisement to your designs. I love your necklace. Where did you get it? What are the gemstones? You can say, well, this is Blue John, the rarest form of fluorite known and celebrated all around the world. The Romans themselves discovered this gemstone some 2,000 years ago, fell in love with it, and the world still loves it. The most decadent of all your cuts is the Marquise. Would we all agree? Even though, even though this is a gemstone which is all but mined out, pretty much anyway. Very, very, very small amounts. It's largely open to uh, tourism now. Even though this gemstone is as rare as it is, we still, still will facet it into the most wasteful cut. I don't know whether any other establishment that can bring you uh, Marquis cut floor. I'm not saying none, but it's got to be quite a challenging a challenge. We had 50, incredibly. How many's on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen solitaires. So what's that? Eight. Eight carrots each? Eight and a half carrots each, approximately. It's the biggest carrot weight, though, overall, in one of the most expensive cuts. And we've gone under £50. We have matched the price of the previous opportunities. Again, I'll say it, this is one of the most decadent cuts in any gemstone in Blue John, absolutely. 49.99. Carol, you've done it. Cardiff, Kim, Martin, Emma, Laura, Oxfordshire, Janice. Uh, West Yorkshire, congratulations to you as well. I never in my wildest dreams imagined that I would be able to get hold of a carrot weight um, that this strand actually holds. I bought Blue John when JM launched it. I got it because my mum uh, had seen a piece on her honeymoon, uh, but they couldn't afford it. 
She now has a necklace. Oh, Davinia, isn't that amazing? I love that story. And again, it's, it's just the joy. These are gemstones. Uh, we become so complacent here, and I always remind it, you know, never be complacent of the opportunities, the stashes, the collections that we actually have, the prices that we actually offer them for. Um, I'm guilty of it as well, by the way. I'm not sort of throwing stones. I'm 100% guilty of doing that. Blue John is astonishingly expensive. It's the best in the world, and the mine is closed. So we should expect those prices. You can make jewellery for your nearest and dearest. Whilst I've been talking to you this past, what, hour, how many of you messaged in saying, I've been to the mine? Mm -hmm. I saw the jewellery. I couldn't afford it. We can bring you the gemstone from that exact mine that you visited, what was it, 67 years ago? And you can make your own jewelry, <clears throat> possibly with even better quality. Even though we have <clears throat> one of the most expensive cuts, certainly the most expensive variety of fluorite, from a, a location that is all but gone, there is still a clock ticking away on our screens. There were 50. Half the stock has gone. The final remaining quantity, the only marquees. <clears throat> I've only got two auction, uh, two opportunities, two more cuts to bring you out of this amazing showcase. Remember, once to, you know the live show is over. Remember, that's when collectors here at Jewelry Maker themselves can get involved on this opportunity. Susie, do you own flute, a blue jar? I don't. Nor me. Just. Absolutely wonderful stone. I love the history of it. That it's you know part of British. British. Culture. British. It, yeah. it, it, it's our. It, it's one of our stones. Thirty nine pounds and ninety nine pence only. The finest example of your blue John fluorite. Are you going to go all out and put it in one amazing uh, expanse across the decolletage, or are you going to keep it limited and exclusive? Mm -hmm. Certainly, if you're a business, I think uh, that would be the way forward. I'd do it singly. If you wanted to make a really beautiful piece, you could. Th these lend themselves to flowers. Ah. Oh which are very sort of uh, Chopard and very Van Cleef at the moment. Oh, hugely. I mean, I don't think either of those designers work with Blue John, though. No, but it would be That's the roof, thing. wouldn't it? They couldn't work with Blue no. John. Because when, when Van Cleef and Arpels do the uh, Alhambra, for example, yeah. the Alhambra necklace, they need they have they use gemstones like uh, agate. Egg, uh, exactly. They use agate and onyxes because they are more accessible. They are exactly. you know they're not. This is they're too not, rare. This is too rare. Yeah. How amazing is that? You're getting a gemstone that is too rare for Van Cleef and Arpels. Thirty nine ninety nine. Davinia, I love that story. I bought Blue John when JM launched it. Um, I got it because my mum had seen a piece on her honeymoon and they couldn't afford it. She now has a necklace. That's absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm. Make sure you stay out. I've only got two more auctions um in terms of quantity how many do we have left of this one most of you have chosen to check out about 12 john i can see you there on the phone lines please do stay where you are merseyside isle of white janice fiona janet take a little look on the website as well um because there may well one or two might be dropping in and out of stock good luck good luck good luck now there are two i'm about to bring you the penultimate of your blue john Here they are. These are the final two auction opportunities. I've got your top drilled faceted drops, and then we have that irregular strand, which we're going to save till last. Love it. Mm. But if you want to make the most amazingly elaborate, decadent earrings, can you imagine? Can you imagine? I don't know, a couple of inches of sterling silver chain, and then suspended from the bottom, literally, in the ear with blue john fluorite, right, it's going to have, it's going to achieve lots of light, especially with the movement, natural movement. Mm. Can you imagine just one single drop of these sizes basking in the sunlight? Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Look how gorgeous these are. Mm. Look at the quality of these stones. Look at those amazing stones. Look at those incredible journeys. Look at those incredible patterns and natural color, all completely unique. 
No two Blue John fluorites will look the same. One massive price crash. What a deal of the day hour. This is the penultimate of your Blue John. You're getting a big parcel across here. Again, imagine these as the most beautiful earrings or maybe one single one suspended from a sterling silver chain, 125 carats. I can never lose sight. And if you want to take these, the words that I showed you earlier on, the PowerPoint that I showed you earlier on, those aren't my words. These are taken off various different web websites, um, show, talking about the rarity of this gemstone. That's why when I read it, sometimes it's, it's actually repeated. Where is Blue John found? Well, it's on your home turf, discovered over 2,000 years ago the only known deposit of this rare and beautiful natural gemstone occurs in the hillside to the west of Castleton Hope Valley Derbyshire England opposite the mountain known as Mam Tor um, or described as the shivering mountain Blue John has only ever been found uh, with the Blue John Cavern and uh, Treak Cliff Cavern in Castleton in Derbyshire it is rare 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 um, in terms of its actual formation um, sorry, I'll move forward again. Uh, here we go. Uh, history. Uh, this is good. Blue John is, is Britain's rarest mineral, uh, first discovered in Castleton, as I've just said, by the Romans almost 2,000 years ago. Um, nestled, Romans nestled just three miles from the area in the village of, I think that's, uh, is that Bra? Bro? Bro, um, and it is likely um, that they were prospecti prospecting for deposits um, of lead and ore when they struck upon this beautiful rare gemstone. Now, I haven't got time to read everything. We're going to run out of time, and I've only got two more strands of Blue John. But what I will tell you is there's a 60 second clock. Um, we're going to take this to the lowest price tag of the entire showcase, even though it's a very versatile and very uh, workable cut for us as jewelry makers. I've loved the interaction throughout the course of this showcase, probably because as collectors, as connoisseurs of gemstones, you've probably looked at Blue John in the past and thought, yeah, I'd love to own it, but maybe couldn't afford it, myself absolutely included. Never had the opportunity to purchase it, myself absolutely included. Well, the moment is now. There we go, it's going to the lowest, well, we've, I know what we've taken the, the these two. Mm. We've done 39, mm. we've done 39.99, we've done 49.99, and you're going to go lower than those. Mm. The only drop strand that we have. Are you going to mix it with the rondelles? Are you going to mix it with our finale, Blue John? The lowest price of Blue John that you may well have ever seen on your screens right now. 125 carats, certified natural, genuine blue John fluorite with the quality that we aspire to. Again, I, I was looking at Blue John's, not many places that will actually offer you this beautiful gemstone. It's quite difficult to get hold of, certainly at, at, at inexpensive prices. Um, and you want the quality that really I've seen on each and every single one of those strands. You want those progressions. You want those areas of color zoning. You want that intensity of saturation. You want the certificate. Um, and you've got all that information right now for a staggering $34.99. Most of us would be absolutely flabbergasted to be, get the opportunity to buy one of those stones at $34.99. Yeah. Not how many is there? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen solitaires. I mean... That's two pounds, just what, two pounds something each? Is that right? Two pounds 33 each per Blue John fluorite. Leave it with you, the finale. I love this strand. You're the, you're all, each and every single one of your amazing jewelry makers and you've got the most incredible inspiration and creativity. I look at this strand and I think, okay, pearls, maybe two strands of pearls, knotted, and then occasionally you put your blue John fluorite irregular cuts in mm. because it's going to reflect across the surface of that pearl. Colour is the most important factor when it comes to all of your colour gemstones, be that ruby, emerald, sapphire, whichever. Colour is, color is king. It's easy to remember. When you look at this strand, it's very easy to tell why Blue John is regarded as the best 
in the world. This is the biggest carrot weight that we have. The biggest. And yet, we're still going to bring it to you. Uh, 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 the savings that we have done throughout this, uh, throughout the, uh, this is heavy. Uh, you can feel the carrot weight in this one. The formations, the areas of beautiful spearmint blues, beautiful ultraviolets. This should be the most considered. It absolutely should be. Look at the carrot weight, 170. It's the biggest carrot weight by a country mile. Ah, country mile, you know, Derbyshire, <laughs> Rolling Hill. Um, imagine those individually spaced between natural, beautiful, fine quality pearls. You've got some of the colours... It's not, it's not included, it's not opaque. You can appreciate that colour. Hello, Heather. I have a Blue John rose gold ring that was more than £200 several years ago. Uh, it's the tiniest silver, of, uh, sorry, sliver of Blue John, two millimetres wide and about one centimetre wow. long. Need. Thank you for that, Heather. Mm. Thank you for that. Not for, so far away from you either, is it, the Blue John mine? So what was that? Two millimetres by one centimetre. Mm. And I bet it was thin as well. Yeah, so a slice. Mm. 179.99, but you know we are not stopping there. It's the final auction, but I want to see you on the phone lines. This is, personally, we've all got favourites, haven't we? This is my favourite. I absolutely love that. I love the fact that each of your Blue Johns have been uh, faceted for their own individual beauty. You know, it's not about retaining carrot weight. You know, we haven't got to conform to your calibrations and your carts to fit particular mounts or bezels. This is all about showcasing the quality of your Blue John. Um, you are getting the biggest carrot weight of the entire showcase, but we need to see you on the web and on the phone lines. Let me just double check. Roscoe, have I still only got 50? Uh, should we do it? It makes no sense. Biggest carrot weight, lowest, one of the lowest prices. Goodness me. Darlene and Paul, Chris and Jean, Penny and Janice, Fiona, Hertfordshire, Heather, Margaret, Janet, new customer, Lynn, Heather, Elaine. Well done. You're in exactly the right place to make this your own, but make sure you do check them out because 50 is not a massive quantity, especially when you're bringing you the rarity of this, uh, this incredible treasure. Um, from the rolling hills of the Derbyshire countryside, one of Mother Nature's most beautiful coloured gemstone um, was for formed um, from just outside Castleton in Derbyshire, you will find, literally nestled in, almost looking like a little hobbit home, um, you will find the Blue John deposit. It is all but mined out. You can visit as a tourist, you can go and see the mines, um, but commercially, commercially, um, it's completely, completely uh, uh, run out. The biggest carrot weight. The last auction is this, okay, that's your justification. Okay, no sense. Biggest carrot weight, last auction, we're gonna go lower. I don't know why. I, I generally don't know why. Minuscule amounts are still coming from the mine. Tiny, tiny amounts. It's not completely extinct. They might stumble across a, a little seam. Nothing that would ever quantify ornaments or, or bowls that, they, that the Romans once upon a time used to carve and create with. Slithers, as we just said, Heather, slithers that can be maybe included into individual solitaires. Would you class these as slithers? I don't think so. They're huge, aren't they? Absolutely huge. And in 12 seconds, we're taking it even lower, even though it's the biggest carrot weight. Get this home. I have to say that here in the studio as well, it does not do. The recording is exact, exactly the same strand again. You can see that really, really, really beautiful quality. That's just one single light source. Um, whereas, it, I don't know if it's my skin that's sheltering this or maybe the fact that I'm, sat, I'm stood in the wrong area, but you get those wonderful, wonderful intensities of colours. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Patricia, Janice, well done to you, Janet, Pat, Dorothy, Barbara, Wiltshire, Margaret, Fiona, Hertfordshire, Heather, uh, hello to you, Darlene, Chris and Jean, Lynn, uh, Essex, you've got yours, Penny, Andrea, you're very close, Isle of Wight, you're very close, Elizabeth, I can't keep up with you all. There was 50 of these available. Make sure you check out, certainly one of the most contemporary of cards. Absolutely, I think either on a leather Ooh, cord, just nice. a single one, 
or as cufflinks. Nice. Men or women. Blue John cufflinks, great yeah, idea. Yeah, you imagine the price That's of those. That's a lovely idea, like that. Um, make sure you stay where you are. Have a look back at the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Um, I know they are very, very limited, if even still available, so good luck. The reality is, when, Congratulations, firstly, for being able to purchase Blue John Fluorite. I can't say that. I don't own this gemstone as of yet. Hopefully, in a couple of hours' time, there's going to be a few of these remaining. Um, if not, I'll certainly be wishlisting it. Now, as if that wasn't special enough, your next auction is going to be a huge, well, what we call a mega auction. Now, yes, that is the quantity. We've got 300 of these available, and it's one of the most perfect individual pearl solitaires that we can possibly, uh, possibly offer. It's all your virtues. You've got the five virtues, perfectly spherical, completely natural in color. We'll delve some more um, into that um, during the opportunity. But what's really important is that I tell you, this is one of the biggest close out deals on a genuine natural purple pearl premiere, never been on our screens, on the back of your Blue John uh, showcase. And it's coming up after this. Be ready, think ahead, birthdays, gifts, anniversaries your own personal collection because you're not you're not going to want to miss out on this next opportunity <laughs>Hi guys, I'm sending out this invitation to all of our collectors across all of our platforms. We are promoting this extremely heavily because this is a one-time event. The opportunity that we have, which I'm calling the window of opportunity for Jadeite, is unprecedented. Never before has a generation existed in the West that has had unfettered access to Type A Jadeite the way we have. Unfortunately, after speaking to the five vendors, the five Jadeite houses that we deal with exclusively with our Jadeite, we are told that with the reopening, the, 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 the resuming of the markets in China, we are quite simply priced out, which is something that we are used to. I know you guys will be used to. We haven't been able to bring you Jadeite like this before 2020. So knowing that this window of opportunity is closing, knowing that it's about to slam shut, we reached out to these vendors and we said, let's do one incredible final offering. But this time, let's do something different. Let's do master 
carvings. Some of these pieces that you will see across this week-long event have taken days to produce, each one. It is the highest uh, um, kind of creation of art in the Far East. We are talking about true masterpieces. There are one of a kinds this week. Some of them have just 10, some of them have 20, and then we have some bigger um, incredible offerings as well. I'll be joining you almost daily for the duration of this week. And while that might seem saturated, while that might seem like overkill, there's going to be a complete lull after this event where we're not going to be able to get our hands on pieces like this. You might own strands, you might own cabochons, you might have created wonderful jewelry with a jade that I've bought you before. This week is about one thing and one thing only, masterpieces. Join us for this Jadeite Window of Opportunity event. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. Nice to be with you. My name is Eleanor. If we're meeting for the very first time. Um, ooh. Uh, now, <laughs> I have, we have, very special permission from our head buyer and pearl expert, Caroline, to do something quite monumental today. We've got 300 opportunities of as, as perfect a pearl as I can, I can really offer, offer to you. Because you know, the one, you know the pearl strand that myself and Susie mm. bought, literally, and they were, I'll, t I'll say it, they were expensive. They yeah. were expensive. They're very considered purchase. I definitely had to, uh, oh, I had to tell my husband. I was like, Is there? but they are amazing, and I can't mm. stop thinking about these pearls. And I know they're a lot of money, but they're, they're incredible, and they're an heirloom, and they're a legacy, and all of that. And he was like, just get the pearls, for goodness sake. How about, and, and I know that was a strand, how about an individual perfect pearl? And I was thinking for a second, I was like, okay, well, I've spoken to our lovely viewers about, about you know, the GIA, the Tucson, I've, you know, Tucson, how they're really showcasing and, uh, and the impossible pearl. I've spoken about that at length, I think. And I've spoken about um, the fact that our supplier can't actually replace opportunities like this, can't sustain. Well, they can, but they're calling it very expensive now. Um, especially strands and things like that. So I was like, oh, well, let's talk about something completely different. And I always make the assumption that everybody, I shouldn't, but let's, let's, let's delve into what the five virtues are. Because I mention it, but I don't always get the chance to actually talk about them at length. So no better website, this is where I did my qualifications, than the GIA. The GIA is the Gemological Institute in, uh, of America. It is the largest institution in, uh, in gemstones. Um, and it's a, it's a wonderful informative read if ever you want to uh, sort of brush up on your mm. gem knowledge. I like the fact that also it's not hugely gemmy, so um, it, there's no sort of confusing words and uh, it's quite easy to read. Anyway, so let's talk about the fundamentals here, the pearl quality factors, because this is an organic gemstone, and just to throw a spanner in the works, there's lots of different variations of it. So, um, again, let's not underestimate um, the rarity. Uh, sorry, the, you know, the complexity, rather. The quality that determined the overall value of a, a natural or cultured pearl or a piece of pearl jewellery are size, shape, colour, luster, surface quality, which is basically your nacre quality, and for jewellery with two or more, more pearls, matching or uniformity, you might have heard of it as. So you've got more than the four Cs, I get it, so there's more to consider. But let's dive into that. Can I just skip back as well, sorry, uh, um, for a second, because I, I didn't register this earlier on. Look at 
the types of pearls that the GIA have photographed, you've got your perfect spherical pearls, you've got your uh, more oval pearls, you've got naturally coloured pearls, you've got your baroques, you've got your South Seas, you've got your Akoyas. But they're bringing you, they're showcasing the different shapes and colours of pearls. It's not just about your plain rounds um, and your ivory whites. It is very much embracing the golds, the pinks, the baroques, etc. So, sorry, moving forward. Shape. Round is the most difficult shape to culture, making it the rarest cultured pearl shape and, if all other factors are equal, also generally the most valuable. There are exceptions, though. Well-formed pears, ovals or baroques, which are the irregular shapes, you know this. Cultured pearls are also prized by pearl lovers. But the reason why the round is still the most expensive is you've got to remember when you're culturing a pearl, it's within the sea. The sea has a natural tide, it has a natural current, so that pearl doesn't necessarily stay in the same place. It might move ever so slightly around, and that's where you get sort of the anomalies um, of the nacre. And you're seeing on that strand different types of pearls. Um, uh, they, uh, they're Japanese saltwater pearls. You've got rounds, near round, semi brock and also brock in that photograph. Moving on from shape, the colour. We talk about this a lot, definitely lately. Natural and cultured pearls occur in a broad range of hues. There are warm hues like yellow, orange and pink and cool hues like blue, green and violet. Pearls have a wide range of tone from light to dark. Pearl colours tend to be muted with a soft, subtle quality. I think we'd all agree with that. I think there's this timeless sophistication. They're not garish. They're not too ostentatious. They're that classically demure, understated gemstone that we also, um, it has been around and celebrated for literally centuries upon centuries. So color we talk about a lot. Now I need to add to this because, I don't know if it says it next, but we can dye pills, we can bleach pills, this is not, this is totally and utterly natural. Move it, ah, does it say, here we go. Pearl color can have three components. So if you can imagine like a family tree, you've got the color, then you've got these factors underneath. Pearl body color is the pearl's dominant overall color. The overtone is one or more translucent colors that lie over the pearl's body color. An orient is a shimmer of iridescent rainbow colors on or just below the pearl surface. Without overcomplicating it, you've got the body color and then you'll have secondary hues coming through. So we often talk about, rather than saying, oh, you've got this as a dominant color and you've got the secondary hues of blue here, etc. We just talk about the simple overtones. Um, only some will show overtones, orient or both. Have a little look at that photograph there. Can you see the, can you, can you appreciate uh, the overtones? Can you appreciate the secondary cues, the iridescence, uh, the rainbow colors that we were just discussing? And again, have we brought you, not necessarily the exact same pearl, but have we brought you pearls with those beautiful overtones and orients? Absolutely. And the one that you're about to see, absolutely. Moving forward, the law of supply and demand determines the value of certain pearl colors at any given time. Again, so important right now. The law of supply and demand determines the value of certain pearl colors at any given time. Right now, it is all about pink pearls. Oh, pink everybody pink. wants pink pearls. Whether Everybody wants pink gemstones, because mm. pink diamonds, everyone wants pink diamonds. Mm. The Argyle mine, 90% of the world's uh, pink diamond supply cut off immediately. What do we want as human nature? We want what we can't get. So we want pink diamonds, we want pink pearls. If supplies of high quality pearls displaying a preferred color are low, their prices can rise to unusually high levels. Other complex factors like fashion trends and cultural traditions mm. can influence color preferences. It is all about pink pearl, pink purple pearls. So you can imagine the prices that they are fetching. Luster, we're still talking about these five virtues. <clears throat> uh, one of the seven pearl value factors, luster, might uh, be the most important, and I wholeheartedly concur, and I know certainly Susie does, Charlie Barron certainly mm. does. Luster is what gives a natural or cultured pearl its unique beauty. 
and it's showing you the different uh, different qualities excellent the reflection will appear bright and sharp very good reflections appear bright and near sharp good reflections are bright but not sharp and slightly hazy around the edges um, if you look at the photograph below you can see the difference that luster makes to a pearl um, I, can, I, sorry i'm just going to interrupt myself a sec dan can i have that piece of paper again when you're looking at pearls, really you should be looking at them on a white background rather than a black board as well. Within a pearl type, when other values are equal, the higher the luster, the more valuable the pearl is. So luster, I believe, is the most important of your virtues. Take a little look at the pearl that you are going to get in this absolute giveaway deal. Remember what influences the price of, uh, of pearls. Um, of course, those virtues that we were just discussing. In fact, can we race through them quickly from the very beginning? Oh, one more. Surface quality. So this is Nacre. Uh, like coloured stones, most pearls never achieve perfection. That's why I always hesitate to say the word flawless. Some might show abrasions that look like a series of scratches on the surface um, or a flattened, uh, flattened section that doesn't affect its uh, basic shape or an irregular ridge that looks like a crease or a wrinkle. Um, if surface characteristics are numerous or severe, they can affect the durability of the pearl and severely depress uh, its value. Uh, Surface characteristics have less effect on a pearl's beauty and value if there are a few, if they are few in number, or uh, um, or if they are minor enough to be hidden by a drill hole or mounting. You know that's something we've discussed with uh, South Sea pearls. Or if I can add to it at the end of this, they're a ripple pearl or they're a baroque yeah, pearl. Exactly. Then they are definitely definitely classes uh, uh, you know as as a desirability. So we have spoken about shape is so important remember that the spherical pearl the the, the, the round pearl is still the most expensive because it's the most difficult challenging to actually culture now i'm going to ask you a question do you see a perfect round i do hmm. i don't see any near Beautiful, perfect it's a perfect round Let's go to the next point. Sorry. Nacre. Luster and nacre quality are closely related. If the nucleus is visible under the nacre, or if the pearl has a dull, chalky appearance, you can assume that the nacre is thin. This affects the luster as well as the durability of the pearl. Look at the nacre quality on your pearl solitaire there is that brightness there is that luster let's start looking at its color not bleached not dyed natural the most in demand color of pearls right now is this pinkish purple and then we've spoken about characteristics like little imperfections and flaws irregular nicks in the nacre skin i don't see any of that would we all agree if you look at the first photograph of the gia website which showcases lots of different beautiful pearls would you all agree excluding the colors this is that perfect round strand that i see but in a pink or let's flick forward Have a little look at the uh, look at look look at the one on just the far right of this photograph. It's a different colour, I know. Look at the quality of the orient, the luster, the overtones, everything that we've spoken about, the smoothness of the nacre surface, the spherical shape. Now look at yours. I actually think this is far more lustrous. We've got 300 of these opportunities and we have special permission to take this to an absolutely unbelievable, absolutely incredible, amazing close out deal. Certified lavender, natural 
cultured pearls, a staggering 11 millimetres in its size. Anything over 10 millimetres, remember, is like a one carat to a diamond. You've got that idyllic, perfect, near round shape. You have that perfect, perfect, perfect natural colour. You've got the flawless surface nacre. You've got a beautiful, bright luster. You've got all the qualifications that can and does justify prices at astronomical astronomical amounts the clock is ticking away because this is your call to action all you need to do and you've got to remember we will have viewers getting involved across the entire partnership right now because i don't need to be a fully fledged jewelry maker to make turn this into a high-end piece of jewelry i need some glue which basically we can offer you on our website, very inexpensive. I'd recommend Hypo Cement pers personally because it's got that precision nozzle. You put a tiny little dot on your parve topaz encrusted bale. You literally secure it into the half drill. And I'll show you that as well. Look at that, there it is. You secure it within the half drilled pearl. Leave it overnight. Look at the quality of the piece of jewellery that you're going to be creating. Now, obviously, this is not completely secure, but you get the general gist. Look at how beautiful that piece of jewellery is going to be. We're going to do a close-out deal for you, though, today. Have a little look elsewhere. Remember, you know, I've shown you our websites previously before. A single pearl. This was on eBay, I think, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, no, Ocean's Cove. There we go. One single, natural. This, this is one for the pearl collectors out there. A gorgeously lustrous, cultured L Edison pearl, smartly two millimetres larger than yours. Hangs from an 18-inch anchor chain of solid 14-carat yellow gold. The pendant is removable and features a rope-style bale. The cultured Edison pearl is natural in colour, not dyed nor enhanced. I like the fact that they've highlighted that. Um, there are some minor blemishes to the surface. Typically, okay, and it's cut off there. But it's sold at $1,100. Sold. Let's beat that on the next price crash. Have a little look at this pair. They're not mounted. They come with no bail. They are just literally two. It says near. It's just chopped off at the beginning on the slide. But it says near spherical freshwater pearls with a natural purple color. Weirdly, they've gone in carat weight, which is quite strange. But um, in millimeters, 13 and a half. So they are big. Look at the price that they sold for. $1,530 for the pair, granted. We're about to bring this we're going to bring them to you at the most affordable price tag. A natural, certified, lavender, perfectly spherical pearl. With the bale, we're going to make it accessible and affordable. If you've ever tuned in, if you've ever, ever, ever watched um, showcases of natural pearls, I didn't want to go down the whole, you know, the, uh, the impossible pearl, the fact that it's really difficult to get hold of, how it actually occurred. Remember that migration from the mussel itself to the circumference of the mollusk shell? I didn't want to do that because we've spoken about that, I think, at length. But if you purchase this, you know, you would sell it for maybe, I don't know, five, six hundred pounds possibly. That's the quality of the pearl that you are actually acquiring. Nobody is going to pay 199. <laughs> we are going to take this under 100 pounds. And we're not even going to stop there. We have special permission, authority from our amazing pearl buyer and head buyer Caroline to do something quite historic today. We're very aware that there will people, be people that would have watched in the past that maybe have longed for natural, uh, naturally purple pearls and not, been, and not been able to purchase them because let's be frank and honest, they're expensive. They are expensive. Not today. But we want to see you on those phone lines. Susie, it's a two minute make, isn't it? A bit of glue. In fact, in my masterclass, it will show you. So bear my masterclass in mind to make this. And so what would you pick. sell this for, Susie? That would be £400. £400? Just for the pendant. I wouldn't... It, well, I we've would, already half that. Yeah. It's we've, beautiful. Purple is such a collectible colour. And it's as it said, colour. with trends, supply and demand, 
That is the most sought after colour. It's well, the GIA rare. wrote about that. Yeah. They actually wrote about yeah. that. They said, look, look supply, demand, uh, mm. um, of course, fashion makes a, a huge thing. Yeah. It is all about your lavender and purple pearls at the moment. The new generation of pearl buyers is not buying the classic pearl. No. I'm making classic pearls for heirloom pieces that are going to be handed down. But for the new uh, pearl wearer, these are the pearls. That, these are the ones that they're wearing <clears throat> and purchasing. And they're expensive. Well, not And they know they're expensive and they're expecting to pay high prices. So, they, you know, they we, know what they cost. We're going under £100 yeah. today. Today only. After today, they will go back to that original price tag, which is absolutely awesome. Don't you know? Don't don't ever lose sight of that. Even if we were to stay at 199 pounds, that would have been an absolutely incredible deal. You've got this really beautiful. Let me show you. <clears throat> 11 millimeter perfectly spherical natural pearl and we've broken that milestone we're at 79 pounds and 99 pence they're not cubic zirconias that's beautiful colorless flawless topaz that are a parve set encrusted into this beautiful mm. bale i love the simplicity of this de uh, of this design you can literally feed your precious chain through there away you go you can get this home on your split pay for just 39 pounds and 99 pence St uh, two uh, 0% interest sp uh, split pay payments that shouldn't buy you the pearl let yeah. alone the sterling silver mm. but we have 300 or had wow I'm buying this beautiful I love the bale as well very contemporary I love the bale as well it is gorgeous not, I like the fact it's not cubic zirconia. Yeah. No disrespect to cubic zirconia, yeah. but if I get a pearl of this quality, you want I don't want imitation gemstone. stones. You want a natural I want stone. genuine stones. Yeah. We're going to take it beyond another milestone. I'm buying this, and I won't just be buying the one. No. I'll be buying a handful of these, some to sell, some to gift. Beautiful. They're perfect, as you say, perfectly spherical well, look at this if i roll it around it's huge look at the luster that's a natural pearl i'm completely and utterly sorry i'm just trying to find the drill hole natural pearl and today we're going even lower look than 79 pounds and 99 pence. Look at that. Look how beautiful it is. Just literally securing it into place with a little bit of your hyper yeah. cement glue. My five-year-old could do that. Not that I'd let her, but, oh, uh, but she could. Yeah. But real quality jewellery is that simple, you know, that you're buying in the high street. That is how they make them because bales, th th they'll carve them in wax and then they will just mass produce the bale yeah. and, and just set the stones. So you buy ready-made mounts. The, the, the industry buys ready-made mounts, unless you're doing a bespoke commission that's going to cost, then you add on tens of thousands of pounds for that. We've got under 50 pounds for you today and today only. There are literally uh, three, or rather, were 300 opportunities. Think Christmas, think anniversaries, think just because gifts. You can't get a decent bunch of flowers um, mm. for sometimes for, for what's on your screens. You're getting an everlasting, beautiful, naturally coloured lavender pearl, fully certified mm. in the most idyllic shape. It is still, remember, let's go back to that. You know, the most, the rarest and the most valuable um, of shapes is all it is the round at the beginning it's at the beginning there um your yeah, size the quality determines the overall value of a natural or cultured pearls or piece of pearl jewelry our size shape color luster surface quality nacre quality um, and of course for more uh, more than one it's all about the matching you've got an 11 millimeter perfectly spherical round we need to what would you mean we need to oh my word <laughs> In-house designer Anne, who I think most of you know also, have, has a very successful pearl business. Very successful. Mm. Anne, 
Well, you'll agree with what Susie and I have just yeah. said. You know, that's a, what, five-minute make? Why? And what are you going to sell it for? Why do you think maybe Anne and I have chosen the pearl industry as, you know, why we specialise? Because pearls are one of the very few that are timeless, but there is a set price and there is a set per perception mm -hmm. that they're going to be expensive. And they ordinarily are. And they are. So people do n not quibble about the price. We're going to go lower. But we want to see you there. If I, I, we need to justify this price move because let's be honest, what did Caroline say to us, Ross? Forty nine ninety nine. She didn't want us to go any lower. Right. Um, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure Caroline is upstairs. I seem to remember her actually saying, see you on Friday. Um, but we will go lower. We can be responsive. If we can quantify this with the fact that all 300 of them will go, or certainly the vast percentage of them will all actually go, then we will drop it even lower. But currently, as we speak, there's simply not enough. There's not enough people, though. I can see people with multiples in your baskets. We need more of you. 300. If I can say, okay, we went that little bit lower purely because, all right, we just needed that little bit of a nudge. Um, and yeah, we've justified it by, by selling that big, uh, that big a quantity on this auction opportunity. It's never been seen before. We don't clear, need to clear this out. This has never been on our screens. And this is so commercial. I could literally sit, spend about a couple of hours gluing each of these 300 pendants and go next door. They mm. would sell them there for probably three, four times the price mm. tag we need to see you there there's not enough we could couldn't we even if we went next door with this same piece of jewelry triple the price mm. it would be probably about 150 pounds mm. the quality of that pearl is the quality of the pearl okay let's be let's be quite unconventional whilst you're all joining us oops try and find a flaw try and find a flaw on this pearl sit still come on because it's so round. You've got tiny, 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 tiny little marks there. Like little freckles. They show you that they are a genuine pearl. Mm. But I think most of us would agree that's as close to perfection as we can possibly get. Mm. Is there enough people on those phone lines? Let's do it. It's that little extra push. If we can justify, if we can justify and say, look, it, it was, it's a 300 quantity auction opportunity. We squeezed ab absolutely every single pound and penny out of that price tag. 39.99. Goodness me, you could put literally a one in front of that price and go literally next door, suspend it from a sterling silver chain. That's what our, our Gemporia audience should, uh, would happily pay, would happily pay. These are all of those virtues that we discussed in accordance to the GIA. I want to scroll forward because talk, find shape uh, if you can. where it starts talking about the shape of the pearl. There we go. Round is the most difficult shape to culture, making it the rarest cultured pearl shape. And if all of the factors are equal, also generally the most valuable. There are exceptions though. Obviously we know this pair oval baroques, irregular shapes, etc. We know this, but it is the most challenging to actually culture the perfect, perfect pearl. And that's because of course, these aren't, they're not stationary. There is a current, there is a tide, there is always fluctuations within sort of temperatures within the water as well. It, it's a real science culturing a pearl. So to get something as flawless as this is quite amazing 11 no no ross no that i'm not i'm not comfortable with this uh, ross i'm really not comfortable because caroline said caroline said i sound like a right goody two shoes don't i caroline said <laughs> ross He's the bad boy at the back of the bus. Is Caroline here? No. I'm, I'm nervous about this one. We've already broken the rule of split pay. It should be 49.99 or more. We've already broken that rule, okay. We've already gone lower than what Caroline said. <laughs> she said 49.99.
Oh, I'll repeat, literally, Ross is saying, I, I will do it. I will go lower if he sees a further 100 people on the phone lines and the web. They ha we have to sell out of this. Oh, it's pressure. Uh, this is pressure. This is, uh, it makes me nervous, makes me physically act. Susie, if you want to go out of the studio, you do it. I've got some of these. Yeah. Afro. Do it. I don't care. I don't mind. Because this, it's your bread and butter, Susie. It At is. the end of the day, why wouldn't you make the most of this opportunity? Perfect. These are really popular. And this is how I'm selling uh, pearls at the moment. Single statement piece pearls. I'm not yeah. selling strands. No. For a start, I don't want to sell the strands because the price for me to replace the strands I've got, I'm paying tenfold. So exactly. Hello, June. Hi, Elle and Susie. Oh, my goodness, this is exquisite. Got mine and not parting with it. I don't blame yes. you. Yes. That will probably be what happens with me as well, uh, June. Yeah. Probably the same. I'm going to give you another 60 seconds. But at this price, get yourself one and get one to sell. The one that you sell will pay for the one you bought for yourself. Oh, and then some. And then some, And yeah. you're going to get a little bit of profit out yeah, of that as well. This is, it's, it's such a perfectly spherical pearl. It's really difficult to keep it stationary. Please do not sell this at the price that you're buying no. it. You know, these no, are, no, these no. are three-digit figure pearls. Definitely. Otherwise, people will think it's a fake pearl. Totally. <laughs> you know, so you're doing yourself an injustice. And... As I say, the reason I can sell it at this price for you is because it's on sterling silver. Because if I put it on gold, oh. you're going to be paying another £200 because it's the are. pearl that is the, the uh, item here. I'm and that's so glad, Susie, that this is not cubic zirconia as well. Oh, yes, when you've so got a pearl right, of this actually. quality, because sometimes we do... I mean, as nice there's nothing as it wrong is. with cubic zirconia, it has its place. But if you say topaz, it's a real gemstone. Yeah, in when you've got silver. something of that rarity, I, I want it with another no, gemstone. I'm totally with you, Elle. Oh, good. Ross is saying, no, I'm not happy. There's not enough people. Well, Not enough enough people. But I think that's a fantastic price anyway. It is, but we're going even lower. I this is why I'm actually it. quite quite yeah. uncomfortable about yeah. this opportunity. Um, by the way, we can see the quantities that you're getting. 80, 90% of you have chosen to multi-buy on this. You know what? Never in my wildest dreams did I think that, like, like you know, I could... Um, oh, my father-in-law's beautiful wife loves gemstones. She's really mm. passionate about gemstones and pearls. I can gift her this. Do you know how much I would be paying for... I'm um, paying... Charging for a pair of earrings because they're purple, because they're perfect rounds, because they're 11 mil, 300 pounds on yeah. silver. So you get two of those, keep the bell for something else, put them on an earring. Oh my goodness. If you want it to go lower, there's got to be enough of you though. Is, it, is, is there enough? Okay. Good luck. Oh no. It shouldn't have gone any lower than this. It's 11 mil. When you've got that milestone in terms of size, um, you can bet your bottom dollar just one individual pearl was formed within that mollusk. The mollusk would have had to have matured to around about this sort of size to have the actual depth to house an 11 millimeter pearl. Yeah. You've got that level of rarity for 29.99 today or 15 pounds on your split pay. Plus the rarity and the beauty of absolutely colourless, flawless topaz. Look at that, set in the perfect bale. I adore the actual simplicity of this one. I love the fact that it's quite modern. You know, mm. a nice little sort of, a, a bunny ears tail or a split bale, tapered bale, whichever way you want to refer to it. That would be beautiful as well. But I like the modern twist I like on the this one. Look at this as well. Very, very Bond Street. Looking. Very, we've said that a few times, yeah. haven't we? Literally, just take this. Alison's just got 10. Alison, I don't uh, well savvy, done. savvy, savvy shopping. Um, and, and I know that if you're buying quantities like that, you're already, um, you know, obviously a, a very successful business person. Um, but yeah, you will make profit just by selling one, won't mm. you? Significant oh, profit. Oh, absolutely. Diane, and Eileen, Angela, Margaret, Lauren. Sorry, go on. It's, it's a sharp pearl price, isn't it? Don't say it. <laughs> I can't believe that price. I know. You would sell that with the bell. For a shell pearl. Yeah, but it's not a shell pearl. I know. I, it's a genuine, I, it's natural, just, rare, cultured, purple pearl. It is like going into Porsche and they'll say, I'll sell you a sports car that's worth 70,000. You can have it for 10,000 pounds. Yes, please. Think. Yeah, there's exactly. Big, there's a In big, fact, big, big, big difference. You would say, I'll have two. But at that let me price. just explain that to you because many people actually almost 
it, it's so hard because sometimes people go, well, that's too good to be true then, Al. Yeah. Um, and like you said, Susie, you know, don't sell it for that price because people won't believe that it's true. We have that same problem, yeah. you know. Um, we've got a lot of customers who will actually say, well, you expect the best price point, you want the best price point, and we want to bring you the best price mm. point. But sometimes people will flick through the channels and go, oh, it can't be a real pearl. That can't be just... Yeah, that you know, can't be, yeah. Let me explain what wrong. the difference is. Now, I used to look after the pearls in the jewelers that I worked at back in my in my 20s and if they were lucky once every couple of months they'd sell pearls mm. a pearl strand a pearl single solitaire or a pearl pearl pair of earrings genuinely if they were lucky every couple of pearls that's why they have such astronomical markups we're about to sell 300 and we off minuscule markups you are still getting that level of quality you are still getting certified natural lavender pearls in a round is you know i know graphics don't say it but that is for me perfect round a perfect round pearl you've got the natural color remember those virtues that we discussed this is not you know th this is all from the gia let's tick it along and start from the beginning and i'll literally skim through these literally on uh, from the top so pearl quality factors this is a gia there is no greater institution to get you know to really uh, you know uh, drill home the quality that you are getting right now than the gia so let's flick through them size it's 11 mil. That's massive for a pearl. Ooh. It's huge. Colossal, in fact. The next one is shape. Round is the most difficult shape to culture. It says it there straight away. You've got a perfect, perfect round, making it the rarest culture pearl um, um, and also the most valuable. There we go. Shape. Next one. Color. Mm. Natural. That's the first thing that it says. Natural and cultured pearls occur in a broad range of hues. Um, natural pearls. There we go. The next one is talking about overtones. We'll skim past that one. Supply, supply and demand. demand. We need to read this again. The law yes. of supply and demand determines the value of certain pearl colors at any given time. If supplies of high quality pearls display a preferred color, at the moment, this is the ultimate color, mm. um, are low, their prices can rise to unusually high levels. Other complex factors like fashion trends and cultural traditions can influence color preferences. This is all about, it's all about the lavender pearl at the moment. Mm. Luster, uh, here we go, Re reflections. You want your reflections to be bright. You, uh, you can even see the studio lighting on the back of the pearl, um, on the surface of the pearl that you're getting right now for a crazy 29 Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. So there it is, luster, surface quality, like coloured stones. Most pearls never achieve perfection, but it can get pretty close. Nacre quality. You can see how thick the nacre quality is because that's a reflection of the luster that you mm. saw a few moments ago. Unbelievable. So you, would you agree you've ticked all the boxes today? Ticked all the boxes and then some because one thing that hasn't been included on this is the high price tag that most cultured pearls of this grade, of this quality, of this shape, of this size and all the above don't usually command a 30 quid mm. price tag. And I know that's a, that's a takeaway meal, isn't it? Mm. As a takeaway meal you're getting a natural a uh, consummately beautiful it's uh, that's what i love about pills they are that gemstone that are born consummately beautiful without Absolutely. any enhancement whatsoever there are less than a hundred of these remaining um we're running out of time gosh i don't know where uh, that hour has actually gone we've still got a most gorgeous master class as well um, make sure you check out and multi-buy until your heart's content i most definitely would be you could probably get three for the price that one should be it's and then some ridiculous. don't go anywhere though because i'm going to make my way over to gorgeous Susie for some more beautiful inspiration um, and jewelry making after this. Jewelry Maker presents the Great British Summer. As the heat wave hits, the British public are making the most of it. Why it is still here? Here's Carol buying an ice cream from a local vendor, playing games at the fair and frolicking about in the sun. But Carol has forgotten that Jewelry Maker celebrates Christmas in July, a chance for customers to get their supplies in ready for their Christmas designs and gifts. So Carol can say goodbye to that ice cream and hello to that Christmas jumper as we present Christmas in July. Oh, Carol, you scamp.
Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Hi guys, I'm sending out this invitation to all of our collectors across all of our platforms. We are promoting this extremely heavily because this is a one-time event. The opportunity that we have, which I'm calling the window of opportunity for Jadeite, is unprecedented. Never before has a generation existed in the West that has had unfettered access to Type A Jadeite the way we have. Unfortunately, after speaking to the five vendors, the five Jadeite houses that we deal with exclusively with our Jadeite, we are told that with the reopening, the, 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 the resuming of the markets in China, we are quite simply priced out, which is something that we are used to. I know you guys will be used to. We haven't been able to bring you Jadeite like this before 2020. So knowing that this window of opportunity is closing, knowing that it's about to slam shut, we reached out to these vendors and we said, let's do one incredible final offering. But this time, let's do something different. Let's do master carvings. Some of these pieces that you will see across this week-long event have taken days to produce, each one. It is the highest uh, um, kind of creation of art in the Far East. We are talking about true masterpieces. There are one of a kinds this week. Some of them have just 10, some of them have 20, and then we have some bigger um, incredible offerings as well. I'll be joining you almost daily for the duration of this week. And while that might seem saturated, while that might seem like overkill there's going to be a complete lull after this event where we're not going to be able to get our hands on pieces like this you might own strands you might own cabochons you might have created wonderful jewelry with a jade that have bought you before this week is about one thing and one thing only masterpieces join us for this jadeite window of opportunity event jewelry maker are proud to be part of the gemporia partnership our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. see a little face or is it just me? Mm. Mm. I mean, it's obviously not a face, it's a mitten, it's but... A mitten. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Are you ready for this one? Are you copying too? Not really.
We do. <laughs> good luck, good luck, good luck. I have to tell you, I think I, I love these kits. It's my favourite because it just looks like jewellery you'd find in jewellery shops. Oh my goodness me. Prices. Look at that. You know. Do you know, this is the most professional jewellery Absolutely. In terms of, I don't want to say that because some of you do some amazing weaving and knotting, knotting and all that. But if you are wanting to almost copy the high street, replicate the high, high street, street or the high end jeweler, yeah, then this is it. Yeah, this is basically it. Can we can we show each and every single one of these pieces? Because I am so smitten mm. with every single yeah. one. Now you get there two across two separate kits. So look at that, that lovely trio. Delicate. And all I need to do, so I don't want people to think, oh, no, I can't do that. No. I can't make that. I'm new to jewellery making. It's, you really could. It's the simplest make possible. People were saying, because I advertised uh, Ooh, that I was coming on today, and uh, people were saying, oh, you know, exquisite jewellery. And I'm saying, aren't they wonderful kids? Because <laughs> it's, you know, it's not there me. It's not me. I cannot take credit for I any of this. I love these earrings. Aren't they superb? Oh my and goodness! They just sort of cup the. Let me show you. There you go. Pearls. Look at that. Oh, they're gorgeous. Absolutely stunning, aren't they? Just. And then, have we shown that one? Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. And then you're going to have to come to my ear for the next pair of earrings just because that stand wasn't quite showcasing them. I was yeah. like, I've got to put them in, Susie, because these are too beautiful, not for us. Look at that. As an everyday piece of pearl. The, I was saying to Ellen in the break, this is what I sell mostly uh, in pearl earrings. Little studs like that because they the can be worn every day. Or if you've got extra piercings, this is one to have as an extra piercing. Uh. Well, I tell you what, with them. I love them. I absolutely love them. Now, when you say earrings, which ones? Because there's earrings in both. They come in sets, don't they? So, so we're going to start ones. with, can I keep can yeah. I, this one? So it goes with that one. Which goes with that one. one. And that ring. So that's your, oh, look, you get a suite goodness. of jewellery in the kit. I can't believe the price of this kit. So it comes with the sterling silver, the pearls, and what do I need, Susie? So imagine I'm a complete novice. I've never made a single piece of jewellery in my life. What do I need? Um, oh, really? That's just that. Hang on. Can we just show that again? This is what we need, everybody. Glue and... Glue. Fingers. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. You might need these, but that's just in case. But that's it. Yeah. Mary Pearl must... Yeah. Oh, see what oh. we did there? I mean, this, the price of this kit would be the price of any one of those yeah. pieces and then some. Um, it's a whole suite. Look at that. If you, oh. had, if you had that in your craft fair or if you were just selling like Jan does to hotels, yeah. and she has that in her stand, how exquisite is that? And honestly, it took less than five minutes. Right. Well, you said earlier on as well. These are naturally coloured oh, pearls. Oh, let me talk about the pearls. Naturally coloured pearls. These are button pearls and oh, they are naturally look. coloured. So you get the beautiful apricot peachy tones all the way through to pink to lavender hues. So every kit will be slightly different. But if you see on the overhead here, can you see these beautiful colour pearls I've got. Oh, absolutely so exquisite. perfectly match as well. We I spoke know. about that, didn't we, I about know. the matching? Absolutely. And the nacre on these, the quality. Can you see here the reflection? When we talk about nacre, it's really the, the reflection. How reflective is it? Mm -hmm. Now, with natural um, freshwater pearls, you will get a more silky uh, appearance and say you're a koi. That's why they're koiers. Are so are. famed, yeah. Absolutely. But look at that, you know, oh, to me, wow. they haven't got any silk. That is absolutely, Plus, you know, mirror shine. Plus, Susie, you get your sterling silver because you're missing on, on in that shot there. Oh, yeah. You look. get the pendant as well. Hang on, let's so put it all in shot. Here we go. This is everything that you're getting. Perfectly, beautifully matched button pearls, genuine and natural, natural colours. Yeah. Plus all that sterling silver and just with a little bit of time, 
Look at the zircon. Can you see the zircon yeah. as well? Encrusted in um, beautiful. your beautiful ring and also the pendant. So three pieces, three pieces, £20 each. Look at that ring. I love that ring. Me too. Absolutely love I that look, ring. I'm, do you know there's one issue? I've got one, one issue. I don't know which kit to buy. Yeah. Ross, can you price this so we can possibly buy both? Oh, wow. Is that a big ask? How but then again, how much would those earrings be? How much would you pay for that ring if you saw that in a shop? 200, 250 pounds? Yeah. Ab you know, that is beautiful ring. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? You put it on, it's gorgeous. Uh, and because it's adjustable, it will fit any finger, which is one. Look at that. It looks even more amazing on the hand, doesn't it? It, it is. I think it's... Oh, look. Fun. That's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? That's a, a talking point. If you were to wear that, someone is going to say, I love your ring, where did you get it from? You say, I made it. I made it myself. How amazing. Yeah, and you haven't got to worry about sizes. It's adjustable. Well, Basically, it can be coaxed outward slightly or comes almost like a mermaid tail. Yeah. Oh, the mermaid connection, I, I suppose, it. with your cultured pearls. Um, even if we were stopping at 59.99, that does get you the three natural button pearls and your sterling silver um, at that incredible price tag. But we're not stopping there. Um, I don't remember. How many do we have of this? A hundred. Well, they'll sell out, won't they? That's £13 each. That's ridiculous, isn't it? What would you sell this for, then? That ring would probably be about £90. I would sell Gosh, that. That's good. Yeah, that is a good price. But I would sell that because it's sterling silver and I didn't make it myself. OK. Um, I'm going to pass on that goodness. Every now and again, you're going to be... This is where, right. in business, sometimes you have things... That, but £90 is a really good price. It's an amazing price. But then what, about, what about this necklace? That's going to be 150 yeah, I, and I think, you know, you touched on it earlier on. Look at that, with all the lovely topaz either, yeah. uh, all the way around. You said earlier on, if you price it too low, people don't oh, realise... Yeah, they don't appreciate that, it. That's yeah. the thing, they don't appreciate it. Look at that, and you've got your soft, beautiful... Uh, it's almost like a peachy papaya. Yeah. You've got a wonderful uh, minky pink, pink just there. I love that. The Absolutely fluidity. so contemporary. And then the earrings are going to be about 120. I love those earrings. You know, so add all of those up for a sweet... Yeah, let's do that. I'm useless at math. So 120 plus 90. How much do you say for the necklace? 200. Say 200. 200. 230 pounds that yeah. you can make out. No, Hang on. It, do it again. No, no, 200 it's more. plus 90 plus 120. 410 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a bad return, is yeah. it, for something that's going to take you five minutes to make? Yeah, and I'm thinking, actually, I'm saying 200. Didn't I say 250 at the beginning? Because I'm thinking that was more 250 because I've got three pearls in there. So I'm thinking, yeah. Two... Maybe 460 yeah. then. Yeah. 460. That's not a bad return. Hello to you, Stephanie. Price. Oh, my. Those pearl earrings are exquisite, aren't are they? they? Aren't um, they? Just... Oh, and we've got another version of this kit as well, Stephanie, to bring you, um, which uh, you'll see in this little collection just here. So the earrings that I'm wearing, these have got the little dainty little button They're pearls. Really delicate, this one. Look at that. Mm. So cute. Gorgeous. And then the pendant at the top, you're going to see in a second. Oh, my goodness me, so beautiful. And um, we'll be bringing you that kit just after. We had only 100 of your uh, of this kit, again, which gives you this beautiful uh, ring. Um, it gives you those beautiful, almost scooped, um, those really beautiful scooped drop earrings. Um, and then, of course, that lovely pendant. Make sure you do check them out. Look at that. I mean, that's that's 39.99 all day long and I to the moon and back. Absolutely. Well done. Um, but, oh. Isn't that, that's lovely as well, isn't it? And that Smaller. looks literally so expensive. Can we show uh, Karen? Yeah. Here you are. Looks so expensive. Look at that. That just is... So this is a more delicate kit. But it's coming ab, up afterwards. Which is, but isn't it beautiful? Yeah, really lovely. Uh, take it away, Susie. Show right. us how we, how we uh, um, actually go about yeah. setting these. So... The nice thing with these kits, I'm showing it um, on the ones with the larger pearls. They're the ones I was given. First thing you want to do is choose which pearls you are going to use 
for uh, each of the components. So I started with the three and I decided that I would use the two of the apricots that are slightly different colours and then one of the pinks. And I spotted that I had two that were near identical. So they're going to make my earrings, so straight away. And then the one that's left over in this case is the one that's going to be on the ring. But you may want to do it differently. You may think, well, actually, I love this papaya. Let me show you it because I've already made one. Um, look at the colour of the papaya in the ring. Oh, Isn't that exquisite? Yeah, you beautiful. might think, actually, Susie, I prefer that colour. Because I'm a pink. I love pink, you know, so as soon as I get anything pink, I have to make it pink. Um, but that papaya is beautiful. Or if you wanted something even um, paler, this is a lovely pale. Look at that. You know, that might be more your taste. Yeah. Isn't it? So the choice is yours for what you want to make. Now, one of the reasons as well, I just want it for this particular kit, um, you saw how easy that went on. Now, when I show you um, these pearls uh, on the bale that you get, this I've literally taken out of the packet. When you offer it up, you'll see that there's a bit of a gap there. Can you see that, everyone? Can you see that? Can you see that you are going to get a piece, bit of a gap? Mm -hmm. And this is what I say. This is all about the jewellery making skill. So, and for this particular one, um, if I show you here, that you're going to get, because um, everything's slightly different, the actual holes that they give, which are quite sizable, that's about a 0.8 hole, is going to actually, on this particular kit, be too small to put onto this. So when you get it home, you are going to have to ream it, or if you're fortunate enough, because can you see, it sort of, Tries, well, it tries to go on, but that is, it's, you, you're going to struggle uh, to get that on. It should just fit on really nicely. So you're going to have to ream uh, some of the pearls, or if you've got a drill, just to drill a bit of a bigger hole. So I've done that already. And can you see the difference um, that I've done there? It's marginally bigger. So I've drilled. I'm lucky I've got a, a drill kit. Just bear with me. I've just lost my hearing aid. I talk back. So I just wanted to sort of let you know, because what I don't want you to do is buy the kit and then think, oh, they don't fit. And Susie showed me gluing them in and um, mine doesn't work. So that's the first thing. So just spend time reaming three that you've picked for that particular one. Um, and let me make sure that I've got the right ones here. And then pick which ones you want for the ring and the earrings. Now I'm going to start with the earrings. We're going to offer up, as I say, the pearl to the earring and it's going to be too big. So we need to snip it. Don't be frightened of snipping it. This is all in a day's work for. Um, and what you do is let that drop off and find out how much. And I think when I looked at it before, it was about it went in about that far. So I need this bit to be about four centimetres. I need it the same distance. It's four too centimetres. long. Uh, four centimetres? Four millimetres. Okay. <laughs> or four centimetres. So, um, we we'll just snip it. And literally, this is where you get your cutters. And just be brave. And it's about there. So I'm just going to snip that off. Save that because it's sterling silver. And then when I put it back on, hopefully now, that will fit on perfectly. So. And... If you think that, see, that goes on absolutely perfectly now. So we do the same with the other one. Bear with me. Sorry, my feedback is coming out. <laughs> Sorry. How annoying is this? Sorry, everyone. We can show off your jewellery in the meantime. Don't worry. Sophie. Yeah. Right. Or maybe bring this little chap to her. Hey. And then we'll do the same. Remember, we need your account number. Remember. Right. Yes. Remember. Right, so again, I put this in and there's quite a big gap. Can you see? So that you, you, can, you want to glue that. So I'm going to let it drop out. And again, it's about four millimetres. So I'm going to just snip it to about four millimetres. And I think it was important to show you that because, like I say, you can always claim that you've made them now because you've had to adjust them and then make sure that that fits nicely. So what you want to do is make sure that everything fits on beautifully. So that fits in snug. Let me try this one. 
with this one again. So double check that it all fits on lovely. You mentioned uh, you mentioned reaming. We're going to bring a little reamer set yeah. toolkit because actually always handy. I, I, I've not got a reamer at home, and it is something that I need as well. Um, so if you've ever found that your little half drill pills or your drill pills don't go onto the mounts like Susie's doing literally right yeah. now, um, it might just be there's a bit of dust that's gathered exactly, in. Exactly, exactly. And it's pearl dust, not not dust dust. Yeah. Um, so you just need to clear that way at the end. A absolutely, yeah. and a reamer is just it's like it's a, a diamond sanding tool, isn't it? It's like a little round sanding tool and you just ream into that until everything fits always really really handy so I've done these and now you'll see that these fit on so I'm going to show you this here's the tool by the way there you go so here I'm we are take it down here here's can the you see tool. one that, sec Suze. Oops. Um, yeah there's the reamer tool just so uh, you can add that to your order we'll bring the price points so you've got it in the different sizes there as well so don't um Really inexpensive for a really tool. good. Would you, would As you a must have. use a reamer all the I time? I use a reamer really, really often because sometimes as well, if you are wanting to put a gemstone in, really, really ah. handy. And you'll see the different sizes. So you can see the long, thin one. Yeah. Those are perfect for just putting through the pearl. Sometimes perfect for this because it just makes the hole a bit larger mm. and also it clears all the dust and you give it a good sort of blow it through. The one right at the end, if we can just return to that picture, the triangle is to make it wider. So sometimes if you want to set a gemstone into it, you'd ream that so it would open the hole up and it means that you can have oh. a gemstone that would sit really nicely and flush. So there's reasons for everything. And it's actually the one on the end that I would use for this. Would you? Yeah, because wow. it's just quicker. Because okay. you want to make that hole, you don't want it to go deep. You don't want to drill it all the way through. You just want to make it so it's, it can just fit onto the, um, the bale there. So that one will just... I know, fantastic. It's a must-have buy. There you go. Well, add that to your order. We'll dive back to your uh, masterclass. Masterclass. So we'll start with this one because it's the three. Um, and then the second part you're doing, and it's important because once they're on, they're on, is decide... This is the top, which way round you want to. So I've decided I'm going to do that one, the paler. Then I'm going to do that one there and then the lovely peachy at the bottom. So that's how I'm going to do it. And then the next stage, once you've done all of that, you see, is so simple because it is simply gluing. And I'm going to show you it with both. So I'm going to start with the Hydro uh, GP Hypo Cement. Um, which when I take the lid off, you can see it's a really lovely um, poised sort of tip. So it does precision work. So I will show you this on the ring. And as you can see, can you see the blobs coming out? And so what you would do is you would run it round. Don't do it on the pearl, do it on the actual um, piece of jewellery. And it takes its time, but just take your time because as I say you don't want to rush anything like this but the glue comes out really slowly fantastic for precision work this one if you were using it for the other kit because it's a much smaller this has got a lovely big sort of uh, cup here uh, the other one's much smaller so I think I've got enough glue on that now and then all I do is I offer up the pearl and just stick it on and then you would just literally leave that now. You are going to leave that till tomorrow. You really are. It does take time. Now, there is another glue. If you, you might not have the high post cement. I'm just going to put the lid on because otherwise that would just keep running out. So Love high post cement. I use oh. high post cement. Really, really good. So. Whilst you're doing that, well, let's bring you kit number two. Kit number two, yeah. because um, can I borrow the ring that you're wearing? Yeah, absolutely. Um, no, I'm not wearing it now. Where's it gone? It's there. here. Ah, there, there go. we go. Because that will make these be this beautiful. Well, I'm calling it a suite because you, they they would be the most amazing suite. Or look at them individually. Now all that sterling silver, and it's oh, Susie's just walking you and talking you through this. If you've got your reamer, which yeah. we brought to air four ninety nine. Um, a little bit of your jewellery making glue, a little bit of patience and time. This yeah. is super luxurious jewellery. How about £20 per, uh, per piece of jewellery? Would you pay £20 for these earrings? I certainly would. Would you pay £20 for that bracelet, uh, for that ring? Absolutely. Or even that necklace. We're not stopping there. 
We're going to go extra low on this one. I love, they're almost like lotus flowers, aren't oh, they? Oh, they're so beautiful, really, really pretty. I've just added the chain. The chain doesn't come with it, but it's simply just add your chain. Oh, look. And how pretty is that? So beautiful. So beautiful. The pearls are amazing and they're natural. Look, you've got like a, um, I don't even know how to describe this colour here. It's beautiful, That's isn't it? It's a ten pounds per piece. I love the, the, these are my favourite colour pearls, the pinks and the yeah, pearls. they are beautiful. Absolutely. They're very you. Yeah, I just all my jewellery. If I'm making pearls, I make it in this colour. Yeah, very you. I can't believe that. Seriously, ten pounds. That is costing you ten pound oh, per my piece. Word. I'm buying this kit. I hope there's enough oh, one to go around. Just I want the, to the, the ring is worth more than that. Totally. The earrings I sell for forty pounds. Totally. Absolutely, and that's a good price. And they're, they're sort of my starting price of pearls, and they're exquisite. No one's going to argue with that. Look at the quality of the... I always say... Genuine, natural, cultured the, pearls. Yeah, and I always say, look at the quality of the pearls I'm selling you. That's exactly. Why. And they are that quality. They're fantastic. So £40, so you, you've no, made... No, £29.99. I know, that's what I'm mean. saying. you yeah, made I mean, a tenner on it. Exactly, straight away. And it takes you, what, minutes to do? I want to join you on this kit. I want to join you on both yeah. of these kits. They're the, absolutely amazing, aren't I just they? think that the studs are just so sweet. You just put them in yeah. everyday pearls. Beautiful. I want to get the, the top of my ear pierced. Yes, I'd have to perfect. use this one though, because yeah. then I want to. Yeah. One, one piercing's acceptable, two piercing, not so yeah. much apparently on it. Um, but I'd have one literally at the yeah, top. Yeah, and they would be perfect, wouldn't, wouldn't they? they? Just literally sat at the top, top. of the ear. Twenty nine ninety nine. we had 100 again. There was a hundred of these, so make sure you do check them out. Um, super quick makes ultra, ultra yeah. luxurious. Back to you. So I'm going to start. Now I'm going to use, because I would personally use the Hypo Cement because it's got, but you might not have it. And, it, and you might have the E6000, which I know we sell a lot of, and this is just as good. But if I open it, can you see how, uh, look, it's quite thick. You know, it comes out, let me show you, oh, like yeah. that. Oh. And, and that is not precise. So tip. Get a little plastic bag, put a big dollop, a dollop, like that, on there, and then we make precision work with either, if you've got a T pin, you can use a T pin. As you can see, this is well used by me because I, I use this a lot. But you might just have a head pin or, you know, a head pin uh, like this. So, or, or a cocktail stick. Or a cocktail stick, but something that, that's quite small and precision. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to just use this one, which is 0.6 wire. And then all you're going to do is dab that in. And can you see what's, what's happened here? Th this sounds like really, really basic, but actually really good tip because now I can use the E6000 as precision. So I can just dab this over like that as precision. And I'm going to do one at a time. So I'm starting at the top and I decided that I was going to use this one. And then it's just carefully placing it over. Ah, that's interesting. So you bring, you bring uh, the actual silver to the pearl, not the other way around. Yeah, I personally do, yeah. And then I put it, leave it on. And then I'm going to do the bottom one, secondly. Here. And always, I always put the uh, glue onto the silver, not onto the pearl. Yeah, like that. that makes sense, because yeah. otherwise... Uh, well, you can wipe it off the silver, can't you? Yeah. And then I'm just going to offer that up again. Sorry, my fingers get in the way. And that's in. Can you see how easy that is? And yeah. I'm just going to hold this one now. That's why I did the top one first. And I'm going to put the glue. And this is the most, this is the hardest one to do, I'm showing you. As if this is hard. I would say do it in this order because then they stay on and they don't fall off. And then you literally put that in and then give them all a good press down and again put it to one side. But can you see that is done? How long would you leave that then? Overnight. Yeah. Overnight. I wouldn't go near it. 24 hours. Um, you can use resin, by the way. You know, uh, I've been on shows before and I've used resin glue. Resin glue uh, it is absolutely fine on pearls and they're very quick. You would just literally do what I'm doing here, put a bit of resin on here, put the glue on and then just use your ultraviolet torch and that will glue it in mm. place immediately. And that is stuck in like 30 seconds. So again, I'm just going to actually I'm just going to put a bit more on. 
And I'm doing it on a little plastic bag because I can throw the plastic bag away then. See? And then I'm not putting the blob and getting it everywhere on the earring. I'm just literally putting yeah, enough. Yeah, because once it's on, on there, you're not, yeah. it's, it, you know, it's you don't be want very to put, difficult to get it off. Absolutely. I mean, th these ones, as you can see, you've got a lovely cup, so you, it, it can take quite a bit of glue. A bit of glue and I would actually you know encourage you to put glue on but not too much that it goes over so that's about enough and then literally because we've measured the hole that will now sit on beautifully like that I love those earrings and then that is one oh. and then we do the same and it is and there's nothing wrong with using glue sometimes you know I know that we I mean, the wonderful thing about jewellery making now is we, we're now into soldering and silversmithing, um, so you become real jewellers. What else would you do? There's no other option, but really, than using glue. That's exactly what the high-end jewellers would do. Absolutely. Um, and most of my jewellery is m very simple. I buy ready-made components mm -hmm. to make. You know, I'll buy high-end pieces of uh, findings um, and then just glue them in place, or you know, and that's it. And that's... Sh and it doesn't have to, you don't have to make everything yourself. And that is it, and just leave it alone. And then that can go in the bin. See? Amazing. Job I love finished. these kits, and I love the fact they're all making ultra high end jewellery for what? Yeah. 30 pounds. Not just one piece, three pieces. Um, but be aware, we only had 100 of each of these kits, and they've been incredibly popular. Um, thank you so much. Uh, so, so simple, but. But perfect. Yeah. Why and do we need how to, to use it? Yeah. And how to use E6000 if you want to use it as a precision glue. Don't just... Bleep. No. Don't do that. No, don't, don't squidge. Well, we have got some more pearls. But before we do... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're going to do today's Wall of Fame. We haven't... Oh, we haven't done I, it. I'll be honest, I had. Thankfully, Ross hadn't. It's up next. <laughs> I stand corrected. Ross and I had forgotten. Dan hadn't. Well done, Dan. Oh, you wanted to take the credit, did you? Yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't. It was totally Dan. Totally Dan, Ross. We would be lost without him, 100%. Starting us off this morning is uh, Melissa. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon to you, Melissa. I hope you're well. You're number 89. Hi, all. I've, uh, it's been a long while since I've entered uh, the WAF. Lost my mojo for a bit, yeah. but I think it's on uh, its way back to me now. Um, my entry is a freshwater pearl and Morganite Suite in 925 Silver, wow. all from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to everybody in this week's draw. And good luck, luck to you, Melissa. It's so lovely to see your entries. What beautiful, beautiful designs. I love the fact it's with Morganite. How and lace. Pretty, yeah, very, very pretty. Uh, number 90 is from uh, Una, lovely Una. Hello oh, to you, my darling. She says, good. Uh, um, hello, jewellery maker. She says, my entry this week um, is a bracelet that I've made with silver-plated wire. Um, finding it comfortable to wear. My next project will be to make it in silver. I hope you like it, and good luck to everybody in the drawer. Una, we absolutely love it. Love That's it. stunning as per oh. usual. Number 91 is from Ian Tomlinson. Good morning to you, Ian beautiful and Ian says three types of jade with sterling silver wow. bead caps and sterling silver findings all from JM good luck to everybody in the wall of fame Ian beautiful lovely Absolutely love it Number 92 is from gorgeous Michaela. Hello, darling. Um, I finally managed to finish the CB brooch. There wow. are mistakes in there, but overall, I'm happy. Um, I also, also, I love the flash on the Labradorite. I'm so happy I managed to capture some of it. Uh, good luck to all in the drawer. Uh, though I'd love a win to make something special for her mum. Love and hugs to all. Michael, that's a um, Michael, sorry, Michaela, that's absolutely beautiful, my darling. Um, Number 93 is from Annette. Hello to you, Annette. Pretty, lots of lovely colours of pearls there. Uh, just to show how the pearls have changed over the years. This yeah. one uh, with the peacock pearls was bought from a kit when Steve, Sheila and Linda uh, did half-hour shows. Uh, then the multicoloured blue one was in a multi-strand bundle about five years ago. And the final one was a kit a few months ago. Amazing, amazing. Mm. Uh, number, I love that, Annette. Good luck to you, darling. Number 94 is from Julia. 
Oh, Ooh. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Hello, all at Jewelry Maker. I haven't made anything in ages. Many reasons. Work mainly. Roll on retirement. Um, this week's entry to the Wall of Fame is a retirement present for my boss. Uh, the pearls and blue sapphires are the same colour as her sister's uniform. And I hope it reminds her of what a great nurse she is. Everything uh, but the E is from Jewelry Maker. Ah, oh, Julia, that's absolutely amazing. Loving that. And congratulations to your boss on their retirement. Fabulous. Now... Oh, good luck. So the draw actually happens Wednesday. Oh, yeah, you'll be with me. Um, so hopefully I can be lucky for you all. OK, are you ready for some more amazing deals? Shall we do? Oh, Ooh. you said earlier on. When you go to your bottom drawer, which is actually the top yeah, drawer. <laughs> So when you have people come to you for yeah. special permission, uh, commissions and things like that, you might say, but have you seen? Yeah, I do. I always upsell. Um, have you seen fire pearls? Yeah. No, the people have not heard of these. We get them occasionally here at Occasionally. Jordan. Very occasionally. But They're very expensive. <gasps> beautiful. It's half drilled. Yeah. Um, can, I, can I throw... Throw this one out there. If you got that amazing round pearl earlier on, and maybe you want to use the round in a different mount, maybe you want to use them in the kits, um, you, that topaz encrusted bale would also work on the fire pearl. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to try and hold this as best I possibly can. The beauty of fireball pearls is you have those wonderful undulations. Mm. You have those, those beautiful crevices, those wonderful... Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to turn it around because the luster on the... Oh, see, that would be the front for me. Yeah, 100%. absolutely exquisite. And that's completely and utterly natural. So, again, the GIA spoke, spoke about rounds, of course. They said there is that exception. exception. Should, we show, that, should yeah. we show that first page, if that's OK? Yeah. There is. Okay. Yep. This one. The qualities that determine the overall value of natural culture pearls or a piece of pearls, jewellery, size, shape, colour, da, 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 da. Sorry, it was the next page, I think. It's shape, yeah. There we go. Round is the most difficult shape to culture, making it the rarest cultured pearl shape. And if other factors are equal, also generally the most valuable. There are exceptions. What are they talking about? Irregular shapes, just like this. Yep. That could top a price. Oh, my word. It's huge as well, isn't it? It's lovely. It's beautiful. The nacre on that, the colour, the overtones, everything. And what I love about fireball pearls is no two are ever, ever the same. same. So you pick your individual one. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous? Now, um, there's 30 of these opportunities. Yeah. One of those, this is, again, I, I, it's this quality of pearl that makes me think... 18 karat gold. We yeah. should be, we should at least be yeah. offering our viewers the opportunity this is the to do 18 story. karat gold because of the quality of the pills. I mean, yeah. that is fine. It doesn't get any yeah. better. Look Let's do it. Shape. Yeah, look at the luster. Look at the, look at the luster on the reflection yeah. of that recording. You've got almost a zesty lime green. You've got beautiful South Sea golds. It's a papaya, which basically means it's naturally like a peachy, pinky colour. It's a fireball, which means you obviously get that wonderful tail of nacre um, that occurs very rarely. And it's not something that can be instigated. No. We can't say, ah, oh, come here, little mollusk. I want you to produce a fireball pearl. I want you to produce a button. I want you to produce a round. They are very, very rare, especially of this size. It's huge. it's huge. It's absolutely huge. They are expensive fireball pearls. Yeah. You just simply put a bale on that. Oh. That's it. We're going to show you a, uh, a previous closing price. What, 299 wasn't it? How beautiful. Oops, sorry. That's lovely, but I think I'd show yeah. it this way. We previously closed this at 99.99. I should say it's half drilled as well. So let me show you the bottom. Literally, there's no drill hole here. The drill hole just sits at the top. Um, so use your half drill bale. Now, today and today only, we've previously closed it at... No You're going to do what? 
Oh, if you can get involved. What would you sell these for then, Susie? Oh, my goodness. My starting price for, for fireball pearls is £300. That's the starting price. Cool. And then, again, it's on individual taste, on shape, because, you know, I sell them individually. So each one has a different price. So one on a sterling silver chain? Yeah. It, I would just sell it with the bail. That's it. I, I would say you, you wear it as you... I just sell them on a pendant with yep. the bail. I don't sell the chain. So... I mean, we're I gonna, could sell it with a chain, but I just present it Susie, in the box. We're going to half that price today. I can't believe it. The final Beautiful. 30 opportunities immediately. Immediately, Janice, you've got four. Well done, darling. Yeah, SJ. Yeah, well done. Alice has just bought three. Recognising how incredible this deal is. Also, how yeah. seldom we ever do your fire, uh, we ever bring so fire pool rare. pills. So rare. And the thing is, if you uh, have them and sell them... Oh, these are the very few pearls I regret it every time I sell it because I love them. But I know I'm never going to get that one again. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. They're so well, beautiful. And when it's gone, it's gone. Cast your mind back to when we were at Tucson at the beginning of this year. We, uh, we only saw uh, like a, literally a couple of pearl specialist traders yeah. that actually had fireball pearls. Yeah. And when they did have them, if you remember that, we had a photograph, didn't we? And we were saying, mm. okay, how much for this quality? You know where you yeah. have the sashes of the purples, those wonderful fire colours uh, and the metallic beauty. Um, how much for those? And they were like, okay, wasn't it something like $4,000 or something yeah. like that? They're astronomically expensive. And that's that trade. You're getting one beautiful fireball. Look at the size that you're getting. Uh, again, unconventionally, we've got the carrot weight just there. Is that meant to be the millimetres? Yeah. It, so these go upwards to, obviously, they're irregular, so it's quite approximate. Yeah. So they can be upwards to uh, 25 millimetres. There we go. It's saying that on your graphics there. It is half drilled. I just love it. You, yeah. you imagine a comet in the sky or, well, uh, or a meteorite, and they've got that blaze, haven't they, behind? Yeah. They, and That's what we're getting, oh, a solid maker. These are my favourite of all the pearls. And I think I told you a few weeks ago, I just sold a Baroque pearl, mm -hmm. fireball pearl. It was a white one for £450, and I just yep. put it on a sterling silver bale. That simple. Because it's stunning. When you see them, they are absolutely stunning. And Pink. that person that buys it knows that no one else in the no. whole world is going to have that. Look at this, look at the, you know, we touched on things like uh, overtone, didn't we? And yeah. iridescence so and things beautiful. like that during um, yeah, nacre it. quality. We've touched on all of those things uh, today using, uh, obviously, the GIA as a reference. There is no greater reference than the GIA. You can see the level of quality. We are on the verge of selling out of those. Honestly, well done. they're so hard to find as yeah. well. So well done, everybody. Now, they are so hard to get hold of. We've done some pretty amazing closeout deals. What's in there? Oh, it looks. Let's see. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Word. These are, oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh my goodness. This Every is pearl will look different. If they don't, they're synthetic. Yeah. That's the difference. Four oh, of you. Word will get this opportunity. Look at the quality. Oh, and they're all like that. Oh. Look at that. that natural, natural, okay. natural. These are what we call ripple pearls. Now, we brought these to air oh, the other day. I've got four left. Look at this one. Absolutely exquisite. We did something absolutely amazing. Did you see we... If you weren't with me then, then don't worry. You have, you can be one of four people Beautiful. that get hold of this opportunity. These are so on trend at the moment. The ripple, ripple pearls. fire pearls. Now we did something pretty exciting in the last auction, didn't we? We did. Don't tell me. These, I absolutely love them. They're my favourite at the moment. And do you remember I made, I, I, I uh, mm -hmm. had a necklace on. I always keep two. <laughs> We halved the previous price tag. Yeah, they're beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Love them. They're very, very metallic, these ones. Hugely metallic. 
hugely metallic you've got all your rainbow overtones you've yeah. got literally it's hard for me to pinpoint a color uh, and again we've covered all this today haven't we we've spoken about the nacre um the uh, metallic beauty we've spoken about orient we've spoken about overtones and the main body yeah. color of the pearls see the selection of colors that you're seeing on here um can i just for a second show something yeah the difference that lighting conditions yeah. actually make to the overtones because a pearl will reflect its surroundings Jeez. Yeah. yeah, because so for example, I, if you put this on, it would be more pink. Yeah, I, I, I am not seeing there what I'm seeing in the studio. No, it's no. It, this is like it's got greens, goldens, pinks, lilacs. And this is the overtone. This isn't the color of the pub. This is the sort of like the reflection that's coming off the top of them. And it's not coming off. No, well, well, it does. And we've got, you've got to remember, we've got floodlights here in the studio. Not pretty little twinkly lights. We've got floodlights. Yeah. Now, the other day, we did something pretty exciting on this strand. Yeah. And I'll show you what it was. Up until the other day, we had never closed this any lower. With, this has yeah. been on air with Dave. And it closed very successfully. These are ultra pearls, I have to yeah, say. Yeah, they are. They are one of, certainly some of the finest pearls that we've actually had. Yeah. So up there, I would say. Yeah. In the, like the top 5% of pearls. 250 pounds per pair of earrings, just very Just simple. for two. Just, just for two, for two absolutely. Pearls. Well, okay. It had never closed any lower than that yeah, price Yeah, that's point. a good price. That is, you would still double, triple, quadruple your money on that. Yes. Look at the quality of those pearls. Absolutely stunning. And as I say, read up about Yusumi because you, Yusumi were the ones. They're all about the ripple, aren't but they? They're yeah. all about the ripple pearls. So high end, so expensive, so sought after. Look at the quality. Here we go. Actually, that shows it quite well, doesn't it? So when it's sat yes. up quite like that. And that's what I'm seeing in the studio. Okay. Now yeah. look at the difference. It looks, it's, it's just, just purely because it's sheltered yeah, from light. Yeah. Uh, we've got floodlights and it's, they are awful. Well, if you get those home, you are going to be doing a happy dance. Oh my goodness me. Um, now again, if you weren't with me on, I think it was Tuesday we did this. We've got the final, we have the final four opportunities. Naturally metallic, never been lower than £999. With all of those beautiful rainbow overtones that we've discussed in accordance to the GIA. Everybody will pay that final low price tag. Get these home. Use the 30-day money-back guarantee. Today on split pay. £499. £499. The colours yeah. are insane. They do. They, it looks better than that. In that there, in real life, it looks better because they look too dark. They look, whereas these are paler, but they have that, that beautiful glow that you see there. But the colours are oh. so much nicer in real life. Oh my they God. look as if they're just the same colour, but they're not. You've got a variety. I can't believe we've half that price tag, jewelry oh. makers. So you can get hold of it today um, for a fraction. The final three, well done to you, my lovely oh, in Lincolnshire. Wow. Um, I've also got Hampshire, I've got Somerset there, I've got Derbyshire, I've got Cumbria, well and I've got done. Surrey. Get it home, use your 30 day money back yeah. guarantee. And can I just say something that I haven't actually mentioned today for the very first time? With the caliber of the pearls that we actually discuss, I normally do. Um, Yes, of course, get it valued. Don't just do that for your own ego, but um, it is really important in terms of adding it to your insurance because why do we get things valued? It should be to get add them to insurance, and our insurance is basically if, if, if heaven forbid, mm -hmm. um, we, uh, you're to lose them or you're to mm -hmm. get stolen or anything like that. We can't replace them at no. the prices that's on your screens right now. £499. There are only three of these remaining. I can see Derbyshire, Hampshire, Somerset, another Derbyshire, uh, Cumbria and Surrey, um, all making, uh, having conversations wow. or having thoughts look at that. Um, on the web. Yeah, they're, they're they absolutely look amazing. metallic. They're the top, they're, they are, oh, I think, top. probably one of the top five strands that we've ever brought to Yeah, absolutely. This, they're exquisite. Amazing. 
utterly, utterly amazing. The final two of those, good luck and well done to every single one of you. Look at the colours, pistachio greens, you've got the beautiful papaya colours, you've got yeah. wonderful uh, blues, almost like a bluish overtone. Pinks, I see neon pink uh, from the purpley ones uh, coming back. It's amazing, honestly, the colour. Oh, um, that is coming that's off. That's why it says rainbow, because you yeah, have got it. It is. That's, that's exactly it. That's, that's exactly it. Beautiful. Look at that. Press your option one, Derbyshire, and you can actually take that final one. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. We've never gone any lower than uh, £999 today. Well, actually, we did it on Tuesday as well. We've got the final four, oh, well, one now. Um, 18 of you wow. have it still in your baskets for the final one, and I've got a telephone caller there as well. Yeah. Um, you're not alone, by the way, on the phone lines. Good luck. I'll leave it with you. Congratulations. Well done, whoever every bought those. You amazing. will be doing a happy dance. Oh, definitely. Let's do... Did you say this? Let's do a meet along for Met Phil, shall we? Not just a meter of pills. Wow. Pills with sterling silver. Ooh. Because as with every gemstone, we can bring you a decolourless, flawless diamond, of course. Um, and we can bring you your more affordable. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful. And the same applies when it comes to, uh, to pills. You can get more affordable pills. Um, and they're still beautiful. Still pearls. Still pearls. They're just a little bit easier to culture. Yeah. So this absolutely. would these would have taken um, a fraction of the time to what you saw previously. Yeah. Obviously, and and also the mollusk won't just house one; it'll, it'll house, house quite a few. A little um, gathering of them. Exactly. A little, uh, yeah, They'll so have a family. The a little, cousins. Yeah. A little family of pearls, but they are still cultured pearls. Beautiful. You're not just getting that, you've also got the sterling silver um, sources, which are what we call stardust. You've got that almost like the illusion of parve setting um, down to the actual texture of your 925 sterling silver. Now, I've brought this to air in the past. It has flown. Um, you know, whether, and we've done loads of different PowerPoints, presentations. I don't have the time for it right now. We're running out of, uh, out of time on our live show, um, but we've shown presentations, quotes and all sorts from the likes of uh, Coco Chanel, every woman deserves ropes and ropes yeah. and pearls. Well, this is literally that. It is yeah. a rope of pearls. Is this our finale? Potentially, we might try and squeeze one more in. Do you want to see a price that you're not going to pay? I Remember, we're going to announce the winner of the competition. Oh, yeah. Not paying 49 99 mm, That's good. Uh, I mean, a meter. You know, I know I'm repeating myself here, but you could walk along your local high street and imagine whatever jeweller, yeah. Samuels, Absolutely silly. Ernest Jones, yeah. and they will have pearl necklaces like this for probably three figures. Yeah. Oh, £150 in your high street, and this is what you're going to see. Yeah. For £150, and this is your classic strand, isn't it, that you will see? Nobody's paying £49.99. No. Amazing. This is what I love about pearls. So they can be affordable. They can be affordable, particularly with jewellery maker, 29.99. Wait a second. You, you know, we've had those lovely elastics, haven't we, recently? The yep. point five elastics. Yeah. So you, this could be... Look. Or put it on um, memory wire. Memory wire. Look how beautiful that is. Look at that. You've got the spaces making it go that little bit further. If you add to it as well even more, then it's going to go further again. What deals we have had today. Um, I know this has been incredibly popular already on, um, on pre-order. It's the final few opportunities. Um, I do have the most beautiful sterling silver paperclip chain. Again, there are only 30. Okay. Um, 20 inches, so all you need to do is literally add a, a, a clasp of choice, be that magnetic, be that, uh, be that lobster claw, maybe, 
Maybe you would actually use it as some form of charm bracelet. Now we're running out of time. Ooh. Let's bring your deal in. This is your finale auction opportunity, wow. twelve ninety nine. Goodness me. Have a little look at uh, Misoma. Have a little look at Gucci. Have a little look at Aston Very. Clark. All the big designers are working with this, what Absolutely. we call a paper link chain. Um, we're running out of uh, time this afternoon. Now the winner of your Christmas bingo is... Donna in Greater Manchester. Well Yay. done, my lovely. Well done. Accounts being uh, credited uh, credited to your uh, jewelry maker account. So you don't need to do anything because you sent your customer number. We'll do, we'll do the rest for you. Make sure you check out. This is brand new. I know we've done versions of it. What I should imagine because there's only forty, we wanted that to be four hundred. That's more probable, isn't it? Yeah. More probable. Yeah. And that I don't know whether they read the read the order sheet. Oh wow! Um, massively, well done. Um, and over... they're beautiful pearls as well. It's not for that price. I mean, again, one thing about the pearls on Jewelry Maker, the quality oh, is amazing. amazing. Totally Absolutely agree. amazing. Susie, we're running out of time. Thank you oh, so much. Oh no, it's been lovely to when see you. Back? I'm back next Friday. Next Friday Next for another Friday. amazing show. You, do, yeah. you have been raving about those kits, yeah. haven't you? Oh, I love the kits that are um, coming up that show as well. Oh, I'm off now. I'm not going to see you this weekend because it's my uh, my eldest, Willow's birthday. She's turning six this weekend, so I'm going to enjoy the, lots of jelly and ice cream. But you have a wonderful weekend. I know you've got a cracking show planned. We'll see you soon. Bye.